Every setback is some more. It's part of the good game. It's all about the climb, no need to feel ashamed. Learn to fail, it's the only way to grow. Keep pushing forward, let your determination show. Gotta train, gotta practice, gotta hone your skills. You can't expect to win without putting in the drills. Success is stagnant, it's the failures that will teach. Embrace the journey. Reach for goals out of reach Rise and grind, never settle for less Every stumble is a lesson in progress Embrace the journey, seize the moment time Failure is growth, success is stagnation, no
drop low. We moving fast, we're keeping it on the flow. Yo. Oh yeah, check it out. Oh yeah, with a flim flam wow. Ooh. Oh yeah, with a flim flam wow. Hello, and welcome, and welcome, yeah. Catch the flow, gonna show you how. Oh yeah, check it now, oh yeah, flim flam, flam, wow. Check it now. There's so much cool stuff here, I'll tell you what. So much cool stuff here in the, um, the store. Gotta check it out all the time. Wow. Not script. Score booster. Better. Anyways, let's keep on a keeping on, baby. Right now. Well met. Greetings. See you around. Boom, boom. Got to flim the flam before you flim flam now. Catch the flow. I'm gonna show you how, how, how. Hi. I'll turn this off. Boom. Well, today, we'll be going across the map to take over all these workshops, doing whatever dailies pop up, you know, cleaning up all these side tasks. I've been cleaning up my dailies quite a bit. Couldn't be much besides what pops up. My next main mission is to head out to... Uh, the other place. My main mission is to head out to um, Atlantic City. To go check on some... Mm -hmm. Let me get my bullets here. Gotta take care of business. This is my camp location, and there's a bunch of enemies that spawn here. You know? These crickets have a lot of acid on them. It's pretty cool. Alright, let me go ahead and get settled in. Oh my gosh. There's a, a bear trap around these parts. Take that, mutant. This is my home. This here is my home. Huh? All right, let's get all settled in. All right, I do have two. I have a whole lot. I don't know why I said I had zero. Good to go. I was using the Nuka Quantum gun. It's useful from time to time. It does a whole lot of damage, and it's pretty cool. But it does bug out and gets all weird and funky. You know, it, it makes it where I have to put a reload it really slowly and weird. But I'll try it again. I'll try it. I'll try it again. Try it one more time. Hmm? Of this anti-armor thirst zapper. I'll try it out. I just have to make sure to fully reload before putting it away. It's sort of weird. I'll carry about, oh, 80 bullets. Pretty efficient. Everything else I'll put away over time. But I just logged on, so I have to go through and get my, uh, my buffs and bonuses. And all the supplies that are available here for me. There's a bunch of stuff that spawns. And I'd like to maybe cook whatever food I have available. Uh, I've been gathering a bunch of Scorch Beast meat. Yeah, no. I'm saving it for a rainy day. I'm saving all that for a rainy day. I'll get my supplies first. Hey there, random vendor. I got them. There's a random vendor here. Oh, yeah. Let me repair everything if I need to. Hey there, vendor. I'm gonna, well, I can't purchase anything. I'm going to sell my grenades here. Right there. 
And I'll sell this clothing. And as for the food, I've already gotten rid of a lot yesterday. I was going to clean up all the stuff I'm not currently eating. Okay. I would like to cook first, though. Let's cook first really quick. Before any of that. Uh, right here. Do my cooking before I get rid of the meat I'm using. Okay, pushed angler for max AP. Rad, uh, rad stag for the carry weight, of course. Uh, boy, we got some endurance here and there. Some melee damage. You know the whole deal. Eight endurance. The uh, salt, mute fruit, all kinds of flim flam. I still have that boiled water from before. Alright, now I'll sell everything else. Hi there, person. Hey there, buddy. I wish to work with you. Oh, need some new clothes. Turn around. Okay, shoo. Go sell these other foods I'm not currently using. Just to make it nice and clean. Nice and clean. And I will be hitting up whatever nukes are available. And I will be cycling through the Scorch Beast. I'm still trying to save a, a bunch of Scorch Beast brains. For later farming. Get nice and clean there with my purified water. Right there. Across the board. I dumped a bunch of items yesterday. My other character. Including all my salt and pepper. Because I figure it'll give me motivation to go get more. And I got rid of all my other drugs as well. All the stuff I've been saving. I like to get rid of all the standard and diluted stim packs. I'm left with only the stim pack super. Yeah, no. Get rid of all this other garbage. Right there, nice and clean. Yep. Done. And I might do the berry mintats farm later on. And these are all these mods I'll get rid of. Yeah, I'll weigh a certain amount. All right, and now I'm going to buy the bulk aluminum. Done. And I'll buy the bulk ammo scrap. All right. Goodbye. Go we'll dump everything. And get prepped up for the day. I've already repaired at the end of last stream. Go we'll dump the ammo I'm not using. Very nice. Okay, let's break down the other items I'm not using. And I'll have to go down to a... Uh, the script vendor to get rid of my access. This is the beginning of my day. Don't look so I'm getting all these buffs. Luck, like intelligence, and so forth. This is charisma. And we have endurance and strength, perception, agility. I'll collect that purified water. I'll check on the status of my foods in the freezer. We go from there. Yes, charisma works with your vendor sales. And so forth. I'm not completely a glass cannon right now, even though my life is really low. Uh, because I'm using primarily bolstering gear. Which increases my defense as my life drops, as opposed to unyielding. Just my chest is unyielding. Which gives me plus three to all stats besides endurance as my life drops. I know it builds up to that point. Good. Your stats really matter in this game. Hey there, Cody. Yeah. I'm just prepping up for the day. Uh, if you're about to go to bed, everybody, I'll be live all night long into the morning up until about 6 a.m., okay? California time. We have a lot to get done every day, but we're, we're keeping it nice and clean. You see my daily list. Quest is all cleaned up. Cleaned up. If you don't play for a little bit, you end up with this long list of tasks you have to accomplish. Every quest has their own little timer, you know? 
and once enough time has passed, then all of your little daily quests reset. But if you do everything as you can, then everything sort of picks up every so often. So all throughout the day, another daily quest is going to pop up over time. And I'll try to complete them. Now, I have this quest here to retrieve a bunch of... to obtain Scorch Beast DNA, but you see this freezer is actually working. I'm putting a bunch of... see the, the brains? Scorch Beast brains in here. There's a bunch of hearts and everything. Liver, lung, and meat. And then the tasty squirrel stew. Yeah, no? Mm-hmm. Go. <clears throat> and hail, please peruse my wares and spend your money. 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 Yep. I will watch you from my jacuzzi. Yes. Help yourself to the buffs inside. I'm talking to my teammate. Or Tim, not my teammate. That that dude over there. There's somebody at my camp. And then I'll play some music. I think I'm good now. Oh, oh! Try my luck right here. There's an NPC vendor up here as well in my camp. And there is a public event starting right now called Guided Meditation. It's one of the better ones. I like it. Where it's a bunch of ghouls that try to attack these speakers as a guided meditation plays at the Palace of the Winding Path. And then, right after that, I'll go straight to a workshop. Normally, I like to have workshops burning away in the background while I do other things. I was sort of discussing this point on X with several people. If you're not following me on X, I hope you do. If you're not using X, I hope you do. X is Twitter, by the way. Try it out sometime. It's, it's fantastic. I also want you to use Facebook, of course, but if you're, if you're currently using Facebook, try out X sometime, okay? Here we go. We're going in to deal with these discordant forces of your... I'm currently using... My bloodied meat claw, fist weapon. Uh, I'm not using the exploding palm because it doesn't pick up all the time. The 20% chance. Here we go. This is the cool one. I'll make sure to eat some foods before it begins. The danger of beasts and men. So, carry weight booster, some dog food, the company tea for whatever reason, the death claw stick. You see, that was a part of the daily challenge. Uh, dog meat steak, the glue meat steak, um, grilled rat steak, lunchbox time, oh yeah. Potion angler, and whiskey, and, and, wait a minute, lunchbox. I have to get more lunchboxes, and a scout banner, and a scout banner, oh my. And I think we're good to go. We're ready to go. And boom. Here we go. You got to flim the flam before you flim flam now. Oh no. God, no. Still set up for the other build. I'll be right back, folks. In two seconds. I'm still in the other build. Something's wrong. I could tell because concentrated fire is non-active. I could tell because I couldn't select their heads. So let me just quickly pop it over in three seconds. And I'll hop back to that event. There's a perk card punch machine at every train station. Just swap my build out. Yeah, there it is. And now I go back. Rock this joint. 
We're using the cold shoulder shotgun, the bloody meat claw, um, vampiric plasma thrower, and vampiric faster fire rate gauss minigun. And the anti-armor, uh, probably limb damage. Um, Nuka Quantum Thirst Zapper. The Nuka Quantum Thirst Zapper, a viewer, that thing. The ammo is so expensive. Discordant forces. Oh no. Kaboom! Okay, here we go. Let me head over here to the side and take care of business. Bada boom. You, can you are strong. And you can overcome this and any other negativity. Understand? Sometimes the discordant forces now sometimes the discordant forces prove to be too difficult to keep out. And your transcendence may falter. Pillars of transcendence are not to be faltered by these discordant forces. Not on my watch. I got a shotgun, baby. Let me go over here and take care of business. Transcendence, transcendence, man. Why are they just hanging out in this room? Chris. And toes. This sensation Windows to the walls. Oh yeah. And deep relaxation. It's called the thirst zapper. The thirst annihilator. <laughs> Excuse me guys. Get back here. Shut up. Wow. We have fixed this thing. I just started, everybody. We have a, a long day of flim flam. I hit rank 27 right now. I have to hit rank 30 until I, uh, before I unlock the next Gather reward the for the scoreboard. Not a scoreboard. These no things. No longer a scoreboard. Okay. Go back over here. And. Flip! Oh, yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm the Nuka Cola man. It only makes sense that I, on occasion, use that weapon. I like this one because, you know, the, the bright green contrast with the red. It's kind of a funky weapon. You know? Funky weapons are so funky. Oh. Is the game crashing? <gasps> the game crashed. That never happens. Hmm. Oh no. Oh boy. Hoboken, Jonestown. What is this, Helldivers 2? What is this, Helldivers Part 2? <laughs> the wise Mothman returns. Okay, I'm still on the same team. We're still on the same team, you see? Because it crashed, so... I'm still joining the same server. The problem is you end up joining a random server. Random people. And I like that event. Okay. I probably won't be able to loot the stuff on the ground. How's everyone's weather? Did anybody experience that earthquake that happened recently in the north eastern area of the U.S.? And 
New York City had an earthquake or something? Anybody? But I assume that the Appalachian flim flams. Hey, Chris, did, did you have an earthquake in the West Virginian Adirondacks? I don't know. <laughs> Earthquakes. Supposed to be a big earthquake on the uh, clips for some reason. Gravitational earthquakes. Yo, 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 if it ain't Lang done. Oh boy. And now we're back, baby. See, I, 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 I got a bunch of buffs. Oh boy. Before I left my campsite and I ate a bunch of foods. So my, my stats are pretty decent right now. Besides the fact I'm not using my, um, I'm not using the unyielding. Listen to my Tim Flam. Of utter of Flim Flam. Yeah, so you're in the DC area and you didn't get hit. Did you feel it at all? Apparently my area has earthquakes all the time. They're just really settled. Apparently. Oh, you're playing Borderlands 3 again? That's awesome. Beast. I missed that game. Beast. Is there new content or anything? For Borderlands? I had a great time with Borderlands, actually. I, I enjoy the overall art style and everything. The groovy old time. She's got both feet on the ground. And she's burning it down. <laughs> oh, the end of the game. The end credits plays a Rihanna song. Or something. Or Al Alicia Keys. You gotta love that Alicia Keys end credits. But hold on. What is this? Yeah, they're making a movie about it starring Kevin Hart and Jack Black. Jack Black's gonna be Claptrap. Claire Blanchett is gonna be Lilith or somebody. You know? And, um... What's her face? From True Lies. It's gonna be, uh... The weird doctor lady. I forgot her name. Mmm... You have older plates that Aftershock might be filled. Gotcha. The older plates of your... The Magmar. Alright, so we're done here. I'm gonna quickly take over a bunch of workshops. Jeez. I wanna go over here inside. Do some minor looting. Employees only. This is what I wanted. There's some stuff here. Take that, buddy. You unbeliever. Okay, let's kill this. Billiard balls. It's all plastic, you know. And plastic in the end is... Is the money maker because you, you you need plastic to bulk junk, and you can't sell. So let's just imagine you didn't have Fallout First subscription. You'd have to deal with your junk, and a way to deal with your junk is by bulking it. It reduces the weight, sort of condenses it a little bit. For most types of junk, you you lose some weight, and you're able to sell it. Normally, you can't sell junk to the vendor. You can sell raw junk like this tall drinking glass, but you can't sell just raw glass. You have to sell bulk glass. Like a thing. You can't sell raw copper, you have to sell bulk copper. 
The same way, the vendor sells bulk junk of different variety and it sells the end state. I routinely go through vendors and I check their their bulk and I buy it. Even though it might seem like it's a ripoff, in the long run, it adds up. <laughs> if you never did it, so be it. If you did it all the time, you end up with a ton of junk. You know? It might not it might not seem like it's worth it, but it is. Okay. If you go to a vendor over here and it has like five bulk aluminum, and so does that one, and then that one doesn't, that one has copper, and that one has acid, and more acid, and you end up with hundreds more of a material that you wouldn't have had before. And sometimes that's all you need. All you need. Okay, we're here at the Palace of the Winding Path. There's like a little storyline belonging to it where they were dragging people and robbing them. Oh. Before the bombs. This is the remnants of the battle are still in here. He's scorched. Okay, we're looking good. I'm just going to go out the back door here. There's a cave exit. All these workbenches. I'll break down whatever weapons I have. Then I want to go straight to... I want to go straight to take over a few workshops. Have I seen the new Roadhouse movie? I have not heard of the Roadhouse movie. That is new. Roadhouse. Starring... Janine Garofalo. And Gilbert Gottfried. Kevin Bacon. Alrighty then. It's time to rock this joint. Step one, let's head on down to Hemlock Holes. It's a great workshop to own. For acid, there are three acid deposits. You come back every so often and you get some more. It might not seem like it's that much, but every 15, 20 minutes you get 30 more acid at the very least. On top of that, there is a Grafton monster and some Snallagasters that spawn in the back. And they certainly have acid as well. I'm going to quickly slap on my my uh, can-do perk and my pharma pharma perk for three seconds but I don't have to talk about it and just do it we're at this little diner here I like to farm through like I said I dumped all of my salt and pepper and spices yesterday which gives me motivation to get more and see I just got a pair I got two salt two pepper and these trash cans have random food items. The refrigerator has random food items. These bathrooms. The mirror has chems. If you use the Pharma Pharma perk, you get more. You know, sometimes I don't. And it's, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter, but... Hurry up. Get my steel. More and more. There's plastic in these golf balls. There's lead in that pencil there. You know the deal. It adds up. I was sort of arguing with people on the internet about the value of workshops like usual. And they say, it's not good, you can get more loot just by farming. And I say, you can do both. Who says you can't farm supplies from the wild and do workshops? If you're playing for like 8 plus hours, then you end up with a ton of supplies if you take over workshops in the background. For example, every second I'm in, I'm in this building, resources could be generating if I already took over workshops right now I haven't taken over work any workshops yet and I'm about to oh gosh you got blurry folks I'll fix it with vats a minor bug but let's fix it all right right there can do Ooh. Can do. Can do. Bloody mess and the passive aggressive trolls in the audience. That I will now ignore. All right. Okay. The 
these people. They're nuts. You're asking which which workshop has the most copper? It's the Dabney Homestead, pretty sure. There's three copper nodes. There's copper in, in a few of them, you know? There's copper over here at Billings Homestead. But uh, Dabney has three. Buster. Yay. Yeah. I wasn't taking your question seriously by the way that you phrased it. Go back and read how you phrased it and you tell me. All right. And in case you don't know, you can look at the map and if you mouse over every location, it tells you how many nodes of what variety. But yes, we're, we're, we're talking about workshops. I was talking to somebody on the internet about workshops. They're saying it's not worth it. It is worth it over time. Here we go. If you play for a long period of time and keep cycling through, I plan on capturing as many as possible. So, for example, the Grafton Stillyard has one copper, four steel, one lead, so forth. It says four steel, but in reality, it's two steel and... They are the larger version, so they produce more than normal, you know what I mean? And Tyler County has silver, three silver, you know? It says it right there, on the thing. On the thing. And um, the Wade Airport has one. Like yesterday, I, I was explaining, over at the Wade Airport, over at the Wade Airport, it's a really big footprint. A really big footprint there. A really big footprint. Not sure you're following. What's up with this passive aggressive troll garbage? Anyways. <laughs> Let's get it going. I was talking to somebody on the internet about it, you know. And if you keep going through, it's wonderful. In case you don't know, you have these resource nodes. The main issue here is um, that people don't like all that much is the fact that uh, these resource nodes fill up. When the game first came out, they didn't really fill up. They, well, I think they had a limit, but it wasn't as small. Now they fill up rather quickly. These acid nodes fill up at 10 some of these nodes fill up at 5, and then some of them fill up at 40, like the steel ones. Yeah, nope. So people feel like it's not worth it, but it is worth it if you keep cycling through. Over and over and over. Goodness gracious. And over again. But in truth, it's really about all the other resource nodes that you're able to put down. Right? It's about the other resource nodes. One second. I have to do this really quick. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll explain. It's about... Uh, it's many things, but it's not just the resources. The resources are just the icing on the cake, okay? It's about the fact that you have free fast travel. Once you invest in the cost of traveling to the point to begin with, you have free fast travel to the location. You have free events, and they count as events. And you get double XP during, uh, during the double XP moments, and it counts as the event XP public team bonus, you know? You get more XP and everything. And you get a nice collection of different enemies available for you. And the game tells you which enemies have arrived. It'll say that there's mutants here or Yagwai there. But if you're looking for certain creatures like Angler, 
you end up getting it. One second. You end up getting the angler that you need. I'm going to do something right here. There. And it's about all the other resources that you're able to acquire. That you're able to put down. There we go. That should be everything. Everything, 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 everything. For now. Okay. And then we get the heck out of here and leave before the first defense event. Yes. So. It's more about this situation. The fact that you're able to put down these other resources. This stuff here. You see, there's a bunch of little base items like the water coolers and this wood pile and the radstag and the, the butterfly station for the acid. Coffee and tea, cookie jar, honey. Uh, this Nuka-Cola mystery machine where you spend 15 caps to buy a random Nuka-Cola every 15 or 20 minutes. This Nuka uh, quantum collectron station that produces a big pile of different Nuka-Cola. And then, of course... The, the triple fertilizer grenade machine, the adhesive thing on top. You know, I, I'm able to drop down this unit here and it has everything in a, in a blueprint with some, with some turrets on top. This alone is worth it. You know? That, this little structure alone. You end up getting a lot of everything. But then, of course, that plus the... the stuff here at the workshop plus the stuff around the workshop is what I care about. So let's keep on going. For example, if I go over here to graft and steel, I hope I swapped over my stuff. If I go to graft and steel here, I don't know if I did. Every time I come back through, I collect the resources, and there's a copper node there, there's a lead node there, you know, there's a steel. But there's a bunch of mutants here, so every time I come back through, I have the option to go clear through the mutants. And every location sort of has something like that. Not every location. Like, this location is kind of in the boonies. But sometimes I use this to then run down the river. Sometimes, you know. Uh, Tyler County Dirt Track is a good excuse to go across, to go clear through Tyler County Fairgrounds. Sometimes. And there's, like, that wolf mission there sometimes. And it gets you across the map. Like, once you establish a network of workshops, you then have easy, fast travel across the map for the rest of your gameplay. Here we go. And, of course, it's the thrill of PvP. Even though I don't want to do PvP, I still like the danger. You know, I like the fact that I have to do this. See, I'm capturing the workshop right now, and I'm at risk to be killed. And there's a whole strategy behind it, in my opinion. You'd be able to take over a bunch of workshops and hold on to them for a course of hours in a competitive environment. It's first come, first serve. Well, there's that value, you know? Of, I got it first, ha ha ha, and knowing that a person could take it from me. And they sometimes do. But I know that if I play long enough, I'll capture it back when they log off. So it's kind of okay. But part of the strategy is to... is to take over the workshops and make everything open. Like, I don't lock anything. I don't lock anything. No locky. Keep it nice and wide open and friendly and colorful with lots of quality of life items. And then, a person doesn't have a reason to take the workshop from you. Picture this. A person wanted some resources at the workshop, and they had an image in their mind of getting all the resources online and then harvesting. But then you capture the workshop before they could, and then you don't build anything. Imagine capturing a workshop and then not building anything. A of course a person has a reason to steal it from you. Right there. Oh boy. One second. Oh, I got a squat. I got a squat. It's so dangerous. Squat. Squat. Hurry up. 
All right, that's going. That's going. Just a few more. Now, the spot over here is kind of funky. Sometimes, well, I have a reason to take over the power plant. It's because this area starts to look kind of congested if I don't. I have to have a spot for these funky things. And I could just hook up the power plant right here, you see, at Poseidon, which will provide 100 power. Yay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So, back in the old days, I would put down a bunch of water purifiers right there, and a bunch of water purifiers right there. Yeah. Armington Jones III. I'll get the heck out of here. My goal is to quickly put down a bunch of stuff. Super quickly. Sometimes I, s I sweep through and I just put down that central building and leave and come back and do the rest because that is almost more efficient. Uh, uh, just think about this. If I care most about the nuka quantums and, and the re other resources are, are sort of fluff extra, I just put down the, the central building. I can take over twice as many workshops by the time I, I put those other nodes out. It doesn't really take all that long, though. I do it to make it faster. Yeah. Yay. Are, are your questions actually serious, Dan? You're, you're on a roll here. Are these actually serious questions? Because, you know, kind of ridiculous. Now I'm going to humor it. <laughs> Weird. So here we are at Billings Homestead. There's a bunch of razor grain. Ah, I don't believe you. You're saying, when I do PvP and I, and I use unyielding armor, I get killed pretty easily. Does legendary ar power armor help? Does increased defense help in combat? Yes. Next question. You know the answer. You're phrasing it in the way that you're asking it. So it's like, why even ask the question? It's kind of weird. Kind of weird, you know? You're, 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 you're answering it. You know? Like, just like in the other other previous question, you, you answered the question. Besides this, 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 and this, is there any other way? And then you, you're you talking about workshops, you know the answer. You know what I mean? Easy. Okay, let me go ahead and get the copper node. Really quick. Oh, it's not my friends, I got it now. Copper. You know. You know the answer. Well, I'll explain what I'm currently doing. I'm currently using a combination of bolstering and unyielding. In PvE combat, if I go full unyielding, I die. You know what I mean? I die a whole lot faster. If I use, like, primarily bolstering, it's kind of okay. You know? But still, at risk. I'm talking about in general, not PvP, not PvE. In general, in combat. The whole philosophy. You know what I mean? If you're playing a bloodied build, you don't have much wiggle room to respond to intense amounts of damage. In PvE, it's not that bad. In PvP, it's worse because you have an intense amount of damage coming in. So doing uh, doing 
a bloodied build in general, unyielding or bolstering, is really risky and dangerous. You know what I mean? Really risky and dangerous. You know. So, I'm using a combination of bolstering and unyielding for partly that reason, but in reality, uh, because I'm not farming XP right now. If I was farming XP, I would be in a full unyielding and I have to play it kind of carefully and do a whole a whole lot of like crouching and everything with my um, escape artist armor or perk. Every time I crouch, I turn invisible. Lots of stuff like that. Shoot first. Keep moving around. Lots of uh, lots of speed. Is the unyielding worth it for PvP? Not really. I mean, you get plus uh, plus fifteen all stats minus endurance, and endurance is sort of the important factor here. You can compensate with foods and whatnot and chems, but you know, is it really worth it? Unless you're like a melee build. You know, it's really for PV, it's for XP gain, and you're not really trying to do XP gain mixed with uh, fighting the enemy, but PvP. You can still win just fine with, if you outplay somebody, but if they are not unyielding and you are unyielding, well, they, you, you know, somebody has the benefit here. There's the opposite. All kinds of amazing juggernaut garbage. And so forth, or it's just really hard to lose any any amount of life. You could use it as a safety net, where your life goes down and then it stops. Now, in terms of power armor, there's you know pros and cons there. If you have really good power armor with a good arrangement, then you're pretty powerful. You have way more defense, so obviously. But the con is you're kind of loud when you move around. You can't do escape artist. But there's pros and cons, but clearly, if you're just... If, if it's like a empty barn with two people in broad daylight, one person in power armor, other person's unyielding secret service armor, the power armor person's going to win. So it's, you know... If it's a wide... The middle of the day, with no obstructions, no, nothing to hide behind, there's two people, one person has secret service uh, unyielding armor, other person has non-unyielding power armor, well, one person's gonna win. If they're the same person. The same person with the same build, blah blah blah, all things being equal. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's continue on and ignore this person. So I'm gonna take over a bunch of workshops across the map here. It just seems like this person is trying to give me weird advice through the form of questions, you know? Because I'm in some bolder, uh, bolstering, unyielding set, and this person is saying that whenever I do this, I get wrecked. Is there a way that I can get, I can get stronger? You know? Earlier he mentioned Enclave... Uh, plasma thrower because I'm not using an enclave plasma thrower in this paragraph question where he knows the answer. He keeps doing it back to back. Picking up all the attention. It's rather strange. It's not strange. It's predictable. He does it all the time for the past like five years. But you know. Hey, at least, at least they're watching. At least the people are watching, huh? You know... Big questions. Alrighty. And but a boom. And but a beam. Done. Oil. This one provides 15 oil every, you know, half an hour or something. They'll say when I look at it how much oil it produces per hour. You know. 
I sometimes don't take over that gold node there. Right there. I used to use a different blueprint and put it down below, like a big sideways train station. Block off a couple things. This right here is gold. I don't use it that much, but it does come up on a rare occasion. And I do sort of want to change up my blueprint here. The turret on top. Ice for this current thing, because I, I have the new frost turrets. Right there. Yay. Yay. You, die, can I harvest you. you see what I mean? Of course you knew the answer because you're talking about the new legendary effect. So why even ask the question? You're, you're phrasing it in a, in a manner like you don't know the answer. But you know the answer as is evidenced by what you're saying right now. You know? Like you're quizzing a person. And, you, and then you play dumb afterwards. Okay. I like to start off my situation by taking over as many as possible. And it seems like these daily quests are popping up. And I have to move all the way across the map. I'm going to piggyback through my camp here and probably take over Dabney. It's a nice one. And it has like crickets from time to time, which have a, a ton of acid. It's not just about the... Like, some creatures have acid. You know? It's not just about the resources at the spot. Uh, mutants have the weapons that they carry. Then you have like three waves of mutants. Wood, steel, and plastic, and grenades, and money that you wouldn't have. Nice try. Before. Okay. Uh, my camp here is at a decent spot. A decent spot. These enemies keep respawning on me. Okay. I just wanted to piggyback through here for a second. Make sure it's all good to go. Let's go up to Dabney. Hmm. Can I take over Dabney? I probably couldn't in that time frame. Let's go take over the Lakeside Cabins. Let's go take over something really, really quick. Hmm. I'll take over the Dolly Sods Wilderness. Some, resor uh, some workshops take a few more seconds than others. Yeah. There's this weird bug every so often where the screen gets all blurry. And I have to clear it by using vats for a second. Like I just did. Okay. This spot has a bunch of wood. Some garbage. It has a lead node. I think gold or something back here. There you go. I don't know if that'll hit. <laughs> it did. Hilarious. It's a gold period. Check the map for the players. I should be able to hit up the, the Mothman event in just a bit. We'll be going. 
steadily and readily. That calm style. I'm really only using this combination of armor because of the weapon reduction. I keep trying to craft new stuff every so often. Every so often. I like my power armor build and I use it for uh, the bombs and for some of the harder content. But now my, my, my build here is pretty good. In general, but it's not really for PV for for uh, XP harvesting. I'm sort of preparing for that in the future. Staying a carnivore this time. Normally, I would swap over to an herbivore because of the difficulty in maintaining or in obtaining an adequate an adequate supply of the brains. Speaking of that, I should on occasion get more squirrels. Not like it's meat week or anything. Okay, that's done. And now we'll head on over. Yep, 14 people. 14 people. Again, uh, I like the workshop conquest for the the risk of PvP. Not like I want to do the actual PvP. I don't think I'm ever going to win, necessarily, unless they don't know what they're doing. Because in my opinion, a person that goes out of their way to initiate PvP knows that they're going to win, you know? Versus the person that's on the defense. You know, if you're the one initiating PvP, you're already in a mental state and build state to win. So you're gonna win. Especially in a situation where it's about who shoots who first. At, at a workshop. At a workshop, if you're not paying attention, and if you're not doing it intelligently, you can easily be attacked and killed. Easily. Meaning, if I just hung out at a workshop without crouching, and if I just hung out during the defense event, if it was like three waves of enemies and I was, if it was taking a long time. So basically, if, if I'm at a workshop and there's a defense event and it's like three waves and it's taking a long time and if there's nothing else happening on the map, if the map is full of people, I would expect, and if I had a full team, <laughs> I would expect for someone to show up to help me. And then halfway through the defense event, they could just attack me all of a sudden. And they could wait until I'm surrounded by enemies and then kill me in two seconds. There's not much I can do about it. With my current build. If I really cared about it, if I was trying to set up for PvP, then I would have to make many sacrifices. Mind you, you see, I have 14 endurance. I used to roll around with like 3 endurance, or 5 endurance, with just fireproof, radical, and something like that, you know? But now I'm using Ironclad and Lifegiver. It's really important, especially for a lower health build. So if you eat certain foods that increase your defense, you know, and making sure that you're good with it, like the Scorched Beast food, and there's some stuff that increase your overall endurance, and you're, you're using bolstering armor, then it's kind of okay. And if you have high endurance and the, the perks and everything, then it's kind of okay. Especially depending on the weapon that you're using. 
there's certain weapons that are more insane than others. There's certain situations that are more obliterating than others. Like, if you have a high stagger and so forth, it really discombobulates the enemy. Like, a limb fracturing, all the stuff, it's a completely discombobulating. Too bad this game isn't more of a PvP game, so we could experiment with it more. PvP hardly ever actually happens here in this game. It's more of a uh, agreed upon activity. Or a harassment and self-defense activity. A person just starts shooting somebody, you know? Or it's a workshop conquest activity. I think once they refocus on the workshop conquest and make it more of a thing, make it more beneficial for people, and then make it really obvious that that's where the PvP is, people will do it more often. I'm pretty sure people know right now what it's all about, but that's why I'm so wise about it. If I didn't build the workshops the way I did, then people would be stealing them more often. I'm trying to treat the workshops as a oasis in the game for players to utilize. Like in a cooperative sense. You know? Cooperative. But with the chance for a person to double cross. And I'm sort of prepared for that. You know, I have it in the back of my mind. In the back of my face is what I, I'm thinking about. It. All the time. Obliterate. See, if this was actually a survival game, there'd be more reason to always prepare. But I think if if this was a survival game, meaning what? Not like a survival game. I mean, survival mode, like open PvP. The problem is, if this game was really like how it was before, the game would, would deconstruct. You wouldn't have this, you know? It will be sheer chaos. Like, all these events wouldn't exist. I mean, they sort of would. If I recall how it worked before, uh, PvP was turned off at public events and then turned on right afterwards. So the second the, the public event would be over, it would be a bloodbath. You know? In theory, this could be a bloodbath too. If a person just started shooting everybody, unless you have passive mode turned on, it acts like someone is initiating PvP and they get a bounty. You know? You get a bounty if you keep attacking people. And then, and then it's fair game. Also, if you lockpick someone else's stuff at their camp, you get a bounty, and that's open PvP as well. That's an interesting dynamic. It would be cool if there is a bounty system, whatever, increase the need. I'm trying to be sneaky and capture all the workshops in the background without someone trying to step on my toes. I'm doing it psychologically. Get back to what I was doing, you see? See, we have to move to some spot kind of far away. There's a person right there. I don't really want to take over this like side cabins because I think this gloop guy, level 7, that doesn't know anything about the game will feel like it's an invitation right next to him, so I can't do that one. So, let's hop. Let's hop through my Dolly sods, kill these anglers, because you know, angler meat is good stuff. And then from there, I can hop to some other spot. Better yet, let's go through my existing areas to remove the enemies because enemies have overrun. 
sometimes they deal damage to my structures and I have to kind of swing through. Clear the enemies out. I get credit for an event. In the process, it's a good reason to come back through. I sort of use the retake events as a route. It's already filled up, too. Okay, that guy needs to talk to me. He wants some meat. I'll get it to him. Also, there's the Black Bear Lodge I have to stop by. Let me go swing through here to go pick up this quest. And check on the Grafton Monster for more acid and oil. If the snail gastures are here. Good. Come for the cookout? Done right. I hope you brought your appetite. Here at Hemlock Holmes Gold Cup. Thrill of the grill. So well. All right, here we go. Good. Keep on going. Break down the stuff. Quick cycle on through. Let's go cycle through here. And then I will maybe kill all the mutants in the world. I'll hold off on that. There's a person right there, so I can't do that thing. Let's go over way over here. Alright. Let's clear it out. Flame on! I'm gone. I'm so sweet like a nice bonbon. Came out rapping when I was born. Nuclear waste. Thank you very much. There's lots of chaos outside. Let's go take care of it, huh? Well, they are so clustered up together. Thank you. <laughs> I like that cluster. Stay clustered. Beautiful. Adhesive. Now, I've been live for over half an hour. I should probably eat more foods. And my buffs are going to wear off. Okay, let's repair all. We're good to go. I've already gotten everything. Okay, got the lead. Lovely. Now I think I'm going to hop straight down and take over the Berkeley Springs. And then while I'm there, I'll, I'll speak with Chloe the Robot. Chloe the Robot of Yuri. the spot is going to have some, some random things. Maybe even some places. Here's some oil. Here's some wood. Oil. Sugar. Salt. Oil. Cat meat and squirrel bits. Speaking of squirrel bits, I have to go farm more squirrel. And I have to make sure that we hit up the Scorch Beasts, but I think I'll be doing that after I have 
maybe 10 or so workshops, and then I'll I'll hop between the Scorch Beast spawns in between my rotation. We just have to do this investment of effort at first in order to take over as many workshops as possible back to back. Because they are generating resources in the background. Now I got my salt. Go. I love this Mr. Peeper skin. Awesome. I love it. So mysterious. I need Yagwai meat, Deathclaw meat. It'll happen. It'll happen. I was gonna make sure to not cook the stuff and hope it doesn't rot on me. I could use good with salt, but we'll just wait. I'm gonna loot afterwards. We're in a hurry because other players might get an itchy trigger, trigger finger when they see someone near the workshop. It's part of it. I just like the added pressure. Not like I'm, I want to do PvP. I like the PvP environment. It's time to spin the wheel again. That's a good distraction for all these people. I'm going to try to make sure to... I'm going to take over this workshop quick. Take it over. We check the map. Brother players. You're capturing right now. Oh my gosh. And I'll get the stuff up and running. Hurry up. I'm also trying to make sure to get the Nuka, Cade, uh, Nuka Arcade system going. Whee! Getting the crystal right over here. Get my stuff going. Wait. I hear I hear stuff. Gotta hurry. And and Gotta hurry. Done. Okay, where is it? Time to spin the wheel again. It's cool how you can hear people shooting. You see, there's a person nearby. I know how this game works. If I was just hanging out there, standing up, walking around, shooting stuff, making, lo making lots of gunfire, I'm mindful of that too, that the noise I make, while just making explosions and so forth, a person might get curious, even social. But positive social flim flam turns to negative real quick, ain't that right? Passive aggressive flim flams. It turns negative real fast. People are naturally competitive. I'll have to reset my... It's been an hour now, so my foods and everything have reset. Let me go check out the daily. I have to craft bulk aluminum. 
kill Raz Jags, kill the cultists, kill mole miners, easy peasy. Build a generator in a shelter. Interesting. I could swap this stuff out if I want to. Are people coming? Am I alone here? People should be coming. People should be coming. This is the coolest event ever. Is there something else happening right now? Are people still occupied? Okay. I'll give it a couple more seconds. Now. Oh no. It's kind of rough being alone because there's like a big footprint here. There's so many. Hurry up already. Okay. No one's taking damage. We're fine. Hey, someone's here. Oh, boy. What to do? Yay, Anuka, nice job. It's time to spin the wheel again. I'll loot afterwards. That was exciting. That was exciting. What's next? Okay. Keep moving. Yeah. Whee! Let me loot, loot around for a second. Sometimes there's some extra stuff here, you know? multitask, you know. Alright, next. Do it. Do it. <sighs> My main mission here is to go down to the casino quarter in Atlantic City. Okay. Now we have all these daily quests. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I think I might want to use grenades as well. Oh boy. Epic behemoth, not just any old behemoth. Done. It's time to spin the wheel again. What is it going to be? I have to get more ammo online. Push over those Brahmin or something. Get out of here. Move. Go. Bram, 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 b
Where are the where are the cows? Hand over the cows. It's so dirty up here. Oh yeah. Keep squatch. There we go. Give me that left leg, please. All day. Okay, aim at the leg, aim at the leg. Cripple the beast. Cripple the beast. There he is. There he is. Nice. Biting his foot. Candidate coffee. Yay. Looting all corpses. At the same time. Alright, so now there's a script machine right here. We'll break everything down. Most Ricky tick. And I have to go back and sort of repair and refresh. It's been an hour. I think every hour I have to. There's the ammo. There's the phlegm. And now we have the new category, the... What I wanted to do was pull out the items I can't get rid of and work on that first. You see, there's a bunch of stuff I can't get rid of because, like, the Hellcat stuff, you see? And some of the Secret Service garbage. But I've already painted some of it, so I can't worry about that. But the, the Hellcat stuff, I have to focus on getting rid of that first. And this Marine Armor, the T-65 stuff, we'll see. I have to focus on these things first. Eating up a certain amount of room in my ash here. Same over here. There's some weapons like this alien disintegrator. And the Gauss weapons. I cannot sell. I cannot trade. Okay, make sure we're good. Big iron on his hip. I'll keep that rocket launcher. Nocturnal security baton. Hmm. I'll think about it. I'll just sell everything else at my vendor. Because it's nice to have a nice collection of things for sale. Alright, so now. How dare you. Here, I'm gonna work right over here while that person's at the vendor. I like to hit up these. I like to work on these for a little bit whenever I show up at this location for the public events. I do it ten times or so. Getting these new cocade points. Because I buy the Nuka Quantum ammo, it costs a certain amount in the machine behind me. That person done? Good. Let's see if I can buy some ammo. How much do I have? I have 31,000 points. And it costs 12,000 points for six of the Quantum ammo. Let's do it again. It, I'm at, let's say, 7,800. Okay, and now every bundle, about 300 or so. Gotta do it a few more times. But not forever. I'll do it until we get one uh, extra bonus. 225. 
we go. I'm done. Hey there. Greetings, stranger. Done right. Tell me my fortune. Imprints. All right. So now, I'm gonna sort this by value and go to the very bottom and get rid of as many things as possible. So focusing on the items I can't use or that I can't get rid of. Marine armor, the Hellcat, Scout armor, uh, what about weapons? Same thing. The Gauss, the Disintegrator, the Gauss. This garbage, the Whacker Smacker. And I'm going to sell everything else at my camp. I think. And I'll wait until I get new items. Sounds good to me. Alright. Let's go back down to my camp. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to sell each of these things for default value. Is this important to have a collection and assortment of different items for sale? At your vendor? It attracts people. When they mouse over your camp, it shows what, what you're selling. This two shot handmade, though, however, is pretty good. So I'll make this one be. Oh, 1200. Everything else is fine. Default, I don't care. Give them a nice sale. Everything here is going to be default. Go. And what else can I get rid of? I'm going to sell a bunch of... Yeah, I got rid of all my nuka colas yesterday. I transferred them over. Worked by nothing. I'm going to sell nothing. Okay. I can sell different ammo. Let's work on that. I'm going to pull out uh, a bunch of different ammo types and sell them. Let's go sell... Mm, I'll pull out the 10 millimeter. I'll pull out the cryo cell. I think fuel is going to be worth a lot of money right now. Sell some fuel. Because there's a new weapon, you know, and people want it. People want it. It's very expensive on the fuel front. In fact, I might sell just fuel. To be honest, I'll sell this 5.56 and the 5mm because people burn through this stuff with their stupid guns. And... Mm, that's good. That's good. Plasma as well. Okay, let's go sell. I'm restocking. It's gonna be one for all the stuff. For the basic ammo. Cryo's gonna be three. Fuel's gonna be three as well. Or two. Plasma is going to be three. Oh, the weight boss, the weight three. But is it too much? What's wrong? Too much weight? Too much weight. All right, cool. That's done. Until someone buys something from me, that is. And I'm sure they will. Be all the ammo I'm not using. And I have to get my buffs back up and running. Look, someone just bought some garbage. See? There they go. All those default priced items I just put up. It gets them buying. Once a person starts spending money, you know what I mean? They end up spending money. <laughs> they broke the seal. Give me the money.
<laughs> Every hour. I must survive what? Mm -hmm. Lucky mucker ain't. I go kill a scorch beast. I was gonna do it with my other build, you know. On purpose. Back and forth with my power armor. Back and forth with my power armor. Hmm. One second. Open up the map here. Take a picture. Yeah. Ow. Boom. Done. Okay. So that's all done. We got our buffs over here. There's a couple more buffs. A couple more foods. I dumped everything out. Do nothing. Well, you know, maybe I should add more Halloween candy. I gotta add more. Oh, there's candy inside. Interesting. <laughs> there's candy inside the bowl somehow. Don't look so gloomy, friend. There you go. There you go. I'm pretty sure we got the buff. And I'll play the music. Hey there, Skyler. The Clemens. We're here in the world of Ball Out Bevity Bix, baby. When you say Ball Out, you say Bevity Bix. Ball Out with the Bevity Bix. I'm just hanging out, having a good time right there. In my jacuzzi. Is a travesty, I say. Travesty. All right, so now I'll eat my foods, I guess. We'll hop on the on the music. Be good to go. Beef claw steak. Boeing Flim Flam. Post Angler for max AP. I'm going to put that, the squirrel bits away. The Yagwai Pastries. 75 pound carry weight. We'll put the squirrel meat away. And what else? I'll put away one post angler. And I put away mm, one death claw stick. Pretty good, you know. It's um five strength. Right now I'm not using the unyielding, and my stats are decent probably. 33 strength, uh, 16 perception, 22 endurance, uh, 4 charisma, 16 intelligence, 28 agility, 18 luck. I'm currently sitting at 68 health. But 400 total health. Okay, I'll be right back, people. A 
be right back. Like and subscribe. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll be right back. Enjoy the honky tonk, baby. I'll be right back. We're back after topping off our flim flams. Yep. Good to go. I don't know how long the server's gonna last, so the investment of these workshops is kinda dicey. Such how can you change I'm gonna knock out this event right here really quick. I do these other events mixed in.
right there. Be careful. Mm-hmm. Press the button. Press the button. I will. Be so quick. Failed. Okay. Defensive perimeter. This is just the mission where there's a bunch of these robots trying to head back to the Robco facility. Military operation. You fight some waves of bad guys. Right next to my house. I'll zoom to the moon. Decent amount of back speed there. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, next wave. This is a vampire weapon, so it, it works out. It works out. Hurry up. All done. There's a couple things over here. And I clearly have to go pick up more bullets. Or make some. i be kind of careful. Alright, um, I'll loot over there in just a bit. Let's take over another workshop, please. Super quickly. Once I have it all established, I can cross over into power armor. I do have to have a power armor phase in here somewhere so I can get these scorch beasts taken care of. Dot com. The raiders are on my side. The friendly. I'm gonna go do a loot, a looting spree real quick here. Right over yonder. Beautiful. Pick a bums. Thank you. Eh, I'm not going to kill them in their sleep. It went to bed, though, after all that. <laughs> it's a scorpion. Right in the scorpion face. I'm using the shack in quite a bit. I have a lot of points invested in it. Some water as I run by. Gotta hurry up every hour on the hour as this other activity. <sighs> Gotta rock this joint.
Awesome. There's one more enemy right over yonder. Right over there. Little blood bug. I take care of business. Thank you very much. Okay. And then I shall take it over. Real quick, like. I have all these buffs active except for the scout banner. I'm sort of waiting for other people. I'll use the scout banner and lunchbox combo. Whenever there's other people around. And I have to purchase more lunch boxes with gold anyways. Mm-hmm. There you go. Gold vendor. Done. Up around the clock. Right now. Right there. Sounds great for that sweet, sweet Copernicus action. Copernican. Yay. Now, a dude from earlier asked some fake question about something. But, to answer that fake question further, uh, they're asking how to get a bunch of copper, blah, blah, blah. For their weapon, well, you don't need a bunch of copper for the weapon. You just need a bunch of any resource, and you use the ammo converter. You know, if you collect a bunch of all resources, then you, you, you'll you usually have something, some resource that is used to make a ton of some type of ammo. You know, like if I don't have lead, I can have a bunch of aluminum and make a bunch of arrows, and then convert the arrows into ammo points. And the ammo points into two millimeter ammo. Now, as for the existence of the ammo converter, is it through the Raiders? It's been a long time since I've acquired it, and I'm not too sure where I got it from. It seems pretty darn important, though. The ammo converter. It, it works well with the infinite ammo stash, which I think is only a Fallout first thing. I don't think the ammo converter is a fallout first only thing, but it might be. I'm just setting up this workshop here for later perusal. I'm not going too ham on it. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I do this before the people come. You know the deal. Right now, I'm currently crouching. Hidden away. What the heck? Add a light right here. So before, you had to actually run around and build this whole thing. Yeah. But then that, that makes you all exposed to the enemy. Potentially. But now you can do it really sneaky-like and just have the whole thing build itself. If a person were watching this from third person, they'd think that it's just being built magically. There you go. Look up these wires. Right over yonder. And then. Uh, and I'll build one more uh, bloody birdie. Right over here. And right over here. Baby. That's good enough. There's a defense event right now, and I have to get out of here. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now 
Things are happening. Things are popping. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm taking over all the workshops. Let's go back over here. And we do need some of this meat. Let's go check over here by this Hopewell Cave for a second. Let's see if there's a death plot inside. Yep. This is a known spawn for Deathclaw. And I'll stop by the Black Bear Lodge to go pick up that mission. There's a daily mission. To hunt different animals across the map. got the meat. I just need a few more Yagwa. But that'll be, that'll be handled all by itself in time. Let's go over here by the pumpkin house and then I'll take over the Red Rocket Mega Stop. It says that somebody else controls it, but I'm sure they're not playing right now. I'm not sure, but you know. It sort of shows the previous owner. Let me hurry up and knock this out. I saw on X or Twitter that uh, someone was posting some, some real rest stop. There's like some weird, famous, real truck stop in West Virginia that the Red R Rocket Mega Stop is modeled after, even the restroom layout. And while we're here, I'll get some pumpkins for this trick or treat daily mission. Gonna give this robot some pumpkins. It'll give me some radioactive seeds. So I can make some interesting uh, green goblin <laughs> pumpkin grenades. Now there's the Mothman Equinox so starting right now. Gotta oh. hurry up. I'm trying to multitask here. Get that's done. Get the heck out of here. In this building, there's going to be a, a, a few drops of loot. Pumpkin pie, of course. So many to carve. There it is. So Go upstairs. Men's hats, a witch hat. And we're done. Some caps, squirrel bits. I'm trying to save that in my freezer. Okay, we don't have too much time. I'm gonna hurry, hurry, hurry. And go straight to the Red Rocket Mega Stop right now. I'll be heading up that Mothman event in the next couple minutes. Hopefully, there's nothing going on here. Claim the workshop at the Red Rocket Mega Stop. Here it is, everybody. I'm gonna dance on through here. There should be some free Nuka Colas. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Whiskey bottle McGee. Empty beer bottles. Looking for the Nuka Cola. There's gonna be some stuff up here on the roof. Free war money. Gunpowder. Back on shells. Okay. Check the map. All right, it's unowned. I'll take it over now. Put in 25 caps. Normally I'll do it nice and crouched, but I'm, I'm going to multitask and loot around for a second. I'm going to head toward the back. Just looting around for a moment. And for this one, I'll probably come back afterwards and build it up. There's a few nodes that are sort of spread around the area. We go in here. There's also some salt and pepper in here. I'll be looting afterwards. All right, let me hurry up. Because we have this public event we want to knock out. Base build. Right there. 
I put my structure in the very back to work out. And I could quickly take over these resources. Fine. Let me do it. That's junk. Then we have aluminum. Then we have steel. And more aluminum across the way. I'll go ahead and hook up this, this side over here. Because the footprint's so large, it's actually faster if I knock it out individually. And over here, there's a nuclear material spot. Right there. Put down my thing. Right there. You can also put power up on this roof here. This is also aluminum. And way over here. Rather large footprint. One of the larger footprints around, you know. This, I believe, is also maybe aluminum. There's like three aluminum here. Pretty decent. And now I'll put out a, a bunch of weird turrets. The, the cold turrets here in the corners. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Right there. Right there. Up here at the corner. Right there. Right here. Now we're done. Maximum build count reached. And now we run across the map. Oh my gosh, they finished it already. Oh no, they finished it in like three seconds. <laughs> I missed it. It's fine. Okay, let's hop across the map. And we have to get more Yagwai. So I'm going to stop by the Colonel Kelly Monument. It's usually, well, there's sometimes Yagwai up there. By way of the Grafton Steel Yard. Yeah. Grafton Steel Yard, duck. Real quick. Okay. I was checking these spots really quick. And then I'll kill the enemies that are here. Yep, get the copper. And we swing on through to the other end. Make sure it's clear of all enemies. Is it clear? Nope, it's not clear. Alright, so I'm going to go through. Wipe out these enemies. Right now. Retake completed. Yes. Oh no. Why can't I stab? Oh no. Feels weird for a moment. Whee. Up, up, and away. We're just gonna go through the whole facility here. Super quickly.
I'm not using very many chats. This is just part of what I do when I come through my my workshop. Got this extra opportunity. For supplies. Right over yonder. Oh, there's a couple enemies here and there. They just shot down the vertebrate. Beautiful. Retake complete. That is sometimes concerning because I didn't retake it. I get credit for it. There's a bunch of iron ore up on this conveyor belt that goes all the way across to the other side. And back up to the other end as well. Not like it respawns or anything. Alright, let me go ahead and repair the facility here. There we go. All structures repaired. Make sure I get all the soda pop. Okay. It might have been broken. Got the soda. All good to go. And there's going to be a few more enemies I didn't clear out because I went the other way. There's lots of supplies here, you know. And loads. Is it a player? Not a player. Okay. Okay, we gotta hurry. And I wanna check on that Yagwai, and then I have to go pick up some produce. There you go. Looking for their body parts. This is an occasion where that area loot really comes in handy. Who, what, where? Oh, you're... You're somewhere. There's some enemy somewhere. Yeah. Besides that one, I thought there was a second one. There is. There's, like, there's someone behind me. Okay, let me go up here first and do some minor lootage. Beautiful. Aha. Got you. Beautiful. Now the game wants me to build something inside of one of my shelters. could have like an armory if it lets me if I could put display racks with weapons underground that'd be great that'd be great okay now let's move on I want to check out the Colonel Kali monument to see if there's Yagwai Yagwai I guess I'll stop by the Black Bear Lodge There's nobody here. Okay, let's go stop by the Black Bear Lodge. This might also trigger some Grafton area daily activities like the uh, Bark Mission. Good old Bark Mission of yore. Come on down and get the bark. Dogwood. Nothing? Okay. This one's not active. I'm going to check this corner because sometimes there's a Yagwai. There's a couple spots I know across this valley that have Yagwai. It's a blue devil. Let me go for his leg. This does more damage to cryptids. Ah, 
I hope I have that perk on. The enforcer perk, I might not have it on. I feel like I don't. Slow motion. Do I have it on? I do have it on. But this shotgun might not have extra um, them damage, but it might. <laughs> At the same time. It, uh, ammo capacity, gradual freezing, that uh, reduces the target's movement speed by 85% for 4 seconds. 50% more damage to cryptids, but it does not have them damage. It's fine. It's the extra ammo capacity that really helps. It's just a quad, really. I like the cold effect, of course. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna go across the field. There's gonna be a, a few creatures outside this outer region. There's also a a mission, a daily over here to go pick up some slime. Some toxic mutagenic waste. I'm gonna go through and knock it out. Even though I'd like to have it in the workshop in my belly. Salt and pepper, oh yeah. Bigger bomb. Someone sent me a friend request. But why? Somebody from the internet, perhaps? Go this way. Awesome. And heal. I'm just going around killing some stuff. If you don't mind. Or Pino. And I'm looting baby salt and pepper and so forth and so on. It would be great if this game was cross-platform. It would be kind of fun to roll around with a bunch of people. You know what I mean? Even though I'm on a public team right now. More in spirit than anything else. Okay. I got the goods. Maybe grabbing all this dogwood for free wood. I'm heading by these cabins over here. Where it is... Salt. Okay. Spices. Lawn flamingo plan. Rat poison. I think it might just be acid. Alright. And right over here. Again. Bags of fertilizer for some future mission. Hi. Still a tadpole. No. That's okay. Actually. Even if you are, actually, I'm not. Why are you infected with the Mothman curse? Thank you. And if I get too close, there's going to be. A Myler Queen popping up out of that water. There's some floaters back here I'll take care of. Little tricky tick as we go around toward that lake area. I, I really am looking for a, a Mialguai. Some can spawn to my left. I'm sort of multitasking this looting opportunity. Here 
we go. You'd figure that these guys would be cryptids as well, huh? Because they sure are weird. Borderline alien. Borderline alien creatures. They okay, were going through. Doing some minor looting. There's a T-45 leg in there. Flipboard. Bobblehead. Oh, yeah. Lovely. One more property, and then we go back through. I'm not going to go through Camden Park right now. All right. We're good to go in just a second once I clear this out. There might be some Yago over here. If not, I'll just ignore it for a bit. And there's some over there by Dolly Sod's campgrounds. Sometimes I get attacked by a bunch. All this stuff, get rid of it. Do I want the quills? Maybe. Not right now. Okay, uh, there is the eviction notice event. It's a pretty hard one, sort of. It, it, that might be a good excuse for me to transition into my power armor. And get more bullets. Okay, we're going through. Going by the spot where there are sometimes Yagwai. But uh, I guess not right now, huh? That's fine. So, let's go back to my house. I'll come back through for the event here. Let me clear out the super mutants first and the... The enemies. Then I have to go back to my base. Pop out my build. Pick up thousands of ammo. Oh, I love this skin. Mr. Peepas. They call me Mr. Peepas. I love that skin so much. The beep is... Okay. Time to die! Ooh, I scared you. Not today. My chest is messed up. Oh gosh. I gotta hurry because this eviction notice event just started. I just wanna stop by and get the Grafton monster. Most Ricky Ticky 2. Hippie Typey Tim Tay. Before this stuff rots on me. What a play in the sky. Beautiful. All right, let me hurry up. Yep, I'm just starting off this whole stream by taking over a bunch of workshops. I mean, let me go from there. My goal for these streams is to knock out all the workshops as possible until the server dies or some garbage. Knock out all the daily quests, even all the weird hidden ones, like the picture taking garbage and all that. And knock out the, the daily up and then do some darn stamp grinding or, or the ticket stamps. There's so much stuff in that, in that, um, Giuseppe vendor for stamps. Okay, I'm here for the goods. Let's hurry up. Wait a week. So I'm going to take these arrows. How about 10,000 arrows? Come on. I'll take 10,000 arrows. And then com Gosh. convert them over. Higher power, arrow. I want to sell 10,000 arrows. One. Uh, uh, uh. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a couple more to grow on. About five hundred. I'm converting arrows to arrow uh, to ammo points. And then that over into two mi millimeter. It's a great system to compensate for not having certain resources. Okay. Now, 30,000 points for 1,500. I'll do it three times. I wonder if I could hit up the end of this event before it's over. Okay, done. And now, quickly... Dibba 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 doo magic. Dibba 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 doo boo. Oh. Gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. <sighs> okay, and then once I get there, I'll drop a lunchbox. Well, actually, I think I just ran out. I have to purchase more with gold. I have to drop a scout banner and hopefully they respond with lunch boxes in mind. And I'll top off some of my food because I'm sure it's been half an hour. Base. A final escapade. Is anyone out there? Recording is a call for help. Oh my gosh. You get a line, I'll get a line, line, line. My name is Kenneth Dean. We're all messed up. Let me check out my build, because I, I swapped out some perk recently. Rut row. Destroy the meat bags. Oh, the mission still started. Okay. The basalt. Bloody mess. Whoop. Sorry. Uh, what was there before? Yes. Yes, ricochet. Done. Yep. Woohoo! It's Bosco time. Population Bosco. Okay, let me lower down my flims. Kind of begins. And just for laughter and joy, I'll consume a single berry mintat. Whoa! Music. Fiddler Brown. Dare Drew. These guys are beefy. These aren't your standard mutant. I'm drinking a bunch of uh, canned coffee, eating some uh, candy here, and the occasional nuka flim. We got one gun army active. Get a b oh my gosh. You go back up the hill. Whee! Other games wish they were Fallout 76. They wish.
Avast ye, Quabby. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that uh, the the yellowish skinned enemy is a lot harder than the other mutants. It's kind of ridiculous. Whatever his name is, the fire starter guy, the level one hundred fire starter uh, mutant is way stronger than like a level sixty mutant. <laughs> a level sixty standard mutant compared to the weird level one hundred. Firestarter guy. Woo. If I wasn't in this build, it'd be really obvious. The heck is going on here? Oh no. I used the wrong weapon, and now we're doomed. Doomed, I say. It's horribly bugged. Oh gosh, the only way to fix it is by leaving my armor. We're doomed. The only way to fix this problem is by doing this. It's a bug with the thirst sapper. I didn't mean to use it, you see. I have to like climb out for a second, and now I can climb in. If I equip the thirst sapper, and I don't let it do a full reload sequence before swapping weapons, then a little artifact bottle gets stuck in my hand, and then I can't swap out other weapons with the numbers. And I can't, like, reload and stuff like that. It's just terrible. Well, at least I know how to fix the problem. It doesn't really give me that much of a problem when I'm not in power armor, but it's to the point where I just I take off the thirst zapper from the favorite wheel. Repair. Doing it, ricochet, baby. Yeah. Woohoo! Yes. So I'm trying to make sure to go through and kill a bunch of scorch beasts all the time. And now that I'm in my power armor. And I got some ammo, I can do that right now. I've been trying to bounce through the Scorch Beast spots all the time and kill Scorch Beasts. And then collect some brains for long term for for dedicated XP farming. I'm not gonna do it until I have like ten brains, you know? The XP farm. But I'm collecting a bunch right now. So that being said, I'm gonna go straight down to this fisher site and Kill a scorch beast. Ah. And then cycle through my workshops as we have to. I want to sort of alternate between scorch beast killing and then uh, topping off or picking up the supplies from these locations. Oh, this one's all closed up, huh? I see how it is. I see how it is. All right. That one doesn't count, then. Let's go over here. I'll do the Fisher Prime location. It's a great farming spot. As well. But I need to swing on through my workshops. It's so important. Oh, no. No, I don't want this on my hotbar. It's so terrible. Go away. It's all messed up. But you couldn't see. There it is. Okay, so the goal here is to wail away on that left wing. The full clip, and that should be enough to make it drop. Really. Once I'm relatively close. See? Just a couple of shots is all it really takes. Nice. 
I hate it. How many body parts in the world? Ugh. Oh my gosh, this area. Pretty sure if I go from the head and then up, no, and then down, yeah. From the head and then down. There it is. See, it's from the torso and then up is head, and then from the head and then down, I guess, is left wing. I jumped over his attack. There. I got my DNA. I have attained the DNA. Let's pick up some ultrasight while I'm here. Dead Yog Line. Right over here. Okay. I'm gonna go straight back to one of my workshops. Alright. Or two or three. <laughs> back to back, just to make sure that they're reset. Otherwise, we lose out on potential long term resource gain. But I'll stay in my power armor for a second, which will help just in case there is a player around these parts. <laughs> Someone told me I had and coffee, you. meat, wood, Truth. water. I am Water's good for long term sales. Fertilizer. Get some gold. These turrets might turn on when they feel like it. Case in point, the turrets might turn on when they feel like it. Mm -hmm. All good. What are you doing? Are we good now? Are we good now? No. <sighs> good now? Nope. There's a dog here somewhere. I'll know it's done when I'm able to build. I might have to use a... Hmm. Very mintas. Enemy could be next door. Oh no. It could be over here. I missed you loop around and they could be back there. Let's, let's knock out some very mintas. Before this wastes too much of my time. Are we good now? What did my turret shoot? I don't know. Is there a dog still inside? Is there a dog underground? Directive. Acquire all junk still in At least it makes it where uh, this spot... Oh, there's one. It makes it where no one can capture the spot. Is it good now? We'll find out. There it is. That's how you can tell if, I, if you could repair. Okay, this spot's good to go. Moving on next. 
go stop with this cricket horde. And then I'll go down to the... Maybe the train station, clear out the enemies in Welch. And knock out the Scorch Beast down below. Where crickets have a, a, a ton of acid. Yes. Reload, reload. This is where the flamethrower would come in handy. Mm. Thank you. Test your metal. Do you have water tricks? Okay, here we go. Do you have water tricks? I'm gonna loot through here really quick and then kill the Scorch Beast and then do that activity. Here, there's ten. There's a workbench over here, I think. Right here. Minigun, minigun, minigun. <laughs> Short Gatling Rifle. Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer. And... Good stuff. Okay. Let me go straight down. Build the Scorch Beast first. Pretty please? And then we'll do this activity. Right now. So I'll kill a few to get my damage up with the adrenaline perk. And now I want to target that left wing, please. Woo, oh, no! I want to keep you down on the ground, please. Make you nice and cold, too. Cold yet? Good to go. Thank you for your lungs. The peepers. Peepers. Okay, there's no one there. All right, I'm gonna quickly go through another one of my workshops. There's no one there. I'm not going to be the only one. I have to swing through my workshops and take over a few more workshops before the server's dead. You know? I feel like the server's going to be dying eventually. Maybe. I don't know. What day is it? Okay. It's the 25th. I think we have until November 1st or 2nd or so. Something like that. Okay, good to go. I'll pick up these supplies, make sure it's nice and secure. Hmm. It appears to be overrun. There's probably some creature in the water. I can tell because I can't build. That's what happens if you leave the spot unsecure for too long. Uh, and then I, I don't even get credit for it, so I'm pretty sure it's in the water. Right. 
some over there, but there's probably some right here. Three mintats. See? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Let's see if it's good now. Yep. Good. We drop off everything. Okay, moving on. Let me check the event. There's people there. Let's go. Yeah, yep. And then from here, I'll I'll go straight to a scorch base location, and then I'll swing back through one of my workshops, and I'll be doing that for a bit. Hopefully, we get some death claw, the Algoli action. I'll use a, uh, scout banner. I don't think I have a lunchbox. Not today, robot. You're fine. Get your kill, my spirit. No. I have been hit. Well, I should take over another workshop, but another power plant. I've been sitting on a big pile of fusion cores, but they're starting to reduce. I even threw away like 10 yesterday. I'm down to 18. There's ways to make them last longer. Okay, eat. Angler. Meat steak, rad stack, and death claw steak for extra strength. Boom boom. Across the board. Whiskey. Red X diluted. Ugh. Bot. Ooh. Ooh. I got you. Pick that rust eagles. We won't go down without a fight. Or something. We are the eagles of rust. We beseech you. I ho. Silver. Away. Yeah. Owl to the moon. Owl to the moon.
Yep. Science. No, we don't need that garbage. The time for playing around is over. Gladiators, you're about to face the reigning champion. Time to rock and roll. Kill him. <laughs> I didn't get nobody. Shit. <laughs> Step on him. Ooh. Not Grimbot. Gonna do better, huh? Nothing. The second dream bot. Front leg, right leg. It's gonna blow up, probably. That was good. You've done it. You're gonna blow up, aren't you? Yes, you were. One more time. That's all done. I'll do some quick looting in the area. No, my wrath. Creep. Good to go. Doing some quick looting in the area. Let's move on. Let's head to a Forge Beast location. Take out another Scorch Beast. And then go through to the workshop. Let's do a quick little Forge Beast rotation here. I want your left arm, thank you. He'll, he'll probably land right now. Because I, I wailed away at his left wing with this limb damage weapon. He just find he, he's looking, or he or she, or whatever the heck it is, is looking for a spot to land. Coming. Reload, reload. Okay, let's go for their heads now. Oh boy. There you go. A little bit. Okay, so now I'll transition over if I could. Torso, right leg, left leg, right arm, right wing, left arm, left wing. There you go. Let's unleash. See, now it's good. See, now he's all slow. Get these other guys going. Slow. 
hope these other guys in the way. There's so many. Come on. Should be enough. Be enough. Hurry up. There you go. There you go. Have a good day. Sure took him a lot of land. It's almost a buggy situation. They're sort of looking for a spot to land over and over again. And sometimes they reset their, their search. As far as I can tell... You trigger their landing sequence by doing enough damage to the wing with limb damage and all that. And I have all that. And I did it. But then you saw him kind of get in position but then fly away. I wonder if I'm interrupting it by attacking during that time. I don't think it does. Still. Okay. And now I have decent meat on me. All this free canned coffee. Ready. Very nice. And now I'll go straight down to the Dolly Slides campground for a second. Yeah, no. And then I think I'll bounce straight up to the Red Rocket Mega Stop to go cl clear through it. I took it over recently. Candy, candy, boom, bam. And then I have to put this stuff away before it rots. After the next, after the next uh, Scorch Beast. Yeah, this spot only has lead. I'll make sure it's still good to go. Let's see if I can repair. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, and now I'll go straight up to Red Rock and make a stop. What time is it? It's 8.57. There's going to be another Mothman Equinox event happening very soon. So probably right after I kill the Scorch Beast, I'll go down and drop off the meat, and then go straight to the Equinox in a couple seconds. Hmm. I'll probably swap out of this build and go back to my other build. Let's here for this free loot. Okay, we got the 15 aluminum ore here. Bunch of random junk. Oh. My goodness. I never set that one up. Good afterwards. Steel scrap. Aluminium. Yeah. Be quick. Four of the uranium variety. Ten more. Let me go straight up to Scorch Beast. 
heard a mole rat. Ugh. Do it. Right now. Oh, there's so much to do in a game like this. It'll be much, much worse if it was sort of like in a Helldivers format or Fortnite Save the World format where it was mission based with a queue and a load time and a timer. You have 15 minutes to go kill the Scorch Beast. Good job, you killed the Scorch Beast and then it loads out and you're back in the lobby. That'd be terrible, sort of. It's really immersion breaking and it sort of kills the whole flow. And it doesn't really allow for long stretches of gameplay. Right now there's almost an hourly cycle in Fallout 76 because there's typically, whenever there's a seasonal event, there's an hourly uh, activity. Right, right now there's an hourly uh, ritual in Point Pleasant to summon the Mothman. Yay. Dude, we're really going for the brains. They're just so rare. Stop it. Stop it. You good? Ugh. to run. Alright, so now we're going to go straight down to my Camp Rooney. And I'll swap over my build and drop off my power armor. And I'll drop off the Scorch Beast food into the fridge. And maybe even the Death Claw meat if it's still not rotten because I have this quest. to go turn in the Dog white meat and the death pot meat so quickly. It's hard work making a living out. It's uh swap over my build. Right there. I'll put away the armor. And I missed the last one. Put away a couple things right here. Break down a couple of things right here. It's hey, look, someone just purchased my fuel for three caps a piece. I sold one thousand. Because I figure right now fuel is a hot commodity with that new weapon. All right, that's all done. Go put this away quickly. That scorch beast meat. Oh yeah, and the death claw meat. I got two still. And two lungs, two scorch beast meat, four livers, and no brains. I love it though. It's not rotting, it's so cool. Okay, that's all done. And now let's quickly nice. drop off this armor. And there we go. The equinox of yore. Isn't it so grand? The existence of a freezer and you have a camp. Other games wish. Looks like they went my freezer. No, no, no. It, I have the freezer next to my fridge. But why do people break their silence to, you know, poke holes in my operation. I'll break my three hour silence to say you missed a spot, and then go back to silence. Hi there, Brandon. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Oh, the brains are used to make broiled scorch beast brain that provides eight intelligence. It's the equivalent to the Mothman uh, egg omelette that provides eight intelligence, but it's for the carnivore side as opposed to the herbivore side. It's used in, conjun in conjunction with the tasty squirrel stew that provides 
experience. So a combination of the Tasty Squirrel Stew and the Broiled scorp Scorched Beast Brain is how you get a bunch of XP whenever it's time to farm XP. The main issue is that the Scorched Beasts hardly ever drop brains. So to make it really work out, you have to store this stuff long term in the freezer and then it doesn't take any loss. Once each of the pyres has been released. I mean, I do have the refrigerator side by side with the fridge, or, uh, with the freezer. It, it looks cool. But I'm pretty sure I went to the freezer. Pretty sure. We can check, though. We can check. But it's not like I put a uh, brain in there. I, I care most about the brain his eyes, not rotting and that death claw meat. Let the dust and flames and fumes so intelligence in this game gives you more XP. Is it 5% XP per intelligence? Maybe. I don't know. But normally, whenever it's time for XP harvesting, you wear a full set of unyielding armor for plus 15 intelligence and you eat intelligence food and then you eat XP food, you make sure that you go to bed for the extra XP, you take four lunch boxes for 100% more XP, uh, you know, all that garbage. Lots of layered stuff to do to get more XP, and the Berry Mentats for plus 5 intelligence, you know. So Berry Mentats plus a food that gives you plus 8 intelligence, plus a full set of unyielding armor, that's a whole lot of intelligence compared to not doing any of that. <laughs> compared to not doing any of that, yikes. The heretics bring foul brutes with them. Let not your eyes deceive you. All you see before you is well, I have to check now. You're, you're making me question things. I don't know if there's a different symbol. So, let me go check now. You're making me question things. Let me go check. You can identify uh, that there's a different symbol, I'm pretty sure. There's like a freezing symbol or whatnot. Well, you see... The way it works is, as a carnivore, it requires a brain, but the Scorch Beast hardly ever drop the brain, so it's best, in my opinion, to collect a bunch of brains over time, store them in the fridge so that they don't rot, you know, and then once I have about 10, I'll do a dedicated XP farm for like a weekend or something like that, you know. Uh, usually, I like to do the XP farming whenever there is a double XP event, is then, you know, see if we can check right now. Yeah, same symbol. Freezy, freezy. And nothing's taking any, uh... It's not taking any durability damage. I put some brains in there the other day and they haven't lost anything. But, uh... As far as XP growth and all that, um, I'm still having a nice, smooth XP gain. You don't even have to try all that hard. It's not like other games, where it slows to a crawl. It's not slowing to a crawl from an XP gain. You know? If I just play the game normally, I get a couple levels throughout my gameplay. If I just play it normally and do the occasional thing, go back through and kill some enemies, do some public events, some public events have more XP than others, you know? Like the, the um, radiation roundup, that thing with all those radioactive um, glowing enemies, or a bomb site, or mutants, or whatever, and I end up killing a bunch of enemies off and on. No, it all adds up. If you see how much XP I'm getting, hold on. Wait, wrong build. Here's my shotgun build. See? I'm already, you know, I'm. I'm 2,112, almost 2,113. I'm not quite sure of the amount that's needed, but it's a certain amount, and it's it's fine. And you get XP from doing everything, even even from crafting. It all adds up. It? So it doesn't really matter. 
you know? It's just every so often you're able to get more XP, and then it's pretty satisfying. But I realize it's also satisfying not grinding XP. See, it's a problem. Let's just say. Whenever it's time to farm XP, I feel like that's all I can do. You know? The second I start eating up all these foods, I know that any second that I'm not killing enemies, it's a waste. You know? If I ate the broiled scorched beast brain and the tasty squirrel stew, I know that every second that I'm not killing enemies, it's a waste of that food. It only lasts for an hour. So you have to be right on top of it, doing something back to back, like West Tech or something, and have like a nice rotation of spots. But then that becomes all you do, and it's kind of boring. Even though it's efficient for XP gain, I'm trying to do it when it's really, really important. Like during a double XP moment, so it's really maximized. And then it's like all of a sudden I get times four XP. That's really obvious. So I'm saving it for the future. As long as I can manage this system, I'm trying to introduce this system into my overall gameplay. Now, we're here. Let's go hop back through one of my spots that has a shadow. Lakeside Cabins, I thought I took that over. That's interesting. Let me go there now. Let me go there now. Let's go to Dabney Homestead. I like to go to a spot that has been overrun. Oh, the enemies! Now, normally, before the fridge, oh, sorry, before the existence of the freezer, it's not really viable to try to farm brains, you know? So if you really want to go XP farming, you go herbivore, which is con which is cranberry relish and the egg omelet, and it's not that hard to make. You just need some sugar bombs, you know? But if you're doing this method, I end up getting a bunch of sugar bombs. If I was a herbivore, I wouldn't be using this Collectron. I'd be using the Foshnok Collectron that gives me sugar bombs. Radioactive sugar bombs. Which is an ingredient to make the ex the intelligence food. You know? But it's a whole lot easier... It's a whole lot easier to get a, a ton of cranberry relish and um, the omelet versus the tasty squirrel stew and the scorched beast brain. The squirrels only spawn in certain areas, and even then, it's not in abundance. You can mass produce a bunch of gourd to get the eggs from across the map, you know? Cranberry, there, there's clusters of it here and there, so it's not that bad. But it's a lot harder to get the other stuff. Sometimes you get a ton of squirrel, like during Meat Week. There's a ton of squirrel. Or in Foshnok, there's a ton of squirrel. But beyond that, there's some here and there, like there's some that spawn next to White Spring. There's like two. <laughs> or something. And But the point is that if you keep getting it over time, putting it into the freezer, it becomes viable. Otherwise, it's just a fleeting thing. Get some squirrel, get some XP. If you're doing it on purpose, you need to eat. I think you need a stack. If you have a big stack, the larger the stack, the less... the less horrible it is. <laughs> Meaning, uh, if I only have a couple, that means I'm forced to do nothing but XP farming. Otherwise, it's a waste. If I have a ton, then it's no. I'm not wasting anything. The value situation. Okay, this one's done. I, I currently have a bunch of ore I have to smelt as well. I want to clear out the spot, and I did. We have this spot there. This spot there. Okay, I'm going to quickly uh, hop through Berkeley Springs, clear it out, and then go talk to Chloe the robot and kill a couple enemies along the way. And I do have the 
DNA. I'm sort of waiting for the Mama Dolce's public event to have an excuse to go by Morgantown. Water. Quantum. I'm, I'm really not going on top of the roof as much as I should. I have a tree up here with adhesive. Okay, so there are enemies here somewhere, probably. Yes, there are. I'm gonna do a little swing through, make sure there's no enemies here, make sure everything is repaired. We good? Yes, we're good. I'll do a quick repair all before leaving. And some free bullets. Let's go through here. Oh yeah, got some caps in the fridge. Gonna slide right on through. Yeah. Booyaka shaka. Okay, we're gonna slide on through down the hill to go speak with the robot. We're currently at Berkeley Springs. I just checked on the status and got the resources at, at the workshop. Right over here. Done right. Come speak to me this instant. You gave me quite a fright. You are never to run off without permission again. You had me quite worried, and I cannot even imagine what your parents would think. Ah, now that I can confirm you are still in one piece, you may have your designated playtime. Your parents told me you left some of your toys at an old play date, and I think it's the perfect time to get them back. Darn right. I'll get the toys Not back. Long, and remember, no talking to strangers along the way. Darn right. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, right. We have to go down the, by Harper's Ferry. That's cool. Go stop by this train station along the way, and I'll rip some items. I'm sure I have some legendaries on me. Hence so my carry weight being crazy. Right here. Bunch of goodies. There's some hangers with some steel. I'm over encumbered. Not level 100. Bug food. Perfect top off. Uh, I'll probably have to top off on some of my buffs pretty soon. Most buffs here last between half an hour and an hour and a half. But most of the, most of the foods, casual foods, half an hour. Other buffs, hour. Hour comes and goes quickly. Super quickly. And all of a sudden, everything starts to wear off all at once. And then there goes all that extra strength and carry weight. And then get over encumbered. Real quickly. So right here, I want to focus on items I can't sell. So I think the T-65 I can't get rid of. And the Hellcat stuff. And scout armor, maybe. Mm, the marine armor. 
Everything else I want to sort of try to sell unless it's super heavy with this T60 armor. Sort by weight with that other power armor. And we're good to go. Go check out my box. I would like to go sell more items as well. Hey there, friendo. Got things for me? Let's swap out my build really quick and go to my base build vendor outfit. Even though I'm not using living armor right The ballot machines? Uh, I think it was, there was a, a quest at one point. But I don't think it ever... There was like a quest at one point, but then I think it, um, like once you do it, it's over. It's like a little, tiny little quest. But then I think it was, it was one of the quests that was started, and, and I think they might have even taken out the quest. There's a couple quests that they removed, but there's like artifacts. I know what you're talking about. There's some ballot boxes. There's one over there in Somerville, in that town. You know, like all throughout that town, there's a bunch of ballot boxes, right? And there's some over there in Grafton as well. Weird stuff. I feel like eventually these artifacts will come back into play. Okay, so let's go sell my grenades. And we want to sell all this clothing. And we want to sell all the stuff I'm not eating. Beer. The mud cookie, the noodle cup. The alcohol for the most part. Pumpkin pie. I'll save the whiskey for emergency carry weight. Cram, cotton candy buys, dandy boy apples, imitation seafood, instant mash, moldy food, pork and beans. Half of my purified water. That's why I have it at the workshop. I said half of my purified water. So this is what I use to hydrate myself and to heal myself on top of my impact. Salisbury steak, s'mores. If this is radioactive, I want it. Vegetarian ham, all this stuff. Isn't it cool how much garbage you end up picking up? He's gotta know what's worth what, otherwise it could be overwhelming. If you don't know what's worth what. Potato chips, sometimes I keep some of these pre-war foods, the radioactive ones. I have a big stack of them, of different variety. There's some recipes that require, like the fancy lad snack cakes and so forth. I'm done. Alright, so. Let's sort by nothing. And here, see, the vendor has twice the amount of money. I'll get rid of the blood packs. I don't, I'm not using that recipe right now. I'm keeping the buff out for future recipes. The Comax Day Tripper, I give that away to the vendors. Because this is a multiplayer environment, I don't feel guilty about it. I feel like I'm helping somebody else out that might need this stuff. If you're a junkie, you need different addictions. There's a junkie build. I'll keep the Medex for future cams. I'll keep the Mentats for future Berry Mentat production. It makes it a bit easier if I'm already sitting on a stack of Mentats. I don't keep the Cycle Buff because it provides extra health. And when it wears off, it can kill me. If I'm a bloody build. So it's not good for bloody builds, I don't think. Psychotats are fine because they don't have that extra health. Yeah. It just has more damage, damage resistance, and perception. So psychotats are good. Overdrive is good. Psycho buff, kind of bad. Do I still play Save the World? Uh, once in a blue moon. I might start playing again there, Ryan. I was listening to my Amazon smart speaker. And they're talking about the future of the Unreal Engine Fortnite, the, the UEFN concept of creating games for Fortnite's multiverse. And they really are starting to call it a multiverse now. And it was all about the business side of it, about the future of partnering with small businesses. With um, They really want to create an ecosystem of games. They're really leaning into it now. This is 2024. They've already proven it works, and I think they're going to add more tools to it. So, 
I do enjoy creating things artistically and dynamically. That's why I like these games that have base building. I'm creating a whole world. It's almost like a, a game engine, like Valheim or something. You're creating a whole network, leveling the terrain, creating little areas and carts and so forth, and infrastructure. So that sort of concept works well with making games, you know. And I was, I was thinking about leaning into making some sort of levels and so forth. Some pretty cool stuff. Possibly. You know what I mean? Uh, what I heard was th th they want to integrate that engine with the MetaHuman Creator, which is part of Unreal Engines for realistic humans and like, Spider-Man assets and so forth. So if I were to do that, is my point, if I were to do that, I would be all up in the Fortnite ecosystem all the darn time. So at that point, I would probably be playing Fortnite Save the World. Now, another reason for me to do Fortnite is because of LEGO Fortnite, but I just stopped recently because the game is... I feel like it's a quarter finished, not even half finished. Plus, it's really janky with its engine. Weird pop-ins. The items that you build are, like, rebuilt all the time, and then... Imagine going into a game with base building, and every time you load in, the structures are sort of rebuilt in front of you, and then it takes a couple of seconds for some things to snap in, and then sometimes things don't snap in all the way. That happens all the time. Stuff like that. And there's no actual story to it. But the point is, if I were to do LEGO Fortnite, I would need to do Fortnite Save the World to earn free V-Bucks. If that answers your question. And I have several reasons to do it, but not right now. Not anytime soon. Because I, I, I just got back into uh, good old Fallout 76. I mean, so now I want to purchase some oil. I want to purchase some steel. Okay, we go back and forth, and then we're good to go. Alright. Go off into the woods for a second. I bet this isn't cross-platform. Tell you what. Tell you what. Alright, so. We're all good to go there. I'm at 536. I know why. I'm still in this other build right now. I mean, this game is really, really good. In case y'all are on the edge... It's just unfortunate it's not cross-platform. That's a big factor here. It really is a shame. But, um, I know. There's tons of content, and it never ends. Okay, let's go back. Lots of quality of life features. Alright, so we're, we're done uh, there. Anything happening on the map right now? I think I should go take over a new workshop. Real quick. Let's go take over the... Let's go clear through the Hemlock Hole spot again. Alright. This is how I get my consistent acid. And then from here, I'll hop over to the Tyler County Fairgrounds. There's a wolf mission. To go kill some wolves, but we'll see. I also want to go back to my vendor and drop off these items. The more items you're selling, the better. I should make a list of all the reasons why this game is good. You know? About why this game is good and why it is better than other games. I'll make the list now. Reason one. There's base building. Not every game has base building. Reason number two. Tremendous looting. And a... An awesome, uh, infrastructure for how those resources are used. Like, the, the value behind the resources that you're picking up. It's not just wood and ore. It's a bajillion little things. And they all have value. And they're everywhere. And the whole essence of looting 
the whole first come first serve nature of it it's a multiplayer environment so you're actually affecting other people when you loot things you know if you go through and loot everything then other players don't get anything so it kind of feels good in a quasi asymmetrical competitive nature to grab something before somebody else does it's like an easter egg hunt you know a whole lot of first come first serving it's an open world map with dynamic activities with time passing by over time so it's very immersive with public events that get people to play together there's many games that have sort of like an open world map and thing but there's no public event it's just a bunch of stuff that you can do but nothing that gets people together. This one has a wide variety of public events, and they're all sort of fun. You know? They're all sort of interesting and different, and they all feel like Fallout, and there's usually some music involved. <laughs> you know? It's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool boss fights and public events and weird little things. There's other activities. There's the daily op as well, which is more of an arcadey thing. A person could just do these daily ops. See right here, there's like a daily op right here. It looks like this. You see, there's something that happens every day and it changes up. You do it, it's fun. Yeehaw. There's different variables. It could be harder or easier. There's an expedition where you leave the map and you do some other garbage. Eh. And then there's the actual build your character. Yes, so in, in Fortnite Save the World is also a great looting game. Okay, let's compare Fortnite Save the World to Fallout 76 in terms of looting. Now, I'll say a bunch of bad stuff about Fallout, uh, about Fortnite Save the World. The problem is you have a mission that you go to, you click on the map, and you load into a level, and there's like a... It looks for a group, and then you load in, and it says you have 20 minutes to go do a bunch of stuff. You know, and then you have to go do a bunch of stuff while you're looting. You know. And... Just imagine if, if Fortnite Save the World had this format. It'd be great. It doesn't. Imagine if. Shut up. Just make sure you bring a lot of bullets. That big alpha is a heap of trouble. Just imagine if the missions in Fortnite Save the World, like build the towers, or blah 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 blah, or collect the Atlas juice. You know, if that was like a public event on a map that you can choose to go to, yeah, that's kind of how it works. You have some mission, people can choose to do it, or they can choose to farm the whole level and then leave or something like that, you know? it's. I think it's a very immersion breaking when you load into a level, you get a score at the end, you leave, you know? If you can, you can just load up a level, farm a bunch of stuff, go back up and around. Now, in terms of looting, there's way more loot in this game than in Fortnite Save the World. But the is, you can say that there's more looting in Fortnite Save the World because everything is destructible. Destroy all the cars, all the houses, until there's nothing but the bedrock. In theory. However, when you're in the house, you're like looting that cabinet, you're looting this, but there's like nothing laying around. There's like no trash laying around. Here there's, there's, there's stuff everywhere. There's like, you know... Become one with the There's a bunch of stuff laying around. There's not as much stuff laying around. He's got to figure out what to do with all the stuff. Uh, Fortnite Save the World has a whole different system of how weapons and everything work. It's more about your leveling up your... It, it, Fortnite Save the World really is an interesting game in terms of how you progress your character or your your, your account. Your it's, it's really about your, your home base. And you have a collection of heroes and survivors that all contribute to your overall level and your power. You know? And then you have schematics that you have to level up separately. And it's a really interesting system. 
But it's also very much... It's both complicated and very streamlined at the same time. It's both mature and babyland in terms of complexity. Okay, we're here. If I can get this online, I want to hide. I want to hide. Right here. Whew. Yes, looting is good. Looting is good. Game is good. And there's a nice narrative going on, and uh, time is progressing. Time is also progressing in Fortnite Save the World. It's just a shame about Fortnite Battle Royale existing. And how it's a separate storyline from Fortnite Save the World. And it's a separate storyline from Fortnite, from Lego Fortnite. I think it should all be the same storyline. Sometimes they act like it's the same storyline. Other times they act like it's a it's just a video game. And you start having Darth Vader next to Goku, next to Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles, for no reason beyond the fact that you that you've unlocked it. Good job, you've unlocked this skin. Now use it. It's really cool. That's cool. From a video game perspective. And it's it's sort of like um if you want to view games as a portal into a different dimension. Fortnite Save the World or Fortnite in general, that portal is a weird sort of Ready Player One multiverse. Where in the Ready Player One multiverse, you have a bunch of different planets. They're all themed differently, and you have different artifacts that you collect from different missions, and they kind of last and overlap into another mission. And you can say, where'd you get that from? Well, I got this from this other activity, and it works. It actually works. You can have some weird thing that works as a tool that you've obtained from some other land in theory. And it's immersive because you want to go play a game to unlock something because it, it has a value, even though you know it's a game. In other games, you're not acting like it's a game the whole time. You're acting like it's real, you know? As long as it's within the ecosystem of that game. For example, if you're playing Super Mario World 2025, I'm sure the implication is you're supposed to act like you're Mario. You're supposed to act like you've entered some Mushroom Kingdom dimension where now you have to survive by eating mushrooms and jumping around and hitting bricks. That's what you do now. That's your life. Welcome to this dimension. Where's Luigi? Who knows? The princess. Ah, you know what I mean? Versus if there was a Nintendo All-Stars 2025 and it happened to feature Mario and it happened to feature Luigi, but also features other weird Nintendo, like Super Metroid person and that other guy. Who knows? At that point, each of those characters knows that they're characters. Like Mario knows that he's from a video game where he's a star. You know, he knows where he came from in that context. I would like to believe. And they are, I'm representing the Mushroom Kingdom in this dimension where I came from. Now, Fortnite likes to imagine that um, these different intellectual property characters, like from Star Wars and whatnot, they're coming through these dimensions. And that's a good way to make it work out. Like, there's this dimensional rifts that open up that happen to pull characters in from different realities, and now they're all fighting together for some reason. I'm talking about Fortnite, not Fortnite Save the World. That's a whole different storyline. Whole different storyline. Even though you're able to use skins that you've unlocked through the other method. So you can play as Goku or Michelangelo the Ninja Turtle within Fortnite Save the World. But it's really just a skin. And you really are the person that you chose with a different skin on top. Like an outlander or something. Or you really are the commander. It's sort of like in StarCraft, you're not playing as the Terran or 
as an individual marine, you're playing as some weird commander that is unseen off the off the side in the beyond the fourth wall. That's what you're playing as. You're commanding a whole army. You've never really shown what you are. Well, make believe. All right, let's go clear out these gophers. I guess my main issue with Fortnite Save the World is just its entire structure. The fact that you have to load into a level and then leave a level. And it has a timer. <sighs> sure thing. But, all the missions are cool. and I really enjoy the overall concept of having to build these. Like a maze. Walls and traps. You good here? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Mama Dolce mission active, which is what I was waiting for over there in Morgantown, so I can then go go across the street to the Vault Tech University. So, for example, right now there's a public event where you have to get a factory online while enemies attack at a certain point, okay? And it's in this area across the map right here. If this was Fortnite Save the World, you'd see different things active at different times on the map. You click on it, and you'd have a lobby where it's waiting for three other people, and it says you have 15 minutes to go feed the people. And you know that across the map there is the activity, but you can kind of take your time killing and farming, killing and farming, leading up to the actual objective, some people do the objective first, some people don't, and then you can you can knock it out in like eight minutes or so, and then you leave the mission with the credit screen and the score screen, and then you're done. And you kind of feel like you're wasting time almost, or that you're being vaguely selfish, perhaps, if you start farming on that mission. Like I said, some people go straight toward the mission, some people don't. But if you have a gigantic map with a public event that everyone can see, and a bunch of people playing at the same time, and it's pretty organic when people choose to come, when they don't choose to come. They, you could leave early, go back to your base, do whatever you want organically, run across the field, do whatever you want. It feels very natural. Plus there's vending here. Let's not forget about that. Vending. Not every game has vending, and you kind of wish that it does. Heads up, responders. The food processing machines at Mama Dolce's have finally cooled down enough to work again. I've set them up to make cans of stew using the... You kind of wish that games had vendors. Machines make a hell of a racket, so you probably get some unwanted... You know... When a game has vendors, either NPC vendors or player vendors, you could be only so lucky if there's player vendors. Then everything has value. In some manner. Especially to NPC vendors. You can sell everything. You can sell everything. So right now we're doing a, an event where we have to get this food system online. Step one, we have to collect these dehydrated food pods. Like beef stock and so forth. And fill up this hopper until it's good and now it should be good and we have to turn the machine on which somebody already did we just got to defend these points here from these creatures that show up there's three different points here this is one of the first events that a person might be exposed to in the game Beyond the Morgantown Airport mission. You know? Yes. This is going to last for four minutes. A hyper dense four minutes. 
So I'm going to multitask by doing some booting. It's first come, first serve, so I'm the first person to grab that beer bottle. Okay. Except for the containers. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna uh, go across the street here and do some looting. Multitasking, but there's players over there so I can do this. Alarm clock. Yeah, first when a person plays this game, they might think that there's nothing around. But there's there's so much around. It's like a lot. Just gotta know what to look for. All these hidden supplies. Like lead. And, uh, you know, tons of steel, of course. Springs. I'll be right back. Let me break this down. And I do want to go back to my camp to unload those legendary items that I have. Woo! Multitask. Plastic. Cement. They call me Buckets McKenzie. Caps on the ground over here. Okay, we have about two minutes here. Looking good. Let's go down over here and check out this area for a loot. If I'm here, I might as well make the best of it. Make the most of it. Crispy squirrel bits. Not today. Got one minute remaining. Everybody. All right. I'll be going across the street to that building right there. That's the Vault Tech University. I'll give you a look around the map. Ooh, uh. Seeing as I'm not in my power armor, I can use this gun now. Whee! Eh, eh. Whee! Eradicated. There's players down below, 13 seconds. See how, how slow time crawls when you're paying attention? Okay, let's get some of this stuff here. I'll do some quick looting of these dead bodies. And we'll be good to go. Ready to go. Alright. Got our stuff. And we enter 
This facility to go drop off the scorched beast of DNA. There's also a tiny bit of some flam. Hey, Sean. You heard that uh, the Illuminati are on Super Earth? I heard the same thing. I saw that, um, for example, there's a couple rumors. First, people saw some cloak ships in the sky, okay? And then um, there's a stats showing the presence of all the enemies and everything. Enemies killed, it showed like 13 were killed on Super Earth. And then somebody was playing, and in the chat box it said, um, Automat it said, Illuminati spy has returned to civilian life. The what? <laughs> the Illuminati spy has returned to civilian life. What? What? So basically, it's going to be. Oh boy, whoops. Basically, it's going to be, you know, um, Zerg with the Terminids, and you can consider the Automatons to be Terran, but not really. We're the Terran, but they're using bullets, you know, and tanks. So, out of the three, the Automatons are sort of Terran, okay? And the Illuminati, as far as I saw from artwork and so forth, they are Protoss. They're the Protoss. They have cloaking, I guess, and they, they look like Protoss, from what I saw. Cloaking and uh, teleportation technology, probably some psychic weird stuff going on. Pick up these weights. Invasion. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm a turtle. Here we go. Raw hide. Gotta get this Yagua meat, who it'll happen eventually. I don't even have to really try. Let me go stop by this diner nearby. Really quick, maybe some salt and pepper. Plastic. Glass, ceramic. Dearest Janet, oh, how I miss your sly smile. The way you would play hard to get for hours and hours. The way you would walk in the rain as I would follow you from a distance. <laughs> I miss you ever since you moved away. Please tell me where you went. Mr. Fancy Pants. Break it down and go. Let me go back to my vendor. No. After the Enclave event. Let's do it. I like this spot. A bunch of enemies are going to spawn. There's a gigantic bee. Some stuff. A couple Nuka Colas. A minor loot. Go. Okay, I have to eat more food as well. So, once I head back to the camp, I have to get my buffs active again. I see I'm no longer well fed.
Here we go. It's cloud time. So squishy. Hey, uh, Sean, did you know that this game was that bloody? Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Look how bloody this game is, isn't it insane? Chunks. It's because I'm using the bloody mess perk, so the enemies have a high chance to explode like that. Not so much explode, but, um... Turn to a bunch of gibs. Giblets. Giblets. Alright. Activate. Do more. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Users, jam detected. Mechanical intervention required. <laughs> but where, though? This one. Repair detected. Repair Receiving detected. Protocols. <laughs> People don't know how cool this game is, I'll tell you what. It is my duty to show you. Requesting immediate user support. Signal strength failure detected. Signal boost procedure required. Down there. Attention. Attention. Temperature spike detected. User support requested. <laughs> Spice and dice. Rip and tear until it's done. Thank you, goodbye. Full restored. Resuming connection process. System orientation complete. Signal broadcast. Okay. Right down here. We'll Target. wait for the bombs. Locked. Immediate evacuation required. Repeat. Please retreat to a safe distance. Pick it all down. Again? Oh, yeah. Uh, you play it legitimately on Xbox and PlayStation? Legitimately. Here, David. What do you mean by le legitimately? Too legit, baby. Too bad this game isn't cross-platform. And it sucks. It's such a wonderful situation. Yeah, baby. Are we good now? Are we good? Alright, let's go straight back down and I'll clear out Dabney. Because I can. And then I'll hop down to my camp. I have to get more, I have to get my buffs re-enabled and eat the food. We got two minutes until the next public event, man. Two minutes. Is it enough time? I hear quite the disturbance outside. Oh my Nuka cool, let's go. All right, let's get the copper ore. All right, hurry up, get the fertilizer, get the concrete. These turrets should take care of things. Good old poached angler coming right up. No, no, I didn't want to do that. That's not what I wanted. Let's hurry up. Make sure we're all good to go here. 
I know that all these turrets have been shot, but this guy is that's gonna move around super quickly. There you go, copper, copper. Good. Super scorched. Okay, I'll do a full repair. Repair all. And we're good, good, good. Make sure that we get all this water here for a second. You are a piece of scrap. Alright. Moving on, Rahide. Ride the men. Back to my camp. It's important for me to swing back through my camp because every so often enemies come through and attack it because there's my camp is at an enemy spawn. Or it's like a dual enemy spawn, to be honest. Or friendly spawn. But they can destroy it. And then vendor sales. Let me make sure it's prepared. Move that in a bit. There it is. Alright. Yeah. What we're gonna do is quickly stock these items in my vendor. My vendor is at 101, 1175. Okay, I'm gonna pull all this ammo out besides the fuel. I wanna keep the fuel on sale. Everything else is not gonna be on sale. And we're gonna stock all these weapons for their default amount. Default, default, default. If you could even imagine such a thing crazy. I know. Default rates. It's so cool. Over here as well, I just want to sell all these default items, if I could. Uh, nothing else here. Foundations, Vengeance. Alright, that's done. Do a quick breakdown. And I might have to do the rest of my preparations afterwards because we don't have time. Because this public event is going to come and go before you even notice. Let's quickly get some buffs active. I could probably get the tail end of the event, maybe. I don't know. This is for endurance. Then we got the strength and perception, agility. And all that. Once I get there, activate the flims. Mm -hmm. And one more, do it. Got it. One more. Come on. There it is. Good job. All right. Fantastic work. Now for perception and agility. You got the grand special. Do it. Don't you mess up now. Boom. You got it. Pow. Now. Yep. Oh, no. Focus. Focus. No. <laughs> Let's go back through the back. This adhesive here. Drop off some garbage. The rat's dag. Make sure everything is repaired. It is repaired. My coldas. Okay. And now, do the slot machine. Get the intelligence. Get the luck. Give this guy a soda. Would you like a soda? No? Are you okay? Are you okay? Would you like a soda? I have a new Coca-Cola for you. I do. Have yourself a dark. Ooh, sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. 
Very nice. And now I'm going to sit in the jacuzzi for a second. And then I'll get a bite to eat. I think I'll save the music playing for after the event. And I have to get more lunch boxes. Yay. <coughs> this event comes and goes before you even know it. So, I'm gonna go straight there. Okay. Last time I tried to knock out some stuff before the event was finished, and the event finished. So I don't want to miss this thing. Oh yeah! Blood troughs. His eyes, children. Let and now I'll eat. And flames and fumes. And we have to make sure to get rid of all the rotten food. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you the truth. But prepare yourselves for the heretic <laughs> dim ones will be the heretic dim ones. by this vision. <laughs> the reality of all right. life. We'll Done. Oh, pfft. we're still in this. <laughs> we're still in a bubble. There it goes. It's still gonna slingshot me, probably. River band me. No quarter. No quarter. Foul brutes like the deep claw. The false ones. Five five nine, huh? Five five nine. Back here, five five nine. That's my area code. This guy has my same area code in his name. He's probably from my town. He's probably lives right next to me. <laughs> five five nine. One minute and twenty five seconds. Yep, and then I have to go smelt the ore and smelt the rotten food and then play some music and I'll be good to go. Take it. Bite. Yay. Yay. And over the goods. Got ten seconds, and then we're done. There we go. 
I tagged him. Here by corpse. I got the death claw meat. I need some Yagwa action. Return to me upon the museum's rooftop. We must invite him to us to show him I can get some by Dolly Sods. There's a Yagwa that spawns over there. Oh, yeah. Go ho! Goodbye. Back to my camp. The showman of your. The show must go on. Freddy Fears, House of Scares. Okay, so now let's go downstairs. And I'll check my items for a quick rotation spree. Already got the other buffs and everything. And I need to purchase some lunch boxes. With gold! For the future. What you gonna do when you get on the floor? Speaking of that, I gotta build a generator for my quest here. Right here in the wall for no reason. Mission complete, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Go check on my armor. I should have fixed it good on. Great. There it is. That white bar is what I care about. Beautiful. Yeah. Modify this. The Beast Lander needs to be the vampiric version. You're not ready. Vampiric version. All done. Let's go smelt. Ooh wee. Papa. Melt it. Melt it good, please. Yeah. No. Alright. All good to go. Drop off all the ammo I'm not using. Drop off half that plasma. You see, I pulled the ammo out earlier. And... Yeah. Yep. Good to go. Good. 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 That's all done. Okay, we are all secure and ready to go. I love the overall flow. These workshops in between. Okay. And now I play the music, baby. Yeah. And I'll be right back. Oh no. Oh yeah.
I'll be right back, okay? I can play my little song in the meantime. Here. While this is playing, I'll play my own song. I'll play my own song, baby. Uh. That'd be an effect or something? Uh -huh. It's kind of funny. Well. I'll keep it on in the background. See, see how it adds to the overall mix. Uh, it might be a good layer to my music. All right, here's my song. Enjoy. I'll just turn the main volume down. How about that? And then I'll be right back in about five seconds. Precisely. This song is about my my motto of gaming. Failure is growth, success is stagnation. Dot org style. And go. Every step down is some more. It's part of the new game. It's all about the car, no need to feel ashamed. Learn to fail. It's the only way to grow. Keep pushing forward. Let your determination show. Gotta train, gotta practice, gotta hone your skills. Success is stagnant, it's the failures that will teach Embrace the journey, reach for goals out of reach Rise and grind, never settle for less Every stumble is a lesson in progress Embrace the journey, seize the moment time Failure is growth, success is stagnation, alright You know I said Failure is growth, success is stagnation, alright You know I said Failure is growth, success is stagnation Failure is growth and success is stagnation Where'd it go? I don't know. 
I don't know where it went. And kaboom. Goodbye, boo. Alright. That was my music. Yeah. Let's rock and roll. Well, it wants me to go right there, huh? So be it. So be it. It's telling me where the Yagwai meat is. There's different spawns for it. Hey there, Matt. How's it going there, buddy? Yeah, long time no phlegm. Bearing. I have to do that in power armor. There we go. Wanted me to come here for some reason. So, I do want to do the... That event in power armor, or in excavator power armor, but I just want to do this right here. The very edge of White Spring. I don't know why the game is acting like there's Yagwai here. How dare you act like it? Let's eat a quick um, berry mint tap. I'm not going to worry about that. I have to go back and get my excavator armor ready and steady. Really quick. So, we're going to hop right here for five seconds. Yeah. Okay. In about five seconds. Born right, or Morgan, or or. Not Mananga. Yeah, right here. Alright, let me swap over to my power armor. Oh boy. What? Let me hurry up. You're still alive, aren't you? Okay, let me hurry up. Pop over to my power armor build. And then excavator. And quickly. Break down whatever other garbage I just picked up. And then maybe right after this, I'll go straight down to the... Um, Fuck you, whole mine. And then after that, maybe I'll go... Um, pop up my armor again, take over... Uh, I'll kill one more Scorch Beast, and then do a... Power Plant. As I run out of fusion cores over time. It would be nice to stock back up. And I can move some over to a different character. Got to run. Instability detected. Mineral harvesting and auto minor repair duties must be performed in a timely manner to avoid injury. Of 
I'm going to go through, and at the last couple minutes, at that point, I will boot. Yeah. Last couple minutes, I will. But I will get it from this tunnel here. I'll loot afterwards. We get these side flims over here. I know. I know. You psyched for that Fallout show? I think it's going to be great. Copper vein. Crystal vein. Okay, let's go repair. Okay, back over here. I do have crap kits. It's kind of okay. Aluminum. Gold. You're welcome. I have that tactical headlamp or head implant. I, I heard some interview with Todd Howard, and somebody asked him if there's ever going to be a, a Elder Scroll show. He said, "Probably not. Maybe." Because it's, it's not as unique in terms of its overall vibe and theme and everything. But Fallout is truly unique. But it's post-apocalyptic, but it has a very interesting vibe going on. There's many post-apocalyptic things, but not this kind. With nukes and everything. There's zombies, sure, but they're usually just zombies. Just a zombie situation. You can repair while you're standing here, pal. Got one minute and 45 seconds remaining. Okay, at that point, at this point, I'm gonna start looting. And then looping all the way around. By the time I'm done looping around, it'll be time to leave. This is why we need so much acid. Yeah, sure. One of those cool events. Jeez. Got one minute until this place collapses. I'm going to quickly use a... Um, Carry weight booster. Oh boy. The enemies keep coming. I'm trying to pass through here. Pretty fine. Pitter patter. I already went that way. This way. We got one minute. Excellent. Right over here. Got some lead. Good. 
We have 30 seconds. Eighteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five. <laughs> oh boy. All right, that's done. And now I'll go straight to the lucky hole mine. Because I'm already in the power armor. Depending on the time of day, I might even go for the other ore run in the ash heap here. If it's dusk or something. Let me just loot through here for a moment. Okay, I'll probably have to go to the drawing board to make new armor. Eventually. Right there. Break it down one time and put it away. Ugh. Okay. Break it all down. And we have all this ore. Put it away. Sort by weight and stack weight. Same token. Alrighty then. What time is it? In the game. 2.55 a.m. This is the time. So I'm going to go through the horn right, or through the entire lower area. There's a, a stitch through with some copper, some aluminum. And it leads towards the Scorch Beast that I want to kill. Some Blight as well. But it's only during this time of day, like in sunrise. When the sun is sideways and everything gets kind of red. It makes this ore shine. That's the time of day I want to do it. It's right about now. Well, almost. It's 3 a.m. in the game. Not too sure how quickly time passes. 3 on 9. I do have a route. It's a lot more obvious when I can see this stuff. Like right here, you know? You can't even see it right now. It's so dark. But in a little bit, once the sun comes out... So let's go down to Lucky Hole Mine first, you know. I'll do that when it's the right time of day. Otherwise, it's sort of a waste. I'll do the Lucky Hole Mine real quick. Time for these things. Thank you. Booyaka Shaka. Metal here. The garbage will be quick. Salt and pepper. No, we need it. The peepers. there. And now we're here for a dash of lead. Okay. It has to be done every so often. I might follow this up with some other lead just for a moment. Okay. There's, there's a couple spots out there. The monorail elevator, for example. And there's like a, some gym style locations I have 
lead, and each of the silos have lead. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's move on down and get the stuff. Obtain the goods. The raw crystal. Lead mine of your of Yuri Nobu. There you go, have fun. And I'll grab a couple pieces of ore. Thank you very much. The time is of the essence. We have to go through our existing workshops as well. So important. Couple spots here and there. Here and there. You know, the full set of power armor, or of excavator power armor. You get times four the amount. Right up there. Or even deer cheek. Okay. Goodbye. I have to keep turning off my light because it is a bit bright. Overwhelming. Take that toolbox. I must be strong. Yes. The lead bus. Thank you. And there is a um, toolbox or a, a workbench coming up. The lead. It's everywhere. In the walls. Right over here, I'll go down the secret passage. Right here. Whoa. Secrets. It'd be better if I had a different head headlamp color. You know? Like blue. Ew. 
Okay, now I'll break down all these items I just picked up, you see? The workbench I mentioned. Targeting. Yeah. I'll probably change my skin up. Probably after the season. Once I unlock everything. Done. I don't want to go down there. I don't want to go down there. The heart of the swamp. I can do that once I swap up my armor. Crystal. And or crystal. I love these rickets for the acid. I can smelt this metal. Alright, so we're going to do the heart of the swamp now. I'll just swap up my armor. Yeah. Attention, this here's Raleigh Clay on a priority message recording. A strangler heart's been picked up in the vicinity and its fine infested creatures won't be far behind. To anyone listening, take down that heart before it controls too many creatures and things get out of hand. I'm good to go. No. Hold on. I'm using the Beast Lander. Let me swap out my armor here. Not in water. Oh my gosh. Come on. Where is it? Right there. Do it. Do it! <gasps> oh my gosh! in the middle. Can I reload? The Baba Yaga. I'll probably reintroduce grenades. Have to grab more ammo. That's not gonna be good. Yeah. 
Yay. And let me get get it done. Reinforcements. Aim at the blowholes. Let's try him. Holes. Excellent. Now we're done. And done. Now I have to get more ammo lined up. That looks good. Right. Right. All done. Let me go all the way across the map now. Yay. Let me go all the way across the map and I have to cycle through th some of my workshops. Make sure I get all the resources in the... Future more rats. I clear off this spot really quick. Yep, enemies will show their faces, I'm sure. Cleansing flame. And then, anything else? Right, perhaps there is another enemy. Good. Repair all structures. All I wanted to do, make sure I get all this purified water for future sales. Cola is mine. All done. Okay. Top through another. I'll try to do a complete cycle here. It's been a second since I've been through some of these, and we have to make sure we do it. We're gonna make sure that they're cleared out to allow for another wave of enemies to come through. And for more research sources to generate, otherwise it'll just a broken and nothing is generated very nice go through here clear out all the enemies if possible yep yay got some more ore here Yep, and a little bit of gold ore. Tiny bit of fertilizer. And we have some commotion over here in the bushes. I might incorporate some sort of grenade launcher or rocket launcher or something. 
Probably the Hellfire. Or the Quad Rocket Launcher. Maybe. Okay, good. Okay, that's done. Keep on cycling through. I'm gonna stop by each location back to back. Super quick. This next one's gonna have a ton of supplies. And then after the circuit, I can add one more or two more into the mix. All this extra ammo. Now we just gotta go through each location here. There it is. Just through each spot really quick. around to each location home and then try to repair I certainly need some Yagwai meat I can put my death claw meat back in the fridge there's like two more remaining Here we go. All the way over here. And one more. Life's a race. Win. Alright, let's go repair all really quick with the push of a button. Everything's already fixed. Alright, we're good. Moving on, right. This next one. We're at Hemlock Holes. We're still waiting on this Yagwai meat. I can check a couple spots, but it'll happen through my rotation. Maybe right now I'll take off Ricochet and put on Gubba Salt. Just to keep whatever meat I have nice and fresh. Okay, good thing I came through because this this spot is wrecked. Crazy stuff. Let's keep on going through. All the ghoulies. We do have some defenses here. Take a moment. Beautiful. Okay, repair. One more dude. I'll hit the repair all button. Yeah, we get credit for it. If I come back through fast enough, I get credit for the retake event. Otherwise, you don't. Otherwise, it doesn't even count as an event, you know? It doesn't even let you know that you're done with it. Okay, let's get all this stuff. All that purified water. I can make a mountain of Nuka grenades. They're always fun, but then that would also require the accompanying perks. Like grenadier. You know what I mean? To increase the explosive radius. And the perk to reduce the weight of grenades in general. Bullets of ammo. Yeah, Ordnance Express. 
I had to remind myself of the name. You know what I mean? You need that thing. If you want to carry a bunch of mines or grenades. Toss them like they're frisbees. But that's good. Uh, let's go through the graph and steel yard. But I'm not going to kill all the mutants. But I might. It's nice to do. Every time I come through. Maybe. Maybe. That same effect sort of happens um, in Lego Fortnite. Oh boy, look at these enemies. Crazy stiff. Okay, I'm just gonna go right on through. Get my copper. Mm-hmm. We're still looking for these enemies so we can reset this position. Grab and the lead and the jet. Gonna go through this area really quick and clear up the enemies. Not all of them, just most of them. That's the ones on the fringe. The ones that count toward the base defense. It might tell me when it's complete. Alright. Let them approach me while I break all this stuff down, huh? How dare you. Yeah. You know, another way to harvest a bunch of ammo is by doing the daily op. Because you get whatever ammo that you use from all the enemies. You just gotta get really efficient with the use. If you want a bunch of plasma ammo, you just go do a daily op. You know? Just. You know, clear through these enemies really quick. I hear you. I was trying to clear these enemies out. Make sure it's nice and secure. Right here and down again. Beautiful. Let's not forget the non falling damage situation. With power armor. And I do want to take over a uh, power plant. Alright, Rawhide, roll on. There's a few more enemies. There. 
back over here. Almost ready. And right back over here. That works. And then there's maybe one or two more enemies over yonder. And I'll check on the workshop one final time and move on to the next workshop. As I rotate around the Flim Flam. To solve this ammo problem as well. It's Equinox time. I should go do that right now. Let me go check on the workshop one final time, make sure it's good to go, and I'll go through to the Equinox. Because I have to contribute towards the beginning portion with the Radstag meat and all that. Alright, good. It works now. Get the heck out of here. Straight to the Equinox. Better yet, I'm gonna swap out of my build here. At this point. Hurry. The only way. Okay. Right now. Oh boy, not right now. Come on. Here we're good to go. Let's break down a few things. I'll smelt really quick. I'm sure that's partly the problem. Gotta hurry up. That lucky whole mine garbage, you know? All this acid. All that meat, vegetable matter, all rotten. Oh boy. And I'll break down the rest. All these weapons I just picked up. And... Now we go. Hopefully I can contribute towards the starting portion of this activity. Listen to the interpreter's instructions. Come on, we are preparing. Watching. Destroy the everything. Those infernal totems. Yes, you're right. They must be destroyed. Destroy those blasted totems. See? I told them. Let's go find the. Brad Stag. You have to collect some for this mission. Look, I did it. See? Beautiful. Let's go find the poultists. I'll go this way. And I currently have a disease. I want to treat, but I'll wait. I got him. Not today. Put him down. a few more. 
bag we have to collect. Yeah. And let's go on over. Collect the meat and drop it off again. The ritual site has Popped off. Done. The summoning shall come so right over here, I'll of the pyres has cl cleanse my disease and I'll eat some go. food. Ignite the flames as I release the dust of our wise right here. one into the air. Ah, yes. The flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, however brief it may be. Breathe, right, time to eat. Children. I'll use a single scout banner. See the world now through his eyes, children. Company T. Let the dust and flames and fumes fill you. Death Claw Stake. Get the red stick. Let it show you. Kebab. Whiskey. Braddock's diluted. Uh, a dick doll. Oh, I don't have a disease cure. I have to go buy one. Here, there's gonna be some deep cloth. Speaking of that, I have to go drop off some of the death claw meat and yagwai meat in the fridge. In fact, I might want to stockpile it if it's a daily quest, you know, to turn in this meat. There's no. Let's go, Fresno. Let's go. I'm going to go loot this building while we're here. Multitask. <laughs> oh. Someone's already sort of been through here a little bit. A little bit. Let me go upstairs first. I'll get the basement afterwards. Purified water in a can. mask I don't have. Tell you what. But that's all done. And now we've got 45 seconds until this event is over. Whip. Resetting me, baby. Okay, I guess we're done now. All done. The dim ones. The dim ones. 
them ones. Thank you, goodbye. Allow the wise one to gaze upon you. Bask. Bask. Right over here a little bit. Watch out for the fallen flims. We're done. Right there. Still going around the map, you see. We drop off this armor. And let's go stop on by Lane. Now that I'm here, and I'll keep swinging through these workshops. We're not done yet. It's just the Equinox event popped up, and I had to take care of it. Every hour on the hour. We have Camden Park as well. You've returned. Darn right. I will help you what? collect more samples. A forest is a dangerous place. Not compared. To make it safer for new settlements, we've been clearing out dangerous critters and using the meat to feed people in need. Cool. I will get your meat. I appreciate your help. Collect fresh meat from the first trap. I will. Eventually. Keep on going through each of my workshops. That's a new task. Probably going to have me go to locations that are partially new. They've modified the, the forest with the update before last. And they added more content around the starting region. Was well, sort of barren for a while. Okay. So you gotta love it. And I'll check for the Yagwai over there. Um. Be honest. By Dolly Sods. This, this even ready yet? I was sort of just here. Mm-hmm. There's scraps and scraps. Got the junk over here. Now I'll hop all the way across to the other end, and I'll add the power supply over there at the Red Rocket Mega Stop. All done. Let's go all the way across to the Red Rocket Mega Stop and clear out these wolves. Then down to Dolly Sods, and I'll check nearby for the Yagwai. Sometimes I have a whole pack of Yagwai that attack me. And again, I want to start stockpiling the Deathclaw and Yagwai meat because we have this daily quest to bring food for this robot out there by Hemlock Holes. Done here. Done, done, done. So really quick, I want to. Oh, this place is in an in-between state. I have to clear out the enemies. There are enemies here somewhere. Now swing on through. There he is. There's just one, and then I'll make sure to. Get that junk node online. Uranium ore. Oh, yes. And put it up. up. Is it done? I think it's done. Yeah, I think it's done. Go back here. I'm going to put a standard... Well, never mind. Here we go. Oh, 
I was gonna uh, I was gonna put down a standard power generator because this requires perks. Oh oh oh! I guess I do anyway, huh? I'll have to delete a turret to add that. So I'll delete this turret. Done. All right, down here, there's a bunch of gulpers waiting for me. Now, right now, I'm doing a nice cleanse through the map. It's been a second. I'm gonna make sure everything's reset. And then at the end of that cycle, I'll take over another workshop. Maybe the abandoned bog town. Hey there, Brandon. I'm knocking out these daily quests as we travel. And the public events. Whenever all that's said and done, I'll be heading down to Atlantic City again. Excuse me. The adhesive. Boom. Very nice. Nope. Go for the crazy, I tell you what. You're very squirrely. Are we good here? Almost. Almost. You check around. It's gonna show me where the final enemy is. And I do have to make 2mm or convert some other ammo over to 2mm. That's all done. Let's do a quick repair all. There you go. We're trying to reset everything so that we can get an eventual random pile of bear. Go check over here for some Yagwai. Uh, you sold your system. Oh my gosh, your life got better. No, no time for systems. You play mobile games. I see how it is. Let's check behind for Yagwai. Hello. What? Oh my gosh. Used up all your insect propellant already? That's okay. Used up all your insect propellant already? And of course you want more. Oh my goodness. I'm sure you misplaced. I have enough. I've been saving the, the materials. The blood bug proboscis. The stingwing barb. Might not have that. I have the glands and whatnot. Yeah. You shall live through my streams, yes. We still have many hours left in this stream, so... Good to go. There's some new content added recently, and we're trying to dig through that. But I do it in the Gubavity way, where I take my time. And I do everything else around it. Until there's nothing left on the outside perimeter, and then work my way in. here really quick. So I'll see if I have what this guy needs in my bag already. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so. Right over here. I'll see if I have the stuff. What do we got? 
Oh. That's right. I got rid of it all, didn't I? Yesterday. <laughs> didn't I? I did. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Or I transferred it over. Okay, I'll just keep my eyeballs open. It's fine. It's fine. i do this uh, other Mothman event in just a moment. Let's keep on dipping through my locations. I was selling a bunch of stuff, but I... I did I change my weapon skills? I'm using the cold shoulder shotgun, a vampire plasma thrower, the mole miner gauntlet, and I'm using a vampire's... Gauss minigun in this build along with the quantum thirst zapper but then I, I'm also using power armor so with that I'm using a, a different Gauss minigun but there's a new weapon this season called the cremator and I'm waiting until I level up a bit more until I rank up in the season to unlock the rest of the mods before using it I also have a cryolator that I, I spam through, and I'll think about incorporating the uh, the Hellstorm rocket launcher, the cryo version. But right now, uh, I'm primarily using this cold shoulder shotgun with a bunch of perks on it. Cause there's there's a new skin this season. You see? Ooh, Mr. Peepers! Really cool skin with the snakes. This shotgun deals, you know, uh, cold damage. Okay, we're uh, we're trying to clear out this spot here. Real quick, like. And of course, the mole miner gauntlet. Now, I'm not using the exploding palm because it only really has a 20% chance to hit, and when I'm consciously looking for the explosion. It hardly ever pops up, and so instead I'm, I'm using a the perception legendary perk. Let's make sure that this is all repaired. I think we're good to go here. Let's confirm. Done. Now let's go through and drop on down by the Dabney Homestead. And there's some blood bugs here, so I'm, I'll make sure to save the proboscis and the bloatfly gland and all that garbage. You know, I've been trying to keep this stuff, and I had a big pile of it, but yesterday I purged my stash and transferred some stuff between my characters. So, okay, I was getting over encumbered, so I, I brought my weight way, way lower across the board. Just making sure I go through each of my spots here. Then I can shift gears again. And I want to make sure I get this Mothman event in just a moment. be good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Right, here we go. Yeah, many homesteads done. Repair all structures. It's already good. Probably good to go. Good, good, good. Check the map. Awesome. And now I'll go straight to the path to enlightenment before it's over. Yes, doing so good. Uh, as I was saying earlier, it's really important to get these workshops online at the very beginning of, of the long-term game sessions. Otherwise, end up running out of certain things. Here we go. Not that. It's one of the more expensive ammo types, by the way. Alright, let me go back. I'll do some area loot nearby. Once we kill a few more things. 
There should be another wave spawning. Here we go. Excellent. And I recently restocked my vendor. So I'm going through a rotation, you know, the workshops. I'm, I'm trying to finish every single daily quest possible, including the ones that you have to go find. There's a few, like the picture-taking missions, and uh, some of them don't pop up until you show up. You know what I mean? All that garbage. Get nice and clean. Until they pop back up the next day. And... I'm trying to kill a bunch of Scorch Beasts and store their body parts in my fridge for long-term XP growth and other reasons. But now I'm trying to add a few things into that rotation. I'm trying to add the Deathclaw meat and the um, Yagwai meat because it's needed for the Thrill of the Grill daily quest and you don't always have Yagwai. Sometimes they're kind of rare. Other times I have a ton, you know? So it's nice to save a couple on the side. So I'm trying to get the brains in the, in the background. Okay, and then every day we gotta do the daily up and we have to do an expedition. Right now the expeditions are story based because there's new content with this last update. Go upstairs and drop off this stuff. There's new content with this last update. In case you don't know, now the um, Atlantic City area is alive. And a raren. Don't know. With a couple previous updates, they added the Atlantic City location to the expedition list. And the goal was to help out the showmen and or the mafia dudes with the little jobs and whatnot. And you do a couple things to get the expedition going and so forth and so on. While there's also the pit as well, you go to Pittsburgh to do some stuff. Then they changed it where it doesn't really cost anything to go do the expeditions. You don't have to do the daily quests to get the battery charged up. And, and now they made it where the expedition isn't really happening anymore, really. Sort of. At least in the Atlantic City. At first, you're going out there to Atlantic City and you're trying to help them get their systems up and running. It was sort of shut down. It was, for the most part, a ghost land. Hey. That was garbage. For the most part, it was like a, a ghost town. But now it's not a ghost town. There's like people there. And it feels lived in like time has passed. Yay. And it's cool. There's like some ongoing storyline that's happening. Okay, that's done. And now I'm gonna keep on flipping and skipping through my locations. I went through, I went through, went across, got that guy, got that guy. And now I'm gonna introduce a couple more locations into the rotation. I'm gonna take over one more workshop. Oh, yeah. Take over this workshop here. I'm trying to loot as much material as possible. Whenever I'm, I'm in a spot, I'm trying to clear it out. It's a first come, first serve situation. this ammo problem. I've been trying to use the ammo converter as my main method of ammo growth. Okay. I'll show you my build. It's your wondering. Serendipity, Grim Reaper Sprint, Bloody Mess, Dark Jeans, of course, Class Freak, of course, Adrenaline for the combo kills, Enforcer for Crippling with Shotgun, Marathoner for the AP, whatever, Escape Artist, I Crouch and Turn Invisible, Through Hanker, Reduce the Weight of the Foods, Scrapper, More Junk from Breaking Stuff Down, My Energy Ammo Weighs Less with the Batteries Included, 
Demolition Expert, more, more exploding damage. Nerd Rage, more damage at low life, and so forth. Strange in numbers, my mutations get better with a team um, that has mutations. Rider Cool, I have increased strength up to 5 as my radiation increases. Fireproof, I take less explosive and fire damage. Foolish, I gain life whenever I gain uh, radiation, and I'm using radiation to lower my life for Nerd Rage and for my armor, which is currently a combination of bolstering and just a dash of unyielding. I'm not really trying to farm XP right now. I am preparing for the future. Dreamer for Sprint is a is really good for a melee build, okay? It says any kill in Vats has a 35% chance to restore all action points. So if you're using like melee, you're dishing and dashing between the enemies, you every third kill get full AP. So it's really good for that Ravenhawk diving attack where you jump up and you go slam with Vats. Because Vats and melee, you sort of teleport toward the enemy. And then of course Life Giver, because I'm I'm bloodied, so it's percentage based. It increases my total health. And it this right here says twenty percent health. So if my total health increases, there's more life within that twenty percent. Ironclad, bunch of extra defense. All right, uh, skeet shooter, it tightens up the shot group for the shotgun. Butcher's bounty because I'm a carnivore. But there's more meat from the kills. I'm trying to get with the scorch beast meat. Green thumb, I'm getting more plants from the plants. And concentrate of fire, I can target limbs like their head or their leg. Their crippling. Or their wing for the scorch beast to make him land. Martial artist, I swing my weapon faster. Incisor, I ignore armor with my melee weapons. Blocker, pick less uh, melee damage. And a shotgunner, master shotgunner, expert shotgunner for 30% more. Shotgun damage, traveling pharmacy to reduce the weight of hems. And over here, all my legendary perks, I have all this crazy awesome stuff going on. For the super duper extra perkage. You see, if I were if I wasn't using this, I'll be using this. Exploding palm. To trigger explosions with my unarmed attack, which my fist counts as. Along with hack and slash for a chance to do area damage. But I like to do a, a combination of things. And like I said, it hardly ever triggers. And then whenever I do the base building. I make sure to have these alternate builds where I quickly swap over into the base build rotation, which has home defense active and the constructor perk. So I can. It reduces the cost of all these build items in half. And I can build turrets. Let's hurry up and get everything online. I was sort of sitting here for too long, and now the enemies are coming. Oh no. An attack is imminent. That's crystal. That was lead back there. This is wood. And silver. I'll put down my blueprint here with the turret on top. And the 12 power. I'll go around to each spot. Get it lined up. And for the most part, I can just connect across. Sometimes I use a lamp. Come on. And for the most part, that's it. And we get the heck out of here. Yay! Done with that, and now I'll hop on down to a new spot as fast as humanly passable. Let's go down to the Gorge Junkyard, even though there's players nearby. Let's go down to the Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm by way of Billings Homestead. How about that one? And then I'll work on these other tasks for a bit. I'll do a couple daily quests. I just want to make sure to swing through all of my workshops to make sure that they're not damaged. Otherwise, they don't generate any resources. It's a, it's a small investment in time, but it's worth it in the long run. I just have to make sure, right here, repair all structures, get that copper ore.
And then I'll take over Sunshine Middle's industrial farm. And I really want to go take over a power plant. So I'll probably take over Poseidon. Yeah, I have to take over these workshops piecemeal. Over time, I end up saturating the whole map nice and slowly before the enemy even realizes what's happening. But hey, there's one person that is controlling the whole map. Interesting. I, I start to become a target, you know? person starts to get competitive and they don't want you to take over the whole map. I'm going to dance on through to the other end. Eventually I'll be doing a Barry Mentats run, but that's after I do everything else. You know, after I complete all the other daily quests and stuff like that. I did do the Lucky Hole Mine today. Mission complete. Boom. Got the map. We're good to go. Got the map. There's a person right there. Right there, right there, right there. Be careful. Ooh. A negligent discharge. We go up here. And gotta hurry up. Build right behind. And in front. There's a junk node here. And concrete. Fertilizer. And aluminium. And fertilizer. The UFOs have descended. They can do it. There it is. Right there. Wait a minute. Right there. Right there. Get my thing in. A boom. Yes. Right over here. I'm gonna put the bloody birdie on. I have to connect the stuff in the back, of course. The blood buoyed. DJ blood buoyed in the AM. Right here. Come on. It is. And I'll put this right over here as well. And I'll put this. Right over here as well. I put this probably all I can do. Yep, max build count. Now I have to make sure it's all connected, baby. No, the lamp comes in. Brick by brick, I made it strong. Flim flam style, it can't go wrong. Oh, up. Oh. Okay. Yeah, baby. Fine. I'll do it. If they want me to, I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I don't care. 
They want me to power this thing up. I could do it through Poseidon, but you know, I just wanted to get taken care of, baby. Done. Mission complete. Yes. Goodbye. I clear up my carry weight. Quickly, quickly. Most wanted. We love this mission. We want to keep the float fly gland, okay? And all those items that can be used. Okay. Extra ammo. Let me hurry up and break down some of these items. Right away. Alright, let's go straight to the most wanted event. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah! Rootin', tootin', shootin', lootin'. And it's kabootin'. Deadlin'. What you got going on for me, huh? Go for that armor, huh? Get rid of all the one stars, baby. Found left with just three stars. This one of the new events? Uh, this was an event from the Nuka World on Tour. I don't know when the last time you played, but this is a really cool event. I like it. It was with the, a couple seasons ago. From the Nuka World on Tour. You know, the whole goal here... I'm about to step away for a second, by the way. Because we have time. Is to steal... Is to rob these people. Rob them. Load up the stagecoach. Bunch of robots appear. I like this mission. It has a nice soundtrack. I'll be right back in just a second, okay? Yeehaw! Look at that unibrowed guy. Isn't that adorable? I'll be right back in just three seconds. Okay. 3.1 seconds. Time. Yoo-hoo! Damn, D2 o'clock, baby. This is a fun little mission. Up until high noon. And who? <laughs> bing, bing. Make me sick, you scum sucking rodent. Doggone degenerate. 
The goal is to load up this wagon with a bunch of money, you see, and then defend the wagon. And there's some extra stuff that shows up, like a little gold guy you have to shoot. And you have to find the Capian bottle. Desperados laying low in town somewhere. Town. Gotta find the Campion bottle. They're in different spots, like right here. There we go. Go across. Oh! Yeah, bullseye. And there's uh, three events that occur within this area of the Nuka World on Tour. One is uh, the Tunnel of Love. The other one is the Wheel of Fortune thing. Pretty cool. Okay, we're done. Now we have to wait for this boss to appear. An old Nelly pops over here. It's game over. That biddly bum. Wonderful. It's high noon, baby. Show yourself. <laughs> Gonna blow up, run away. You done did it, partner. <laughs> Alright. Whenever I'm here, I buy a couple of Nuka Colas. You know. And I'll try my hand at the games. Like five times. It's Bruno. Yo. Greetings. Welcome to Nuka World on your I am Bruno, and this is the Nuka Gate. Welcome to Nuka World on Tour. It's chest here. You today. How may I impress you today? You don't look so tough. Let us see how you stand against Bruno. <sighs> I'll challenge him with strength. He has Popeye tattoos. Let's us see what you can do. Uh. Welcome to Nuka World on Tour. Right, bye -bye. Would you like a balloon? Bye, my friend. Return whenever you 
wish to challenge the mighty Bruno. Goodbye. I'm doing this. Today might be a lucky day. Why not give the Nuka K to go? A vision of your future appears before me. For a second. How can I do this every so often, you know? Brad Roach. Mulrat, Angler, Mylurk, Mutant, and Behemoth. That's good enough. And now we break this stuff down here. We're fine. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can move on and do something important. Go drop off some meat at my base. Okay. Go drop off whatever meat I have in my base for a second. Make sure that my base is in good repair because it's a vendor. So here, uh... Many of my camp items came from that last season. Go around to the front, make sure it's nice and good to go. Alright. Go repair it all, and I'll show it to you. You are a piece of scrap. That means I like you. I'll show you my camp. Just for a second. Let me just tiptoe through the tulips by the window. That's where I'll be. Ah. Because now we have this free cam mode. Isn't that cool? I'll turn off depth of field. And maybe... Enhance. Here we go. Need some saturation, contrast, yeah. some flam over here. It's gonna be sort of intense. I don't know. That's appropriate. Check it out. So a customer will be coming into my camp. You see? Got yeah, these horrible crystals here. These barrels, radioactive, and fires. Nuka Cola balloon, you see? Let me change the camera speed. You see, you have uh, this quantum thing on top. Guy on top, saying hello. And power being distributed through these signs and so forth. I have this secret vendor over here. The Shady Pot Dealer. Check him out. Shh. No one's looking. What you got, buddy? I have top cap. I'll step away slowly. Oh, what you got? Whoa! Pots. <laughs> Look, it's a map and a thermometer. Look, it's a thing. It's a thing you can activate. Right over here is where I take care of ammo and everything. I could do the pump punch card uh, perk punch card machine to swap out my build. This is a scrap box for junk. This is my loot box. It's a nice one. It's a palm reader. This is the ammo creation machine. This is an ammo storage machine. It holds infinite ammo. This is an ammo converter. This is a tinkerer's workbench. To make ammo. And this spins around when you click it. And this guy is saying hello. This horrible clown. Got a ball. Little cappy thing. Friends welcome. Marquee arrow to the left. Okay. This nice nuka light pumpkin, this uh, popcorn arch to say hello, come on in. Fake customer, you see? This is where my employee works. You can dress him up. 
He's a he's a ghoul, a former Nuko World employee. The little things, little cappy. You click them, they do stuff. Okay. This machine gives you intelligence as a buff. Little sage burner doesn't do anything. Increase the mood. Got the constellation light thing doing its thing. You see, because I had this. This thing is creating this nice star effect along with this disco ball. Okay. More Nuka stuff, more Nuka stuff. This guy gives you luck. He gives you different buffs if you give him different Nuka Cola. We have this vendor. <laughs> oh, look at him. The vendor inside this little soda machine. Marquee arrow. This is my other entrance. See? I blocked off this side with a bunch of barrels and some fire and that crystal and that bush and that tree. I put all that stuff there <laughs> and this light here to kind of help you funnel on in. Okay. And then this light is in front of every vendor, so it's kind of obvious. I can't get rid of the stump. All right, the stump is stuck here, but it'll be it. This is a game. You can earn tickets. You shoot the thing. Right over here. This is the same game that I just played at the arcade, but I have it at my house. And I can earn tickets. This is a slot machine. The slot machine stuff. Whack a mole. This is a game where you shoot the duck. This is the awesome vendor. From Fallout to Vegas. It's like amazing. Uh, this is another uh, game where you shoot the ducks. I put this crystal here and this fire and these barrels to say, don't go this way. It's like a wall for my base, you see? Another customer. Whoa. Look, it's a vendor. And this ramp over here, you can go up to the stage. There's two different musical items piano and this nukalele some balloons on top see balloon dude this awesome light that says quantum a nice yellow door and vines on the window my jacuzzi which is shaped like a bottle cap and says nuka cola this nuka cola lit up sign thing these individual section sectional things that are nuka cola themed it creates a walkway This round piece creates a walkway. I'm trying to show you the flow of my base here, okay, so you could appreciate it. We have this motivation here in the in the jacuzzi. <laughs> Don't do chems on premises, sign. Red and white flashing lights. This is a, a fake door soda machine, you see? We have candy for the people. This nice thin rug. New cook. This is a, a soda machine. Gives you a random soda. This is a derpy bottle. This is a honey producer. This gives out candy. Got this thing on the wall, a little bench for people, a lamp, more vines in the window. This new lampy thing. Now here's the back of my base. Pretty cool. Now these piles of radiation. These radioactive, horrible ultrasite crystals, fires, I made all that, you know? The bushes, I added. These barrels, fire, crystals, barrels. It's the, it's the dirty secret of Nuka Cola. <laughs> this um, adhesive tree produces adhesive. I have a little barbecue bag here. And this produces Razdag meat over time. Perk card punch machine for swapping out your build. This big billboard. It also helps to distribute the power. I'll show you that afterwards. If you're still with me, give me a hi ho hum, holler holler him hey hi. This is the back of my base. There's danger radioactive materials, that sign. I'm trying to show you that I have 100% of my base budget filled up. But I can't add something if I were to, if I were to delete anything. 
and everything is very purposeful and I can't get rid of anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the alcohol fermenter. This is my Nuka Cola Collectron on the roof. It produces some stuff, you see? This is the camp base item that I use to repair everything. Up on the roof, we have a bunch of these stuffed animals. Look, it's different stuff. The sheep squatch and the Svendingos and the Snallygasters. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the restock meat thing, the adhesive. Uh, this butterfly thing produces acid. What? That's good. This is a big uh, slot machine. It costs 100 this is my power unit. It's powering the whole base. It's a really cool one. Okay. And this is a big opening. The inner workings. But normally you go through that yellow door. Or you go through that secret door. Or you go through the back door. Okay. So over here we have this knight in the shining armor. This American flag. Old telephone. Nuka Cola table. Tea and coffee that produces tea and coffee. This Foshnock rug, this nice Nuka Cola couch, this uh, door into the underground. A lovely lamp. This really cool tree stump lamp. Chandelier thing. Booze ball. Vines on the windows. Lovely window situation mixed with the greenhouse, mixed with the log cabin and the nice uh, tinted windows of your. Oh, yeah. Billiards, this provides charisma, too. Two charisma. This bike provides two endurance. This weight set pro provides two uh, strength. This speed bag provides two agility. This pinball machine provides two agility and two uh, perception. Dartboard provides two perception. Here's a refrigerator and freezer side by side. The freezer now keeps the food fresh indefinitely. Got these water purifiers, these armable tiles with gourd, carrot, razor grain, beet fruit, potato. Here, with this fake bug zapper for ambiance, is a big Paul Bunyan thing. And you click it, the tail spins. Got some nice posters on the walls. Train set provides some nice audio amb ambiance. That bird provides some nice audio. This is a big gong. This is a trampoline. This is a weather effect to make it clear day. Or whatever the heck it is. It does something. Fireworks. <laughs> and then I have my power distributed through the wall with this device, you see? And it goes across to this pole, in through here, and then out through this one, spider rubbed out, up through the ceiling, you see? All the way across with these lights, you know, up through this light and that light. And to give you the bigger picture here, this is where I am in the Cranberry Bog. It's a beautiful location, oh my. That's Robco down there. There's an old monorail, and as you can see, the monorail at some point broke off the track and has landed here. Boom. Boom. See? And this section right here is part of the game. I didn't build this section. I didn't build this stuff right here. It's all this wall and this defensive position, this door, any of that stuff over there, but I built that right there and everything back there. And I didn't, I didn't build this cooking station or that chair, but I built this. You see? And... 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 <laughs> enemies spawn here. And good guys spawn here. So I, I've been here for a bit. For a bit. I have different base loot. Sort of. I have a mobile base and everything. But I keep sort of modifying this one. I do need to build a new base, though. Yeah. 
But whenever something new comes, I have to sort of find a spot for it and delete something old amongst this whole thing. And here's that nice glowing sign and everything. With that being said, whoa, it's so gray. Welcome to reality. Peruse my wares and spend your money. Get our buffs. Don't look so close, At least you don't look like a I had to show that to you really quick for some reason. It has to be done every so often. I gotta show the people do the stuff. But as you see here, I really enjoy what I've done here with this vaulted ceiling effect. You see, it's nice and spacious. Once you come inside, it's like it bursts out. Shazam, boom, nice and full of natural lighting. I'm sure it smells great in here with the plants and everything. And the coffee and the tea. I'm sure it I'm sure it just is great. You have all these sounds of civilization with the pinball machine and the toys and all this garbage away from the devastation outside. Now, what I don't like here is the unevenness of the terrain. I had to really work with that here to make it feel natural. Other spots were better with nice and flatness. And I would like to have a, a, a water source a bit closer. Go get it. Okay. I came here to store some stuff in my freezer is what I came here for. I wanted to store... I want to just... One second. I want to just store... The the food I let get spoiled. I'm talking too long. All right, let's get back back to the the game here. You can't let time fly by like that. That was a lot of precious time. Okay, precious time. Let me go smelt this rotten food I have on me. With the existence of the shelter, you can move a lot of stuff downstairs and not have it upstairs. As you notice, I didn't have any workbenches out there, for the most part. I don't need to repair anything. I just sort of did that. Let me get back to basics. Rotten produce. Using a bunch of acid. I get all this ore from the workshops, of course. For the deal. And I, and I wanted to get more ammo in operation, so I guess I will be doing the thing. I'll make sure we have Ammo Smith super duper active. And I'll quickly swap out you once I break down this perk right here for more ammo, oh, for more uh, points there. I'm going to convert all of my lead into ammo. Let me show the ammo factory perk is on, along with ammo smith and super duper. And we're doing the situation here. A couple times over. Done. And... The uh, arrows. <laughs> this 
is why I want adhesive so much. Sorry, uh, this is why I want adhesive and I meant to say aluminum so much. For the most part, I use these arrows. That's good enough. I use the arrows to convert into other ammo. 48,000 arrows. 29,000 2 millimeter. Okay. I'll do a bit more. <laughs> I don't really want to run out of adhesive though. Let's just keep it the way it is. I'm down to 68 adhesive. I just made a, a, a bunch of stacks just now. So now we're good to go. I like to make it worth it whenever I, I pop out this perk because it costs something. Uh, something I put the master infiltrator back on and now let's go outside once I verify once more about 3,000 here okay I'm using the beast lander let's swap it over to the vampires okay. and now I'll be using the ammo converter for a moment I'm just going to pre-stockpile a bunch of ammo points so I don't have to worry about it in the future. I'm not going to use the ammo points. I just want to convert some stuff over right now. Now that I'm here. You know what I mean? Yeah. -hoo. I'll let them take care of things. Ugh. I don't know if this is my real build right now. Did I swap them back out? Sure, shoot them right in the shell, that makes sense. Yeah, I am. And... I gotta go through that decon arch underground for a second. And now these guys can, can hang out at my camp and be defenders. Okay. Now I have all these dudes hanging out at the base. So again, I want to pick up all these arrows. How about I pick up, oh, 40,000 arrows? Just about 40,000, is that good? No, I can't. How much can I pick up? 18,000, is that, is that good? How about 2,000 more arrows? There we go. Now I have 20,000 arrows. Let's go convert those over. Arrow. Sell 1,000 arrows for 6,000 points. Okay. Space bar. Tab. Space bar. Tab. Space bar. Tab. You see, you're able to hold up to 100,000 ammo points. Different types of ammo you can convert over to ammo points. I'm not entirely sure where you get the ammo converter from. Is it from the raiders? Maybe. But it's super important. Jeez. <laughs> Ridiculous. It solves all the problems, by the way. Because there's many different types of ammo that you can craft. And it, they all take different types of supplies. And you might not have one type of material, but you might have another type of material, you know? Like acid, and copper, and all this weird stuff that you need for fuel and plasma rounds and everything. Or for like the cryo rounds. A bunch of weird stuff you need out there. You might not have a mountain of it, but if you have other stuff, you can definitely make whatever you need. Now the easy route here isn't just making the arrows like I just did. It's making the rail, uh, the railgun rounds. It's one of the best things you can make and convert over. You see, now we're at... Transaction failed. You're too close to the threshold of 100,000 points. Yeah, I just want this thing to be maxed out at 100,000 points, and I'll be settled. That's good enough. 
All right. All right, we're good to go, good to go. Let me quickly dash on down for a second. Cleanse this disease using my technologies. Ah, good. All right, so now whatever I could for a second, carry weight booster, whatnot. It looks like we are all out of all the foods. What happens? I'm gonna go outside for a second and pluck that rad stag. <laughs> and then I'll cook a quick grilled rad stag. I probably already have it. I do. Of course I do. And I'll just cook whatever I have. Whatever I happen to have. I had other meat on me. I'm trying to uh, store a nice representation of different foods in my freezer for long-term growth and have a nice little stack there. And maybe if I do it in that method, I can actually sell items on rotation and have a nice system where I can sell stuff. And once once the items get down to about half condition, I could pull it out of my store and then cook with it. I'll, I'll cook the items I'm selling that are about to get rotten. What could happen? You know? All right, so now... Eat everything. Grand stag. Couple things here and there. It's not the best food. Better than nothing. And right next deluded. We're good to go. Let's we'll swing up through the Dabney homestead. And I'll clear it out, get the resources, and then I'll go through Harper's Ferry and do the daily where I have to go find some toys to give to the robot in Berkeley Springs, Chloe. Go through. And these enemies are going to show their faces. Yeah. Mm hmm Waiting for these guys to show their faces a little bit. Good. There you go. Now I'm going to repair everything. The good thing I stopped by. Can't leave these spots alone for too long. They get overran, overrun, and the resources stop generating. Okay, so, let's go straight over here to the Enclave event. There'll be a combo deal of me farming through the entire area. You know, the Enclave event and the toy retrieval. So cool.
Report to the extermination site and see the horses we deployed there are. Taken care of. Whoa, that's that not good. All. Don't look over there. That's the abyss. Signal sources to initiate extermination They're doing it. This is a mission for the Enclave. They want eyes on the ground. Okay, we have the load bearing event, so I have to do it in power armor. But in excavator power armor for the ore. So let's knock this out. We have a, we have like four minutes or three minutes. Let's just say three minutes, okay? That's enough time. Is it though? It just means I have to get into my excavator armor. Don't know what's happening over there. Go hit these buttons. Let's go, go, go. Initiate the lures. Right over here. Let's lower my life a bit. Okay. All array components engaged. Activating targeting protocols. Please stand by. A bunch of aluminum. These coolant caps. Nearby User corpses. Resuming remote connection. Mm -hmm. Just one. And then. So I'll have to stop by a train station. User support. Signal strength failure detected. Signal boost procedure required. Where? Show me. Users. Jam detected. Mechanical intervention required. Error. Unrequested to decompression detected. And another one. Repair detected. Resuming uplink protocols. Don't look. Restored. Resuming connection process. Excuse me. Welcome. Another one, huh? Okay. Okay, now we are running out of time. Complete. Running at a time. Signal I'll come back and do the um, Harper's Ferry farm afterwards. I'm just going to pull up my excavator armor. Okay. And I'm going to pull out the other weapon, the Beast Lander. Work by nothing, unless I have it on me already. I do have it on me. I'll swap that out. The beast lander, right there. Gotta wait for a second and probably clean up some trash at the very end. Come on. Go straight down to cleared. Thank you for your participation. The event right away. It'll show me how much time is remaining. This is free fast travel to this area, and then I'll hop straight down to Welch and swap my build out into the power armor and come right back. We have three minutes. You see? Luckily there's no one here. I got lucky because it would have put me inside of the mine. And I would have had to have left. I would have had to have. I would have had to have. 
Okay, let's go swap it out. We got three minutes or two minutes now. What do you want now? What do you want? There you go. Alright, there it is. And now I can quickly go through here and kill a couple dudes. Even though I'm in the wrong build. Alright, let's hurry up. Now we are running out of time. Right now. And I can get the Mountain Blair light up. Got one minute. And I really want to reskin this guy. I I recently reskinned him for this fanatic armor. Like a weird raider armor for a, a raider skin for this whole situation, but it's ugly. Ugly. There, I did it. There we go. I'm going to loot this stuff afterwards, okay? Afterwards. Attention. Shaft reopening detected. Support personnel, please initiate collection and auto oh, repair tasks with caution. Structural instability detected. Yay, we're in. A mine rich with re resources has opened up. Use your excavator power armor to collect the ore at the very end. Poor food, poor. So I'm not going to start looting until the last, like, two minutes or so. Let me get this guy up, up and running. I will get everything online first. And again. We're looping around. High yield subroutine, baby. There you go. Good to go. Okay. I'm going to start to loot just these boxes whenever they appear. Okay, I hear them. And Hank. Joel's taking some damage. I'm coming, Joel. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I'm coming, Joel. Hank. Hank. 
Pink is on the line. Let's get Joel. I guess it's a lot more obvious when you're alone. Eh. I'll let I'll let you break, Joel. Break. There you go. And then. Get Deb online. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna start looting. Including this tunnel. Unless I've already been here. Okay. Conversation. Okay. I think I've already been through here earlier in the day. Yeah, I'm over encumbered, so it's taking a bit longer. Yeah, I think I've already been through this one earlier in the day. There's two locations. Yeah, I already have. Good. So I don't have to worry about the ore. Just the enemies and the extra loot. Congratulations. Yeah, that's done over there. There you go. Okay. Kind of resources with all these enemies. Looping back through. Already got this stuff. Oop. I think there's probably more that appears after the first iteration. With the aftershocks. And all these treasure boxes that appear. Yay. Oh, no. And we got 16 seconds. You see? Perfect timing. Mineral detection protocol. Mm -hmm. heading out. We're done. But we're done. Actually. Warning. Warning. We're done. There's extra boxes that appear toward the end, you know. Or, oh boy, that was a good little harvest haul. Then we have the enemies that are right in front of the spot. I had a couple different 
bog locations. I had one that was like midway through the highway. Overlapping the highway spot. Okay. All their bodies have disappeared. Now it's just loot. <laughs> From all those enemies that were here earlier. I'm stockpiling those same tokens. Concerns me that no player showed up for that. That means the server might be dying eventually. Like it's an old server. Alright. Now we have to go back and swap out my stuff again. Twenty steel scrap per assault rifle. Quite a bit. Okay. And I probably saw more grenades. That's all done. And then let's go clear out this. Ooh. Line. They're telling me to, so I will. Because they're telling me to, so I'll go ahead and do it. It's like on the map. Exchange your tokens. And I'll swap out my build again for non-power armor. Congratulations. And let's go over here super quick. I can swap out my build at my own workshop. There's a perk card punch machine in the location. Thank you. All that water is for sale. Right there. Uh, go up up my build right now. This is the vampire's version. Okay. There you go. Yep, I think the server is going to start dying soon. Let's make sure to clear this out. On the next server, I won't be taking over whoa, that many um, workshops. Comes in handy. I could just be using like a grenade launcher or something. But uh, this weapon here is pretty funny. Go ahead and repair everything. Very nice. And then I can open up this. Locker. All right. What do I have? Optional. Let's do the optional thing. Okay. I'm going to go through hemlock holes, kill the enemies nearby. 
get all the acid, make sure it's prepared. I want to complete this leg of the journey and ignore the death claw meat and god will meat. It's all extra. I think it just wants rad stag meat, and that's easy, easy. I'll, I'll stockpile for the future. In the future. Okay, we've got this public event starting up. From of suitors. Are we clear? Nope. Then it'll probably ask me for for produce. Get this taken care of here. Those are some nice looking rad stacks. Nice looking rad stack sticks. Hi there, buddy. Talk to me. We aren't done yet. The stakes are coming along nicely. I can tell those are prime cuts. I'll do this swarm of suitors activity. About side dishes. I need you to get some taters for the tater set. Oh, and if you find corn or carrots, I could use some of each. Sure. Go do. Go do this swarm of suitors activity right now. Yeah, no. We need the legendary cores to craft item. Yeah, no. Or to turn items legendary. No. Oh, <laughs> he's called Bachelor. Thanks. That was close. Before they weren't called Bachelor, I don't think. You know? Got for me. That kind of works. We're looking for this dude right there. The lust, the lusty courtier. Go back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dang it, the stupid weapon! Oh my gosh! See, uh, an issue occurs where if I don't reload this weapon all the way, it makes it where I can't use stim packs and I can't do anything. <laughs> I was taking poison damage and I couldn't heal.
They're expensive. Where are you going? Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Water too deep. Is the water too deep. Get him. Water's too deep. <laughs> That was hilarious. That was pretty cool. Brown water. Go viewer. Okay. Go over here and clear out these guys over here at the Red Rock. Stop. Because I feel like this server is going to die eventually, so I want to make... I always want to make the most out of these workshops. It's a certain investment with resources. Get these workshops online. And... I have to go back to, to Harper's Ferry to pick up those toys. Can I harvest you for bone shards? Get that adhesive. I just, I'm running out now. I have it on top, so it's kind of hard for me to pick up when I'm in my power armor. Without my jetpack on. Go. has been retaken. I'm going to clear through here for a second. Like I said before, I was going to go through afterwards, and now is afterwards. There's some salt and pepper I want to pick up. Right around here. In the other room. I'm going to make sure I'm not standing with these other players around. Okay, see here. Here, it's gonna be right over yonder. Salt and pepper. Boom, boom. Salt. Right there, and salt and pepper. Right, cool. Let's go sink it. Time be flying on by. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, moving on. So you want me to get a blood bug proboscis? I'll get a blood bug proboscis. I have to save him. My stash and sell him. A good thing to sell because people need this garbage for missions. There's a Myler Queen out here, level 100. Oh no. Over here, really quick.
Oh oh. Okay, it's a nice hot spot. Blood bugs give you max health. They're pretty good for a bloodied build. Until the, the food wears off. The bug, the bugs. Yeah. It ain't good old Ella James. Yeah. The virulent blood bug a viewer. I have a collection of weapons on me. There. And I'll store the proboscis. Done. Okay. And good news, there's even more blood bugs at the campground down below. They're attacking me. See, sometimes the Yagwai attack me. So I have to clear out these spots to allow for a wave of Yagwai to show up. And I'd like to buy some disease cures from the Nuka Cola land. Something I normally do every time I'm, I'm on a new server. I gotta buy that stuff. Three more proboscis. Cool. And then I'll just stop by this church really quick and um never even finish that mission. Alright, hop over here and I'll pick up uh well there's anglers and that's nice. It's currently in the middle of a defense event. Let's not worry about that. Let's go finish up with the Harper's Ferry daily situation. Here we go. Right here. You know, the burrows is a great spot for farming. If I was doing an XP farm, where I'd go. I were. Go pick up these toys. Awesome. And one more toy way over there, but let me clear out these enemies first. And I'm going to go through really quick and clear out these enemies. Awesome. Bring it down a bit. I need more dirty water. 
I'll get it now. this playtime mission to get this toy that's in Harper's Ferry. There you go. That's good enough. And I'll eat a couple foods. Bad stag. Stuff does not last very long, does it? I'm a carnivore, buddy. Stop it. Is twist thrown in for some random stats. A whiskey to boot for a couple minutes of fun. Yeah. And we're done. I'm gonna keep on clearing out the spot super quickly. Hey there, pals. Thank you. A bunch of enemies over here. I'm gonna shoot. I have to wait for that entire sequence to finish for popping weapons, otherwise, it messes up. Here. Some technical data for that daily quest. The Brotherhood of Steel. You okay, buddy? Are you okay? Around the bend, there's a bunch of uh, aluminum out here as well. The toy in question is right, right over here. Let's go over here really quick for the aluminum, and back there. Let's just go here first. Coolant caps. Wrap it off. Yep. Come on. Better hurry up. Wrap off these proboscis. The 
the Mothman Equinox again. Amazing how fast time flies. Clear out this spot, buddy. I'll come back and do the burrows. And I gotta do West Tech. And maybe even the Monster Mash. I haven't done that in a while. I don't need the Halloween candy, though. Maybe. I'm using the Nuka Cola candy. But I think the Halloween candy is still better. The Halloween candy stacks with itself. Maybe we gotta hurry, get this mission. Boom. So cool. it down one time. Sweet! Gotta drop it all off. Right over here. Let me go straight to the event. Right now. Right now. This is normal. About to get rubber banded, I'm sure. Whoa. Can I re teleport? Pretty please. Alright, how about now? is dissolving. Okay. Go back through. My workshops for a second or two. Go over here by... Ooh! Yagwise. Yeah, yeah, let's go back through my workshops. There's a Yagwai there. I put the meat in the freezer. We're about to move on to a new world soon. A whole new world. No. There we go. Ooh, I need to kill these guys myself. Please. You're welcome. Around here, where the bears might be. We're dealing with 
Yao Guai. Oh, there's still waves. Waves. Which means I can do a full defense or full repair. Do a full repair. While they come, let them come. <laughs> Hand over the meat. I love those frost turrets. Pretty awesome. Alright, that's done. Go down the hill and speak with the cloister. Cloister. very much as I pass on through the area with a robot down the way a couple more drops of dirty water Hey there, Ryan. Has much changed in the game last six months? Yeah. There's a recent update, a new season, a couple days ago. Well, uh, but um, a couple weeks ago, a week ago, I don't know, something like that. Oh, we're down so soon. <laughs> they expanded the content with the Atlantic City stuff, and they made it where it's it's more lived in. There's people hanging out there. It feels like time has passed, and there's some other, there's additional storyline content relating to the Atlantic City that bled over into this map, dealing with Orlando, and this new location right over here called the Rose Room, and I'm sort of working on that, but I'm cleaning up my daily quests and all that, and there's a new scoreboard system, it's kind of weird. You play in Starfield? I heard that there's a, a few updates recently. Graphics got better. I was thinking about getting back into it, but I got back into I got back into Fallout instead. All right, let's go back through. I see you. I'm heading down here to the train station too. Do something. I feel like the server's gonna die any time now. We're at the 29th of October. Whoa! Come and get it. And already, I bet you won't. Ooh, it's a blue fly. I'm still over encumbered. I just want to unload this cold. That wind of yours. I 
I'm over encumbered. Use a cold shotgun. Right in the noggin. Flash diff. What are looking at? Alright. Max, okay, I have to spend my script. Please go drop off these things for later. A couple items for later. Excavator armor right there. Break down this other garbage I have on me. Enter my vendor build. And sell these grenades. All this clothing. And the beer. Blackberry honey crisp. A lot of this garbage I don't need. This should take up room. There you go. Stuffed gulper foot. All this Mylark egg garbage. The mud cookie. And if there's salt and pepper at the vendor, I'll buy that. I'll sell a nice chunk of my water. I'm going to spend some money on the aluminum, the oil, the steel. And I'll sell some drugs again. All that Radex stuff. The basic stim packs. Good, good, good. Alright, that's good. Lovely. And we'll defeat these anglers. This survey's gonna die anytime now. I'll transition to the other phase of operations on the next server, focusing on these daily quests. Again. Come on. Okay, I gotcha. It's time. Reload. All right, do a full repair. Tuck the ore and whatnot. Concrete, garbage wood. Copper ore, copper ore, copper ore. And all this junk. Done. We'll go over here and kill a couple sting wings.
Nice. Three. Excellent. Righty then. And I'll just head over here. I'm gonna keep on going down the road. Get these free ticks. I'll stop by here and loot it up as well. There's a magazine here. Alright, I'm, I'm watching my health whenever I'm on fire. Checking for the stuff. Okay, let's go this way. Right over here. Hmm. Pack Brahman. This guy's gonna get attacked. You need to keep moving, friend. I reckon you do. You having trouble? Oh no. They're here. Okay. Oh, thank you. No problem. Man, those packs are pretty heavy. You wanna give me some money? Huh? Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Here you go. Hope Thanks, friend. Mm-hmm. I'll pick up some tick bladders really quick. Right over here. Yep, and before leaving the server, I'll try to stop by and purchase the disease cures. Here we are. Premier spot for pick bladders. I used to live here at one point. At one point. Tube. Okay, I have this bulk junk on me. Screw this done. And then I can turn that stuff in next server. Still bouncing through, bouncing through. Let's go over here to my Berkeley mine exhibit, clear that out, and then I'll get that locker down below. Sort of wrapping up this server before moving on to a new one. Right there. Just go drop off these items. Mm 
Wonderful. More purified water. We good here? Oil. Might not, not seem like it's worth it, but, uh, yeah. Go is. Okay, let's go open up this miner's locker. If you don't mind. And there is a little event to shoot down this vertebrate. I'll knock that out and I'll stop by the train station over there to buy and sell. Where are we? We're opening up this miner's locker. for um, a quest a long time ago. A long time ago we came to this place for a mission. Looking for a locker to unlock. A locker to unlock. September 11th, 2001. Again, I didn't find it yet. Somewhere. Oh, I found it, maybe? Yes? Did I find it? Oh. Hmm. Ah, oh, right here. Obviously. I'm looking for the actual locker. Okay, that's done. Let's go. Oh, spin the wheel. Is it active? No, there's no one there. Okay, we're just going to keep on sliding through this mission or this map. We'll do a final collection here of all these supplies and then move on to a new map. Otherwise, we miss out on potential public events because there's no one here to play with. Yep. Uh, some of that purified water I can sell. There, adhesive. Silver scrap and some lead. Now slide on through. Right over here. Would you like to join my cabin? Enemies will get killed when they are killed. Beautiful. And again. Garbage crystal. I think it's used for the cryo. You'd think, maybe, I don't know. Let's make sure that everything is repaired. For no reason. Okay, moving on. My final pass through with these workshops before we move on to the next server. The 
the sound of destruction. And more acid. More Nuka Colas. Okay, let's see if I can repair everything right now. The mole rats are here. Right here. Bunch of mole rats to get rid of. On this property. Alright, so hurry up. Got the gold. Okay, it's done. I'll collect this stuff and do a quick repair all like it matters. As we're leaving. There's a world behind. That's done. And now the Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm. Yay! Just like two more, and I'll be done with my little rotation. Just a couple more. Okay. Purified water. I got the adhesive on top. There you go. Get some mole rats. I'll get the fertilizer. The aluminum. And a fertilizer. Some junk on the side. These mole rats can teleport back up to me. Let's collect whatever's over here. Mac and cheese. Okay, that's all done. Let's go repair everything. Mm -hmm. It's already repaired. I get, I get a ton of plans from this whole procedure. That also adds up over time. You and I okay. Stick together like excess and Going up to the brim. Amazing. And the extra ammo. Are we good? We good. Next. Shotgun does have eyes. It's the peeper skin from the season. That same skin's available on different weapons throughout the season journey. I love this crazy skin. Pow. See? Peepers. Peepers. Hey, speaking of peepers, I'm now level 30. Yay. Or rank 30. Peeper. Peeper. Oh, yeah. Whoa. What's happening over here? We 
done. Okay. Event completed. Okay, I'll make sure to repair everything. I'll get all these resources. Alright, here we go. Aluminum. Or sorry, silver. There's junk over here. A whole lot of it. And each of these nodes. Silver. Aluminum ore. Silver. And silver. Let's do a repair all for no reason. Pretty good. And then finally, I'll do hemlock holes and the Grafton Steel Yard. And then Dolly Sods one final time. And that's it. Yeah. Purified water. When you die, can I harvest you or bone shark? There's nobody here. Make sure we're good to go. Answer to answer to answer. And the Grafton monster, of course. We we'll repair all if I could. And I could. Over here, and get the Grafton monster. Oh no. <laughs> Hilarious. I knew he wasn't going to give me anything. I just knew it. Let's go over here by the Grafton Steel Yard. My final rotation just to make it worth it. So then in the second half of this stream, I'm, I'm not going to be doing workshops. I'll be focusing on other things to clean up this daily quest list. Do some moderate farming. And then knock out the daily ops. And then maybe a few expeditions. Along with maybe some more Scorch Beast farming. Done. Repair all. Get my resources. And eventually I'll be going by a... in the next server. A train station. To drop off these extra plans in the donation box. Alright, time to get funky. Okay, we're done. Alright, moving on to the Red Rock and Mega Stop. I was gonna do. Mm hmm. Right over here again. And below. Impossible. I see you. Uh, 
I'll loot this little hip bone over here. And... There we go. Able adds once more. I'm gonna go through the area. I've already looted that stuff. There's a workbench right over here. Oh yeah. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We go over here. I'm gonna loot everybody and then break it down right around the corner. Because of course I'm over encumbered. Right here. Beautiful. was fun. It's nice to come through and clear out all these mutants. Done. And I have to spend my script, as we saw. Alright, let's go unload our pockets right over here. Right over here. Base. And sort by weight, stack weight. Copper ore, aluminum ore, coal, gold, crystal, uranium. Crazy. Mm hmm. Done. And then. Red rocket, make a stop. Don't stop till you get enough. Acid, meat, wood, water, herbal fruit, adhesive. The server is falling apart. Buildings are disappearing. Falling apart. I'm gonna pick up the stuff, make sure the enemies are cleared out. Awesome. Trying to blow the truck up. Aluminum ore. And... We're almost good to go here. Whoa, this is all messed up. What in the world? It's all messed up. Good yet? Yeah, we're good. All right, cool. Do a quick repair all for no reason. Done, and then we go down to Dolly Max Sides Campground, and then I will be done. Once I go back to my camp, and I'll swap over servers. 
It's nice to load in at my camp. Because if I hang out at my camp, I think that increases the odds that players will come to browse. Some players want to barter. Or trade. Or haggle. You know? But if you're there at the camp, then they might swing on by to see what you have for sale. I'm not going to be haggling, of course. There are apparently feral ghouls somewhere out here. I shouldn't have done that. You gotta aim before him. They still live. Alright, let's go back down to my camp. We're all done with all of that. Wasn't that fun? So much productivity in the lands of yore. Right now it's 1.41 a.m. We have a few more hours. Until uh, at least, or uh, up until 6 a.m. My time. So, let's go drop off this Yagwai meat. that note, I can pull some stuff out. By the way, I'll do that on the other server. Okay. Alright, let's pop out of here and pop back in to a new land, fresh and ready. With a plundering, baby. join some random team. Kaboom! Let's see how fresh the server is. I can tell by looking at the calendar on the data tab of my Pip-Boy. What you get? Just go make sure it's all repaired. My camp, that is. Be honest. Does this trash make me smell There you bad? go. This is my, my, my world. Oh, they're all in Atlantic City. Why? Let's go with some other team. Fine. Why? Oh, good, and I wanted to pull some ammo out of my vendor or something. Vendor weighs too much. Or there's too much stuff in the vendor. Yeah. 10,000 fuel, how about now? I pull out half of that fuel, and we're going to... Ah, oh, yes, I was in the middle of adding Yagwai meat to my freezer, but then ran out of room. Beast liver. In 
that would be it. Okay, that's done. There. And I just need quick food crafting. Got some ingredients here for a second. At the very least, I'm getting my buffs up and running. On this new server, I'll be focusing on all these side quests. Yeah, tick blood sack, sting wing barb, rad roach meat, blood bug proboscis. Okay, we'll get that rad roach meat in just a bit. Go for sting wing fillet for the strength. Hold on, sting wings do perception. Strength. Angler for the AP. And agility with that miler kick. Radstag, of course, for the curry wheat. For now. I'm gonna put that liver away. The blood bug steak for max health. I could put that in my stash, actually. Dog meat steak for eight endurance. It's awesome. That's all good. Let's check this out and put a couple foods away, huh? That charred liver. That dog meat steak is pretty good. And... I'll eat the rest. One. I'll put a little handful of angler. Because I can't eat 18 by the time it rots. You know what I mean? Sweet potato stew. Tasty squirrel stew. I'll put that away. Good to go. Awesome. So now, let's make sure... Get back to my normal build here. Get all my buffs active. I'm gonna go join this other other person. Get my assortment of buffs. Charisma, endurance, strength, perception, and agility at the same time. Intelligence outside. Luck. And I'll do the slot machine. Upstairs, the big one. And while it resets, I'll get the other stuff. Active. Done. Can I do it? Waiting for a response from the server. Oh no. Oh no. There. Right around the way while I do these other things. No, it's going to crash. Well then. I felt it coming around the bend. Oh, yes. Okay, well, I'll be right back. Alrighty then. I'll be right back. Once I'm in a new world. Do you wish to play with team? Yes. Maybe. Maybe.
since my stuff spawns, that is. Well, that is, we're still getting our little buffs. Okay, let's go do the slot machine again. And I was in the middle of getting this buff. And then the strength buff. I lost. I lost the money. Okay, there you go. And another weight bench. Breathe. The key to lifting weights is to arch your back. There it goes. Use your back. Done. Done, 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 do, do, be done. Currently at 1.52 a.m. The next event's about to pop up. Kill a Blood Eagle. Craft Bulk Aluminum. A good. Stuff. This one. Bot Machine. Here's Intelligence. Here is Buck. And here's a bit of XP. Just for a little bit. Praise Talos. Check out this map. Look at that red roach meat coming up. And we are good. Yeah. Here we are. Now I'll eat my collection of different foods. Let's see here. Blood book steak for the extra health. I use the carry weight, weight booster once I'm out of weight. Right there. The melee damage. Oh yeah. Agility, oh yes. Extra points up in the world. Max AP. There we are. And now, I'll be right back, okay? I'll turn this down for a second. I'll play my songs. I'll turn the audio up right afterwards. Yeah. I'll be right back, eh, right, everybody? Just a minute. the 
All right, we're back. It's time for the Equinox of Yore. All right. I think I'm going to quickly stop by and pick up some lunch boxes with gold. We have this daily here as well. I hope we can set up more settlements like Foundation. Wanna focus on these dailies really quick after this public event. Maybe Ward has more drawing paper I Hi. Finally, some I'm with the guts to help. You. No offense. The last functioning osmosis kit is missing. 
We're pretty sure it was stolen. Think I stole something? If you can get it back, we'd be very grateful. Grateful enough to pay you. I got you, buddy. Excellent. Fortunately, I can show you. Sandwiches. And. Grinders and hoagies. Get the gold. Done. And hi. Hey, fellow. fellow vault dweller. Jen's got style that I can respect. You know what I mean? And again. Done. Now it's Equinox time. At this point I will I'll use the lunch boxes toward the end. When everyone's gathered together. One lunchbox. Maybe. Children, listen well. Three pyres have been placed throughout the wise one's home. Their light is a vital catalyst to our... They light these pyres. The dim ones have attempted to contain our light. Mm. Destroy their vines encircling each pyre before we proceed. Each pyre is attended by a wise one's observer. Only when the vines have been destroyed Whoa. will the observers instruct you on your next turn. Yes, we're waiting on the bag to catch up. His patience does not run as deep as his wisdom. His wisdom. Yay. Yay. We must reveal the, the pyres. So here's our hourly event. You know. Not today, you prophet. I know it's over there. Kind of weird. Across the river, a swarm of vertebots or drones for no reason. Been that way for years. For years, I say. We're starting this event up. Dropping off this meat, finding these prophets. Shooting this deer. Destroying the totems. Which were on the rooftops as well. Look there. Right there. Hey, hey there, Prophet. Beautiful. Not today, Prophets. They're on the rooftops. We're almost there. Another situation. Another totem. All done. Now we have to go find the rad stags. Right here. The rad stag blood. We're at nine now. Well, the game is telling me where they are. That's good. Right there. Hmm. Behind the wall. Right there.
and almost ready. So turning this blood right every under. And one more. One more rat's tag. The ritual site has been prepared. Done. The summoning shall commence once each of the pyres has been lit. You must light the pyres. Oh, ignite the flames as I release the dust of our wise one into the air. Boom. Ah, yes. Now we go by the church the and defend it. Prendo. enlightenment, however brief it may be. Breathe, children. Breathe. Okay. See the world now through Let the dust right. flames and fumes. The dust flames and fumes. Looking for the bad guys. They're coming. You must Ellen. protect our sacred lights, the fires from those wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. The new ones approach the church. Slay them. No. I'm coming, Tom. No, Tom. No, okay. Right over here toward the bridge pyre. Done with this one. I'm done. Fifteen seconds for the next wave. Let me go through here and do some farming. Right now. All points, bulletin. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Leave no pile unguarded. Leave no heretic left standing. What the is that about? Hmm. Yeah. Floating around. Floating around. Not that. Not that. Not that. What do we got? Looking for a nice hardy team. Nothing. Goodbye. Vengeful moth man. What? Draws near. Here it's our signal. Quick, 
contrary, return to me upon the museum's rooftop. We must invite him to us to show him our love hey there, pal. and gratitude. Dance, sing, shout, expel bile from your gut, show emotion. You hear us, wise one. And it's lunchbox time right now. And a scout banner so that death doesn't really occur. Mm -hmm. One more lunchbox. And now, off right over here. We'll be knocking out a bunch of daily quests. Okay. I just want to have to go pick up some meat from these traps. Or something. Where are we going? Collect the meat from the trap. I will. Oh, Berry Mintats, I miss you so. I could do a Berry Mintats farm. There's a trap. Uh, there. Right there. From the first trap. From the next trap. Guess we don't go down south. There's a bunch of ghouls over here. This is sort of toward the intro of the game. You first leave Vault 76, you go down the hill. You know? Okay, here we go. Final trap way up north. How far? I could run pretty quickly here, you know. Straight ahead. Turn the lane on foot. Forever. Forever. Standing over there. Or something. Is he? Why are you standing over here? You're back. Yep. You've recovered the meat from our traps. Just what I wanted to Good stuff. All done. Goodbye. What was I removed? There we go. The, the host left. Okay, so now. Next. I'll grab some potatoes for five seconds. And I'll get the toxic mutagenic waste. I could go by way of the... Well, I'm not all this daily stuff. Before doing the main mission. 
for the the new stuff. Okay, so oh, getting some freebie potatoes for five seconds. This isn't the spot for potatoes. I'll go ahead and kill these enemies right over yonder, if you don't mind. Yay. Real quick. Bunch of free ammo. Okay. Let's go over here and pick up this toxic mutagenic waste. Not that one out. Legendary in that group. Get the waste. So toxic. And we have some salt and pepper over here. And some ghouls inside as well. Double tappage. Sweet. Thank you very much for your typewriter, sir. And we go for the ooze. I think you can too. Fishing rod. Moonshine jamboree. How oh, we like that? Well. Right there. Flip. And then. And break it down one time. They head on across the land. Trying to turn this in. Or at least pick up the goods over there. Thank you for your answer. It's only level 60, so it's not that bad. Okay. Let's go pick up the Toxic flim flam. I 
then we'll turn it right on in. There's a public event right now. Moonshine Jamboree. Okay. Let me stop over here by the Cobbleson farm. Pick up some Tato. Takes a couple minutes for the Moonshine Jamboree to really start. People have to show up. Hello. There you go. Good spot. Hey, Tato. Put the vegetables on the grill. Roasted tomato. Roasted tomatoes. Beautiful. And everything in between. Places. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go turn in these vegetables right now. Then we hop on down to that public event and knock it out. Actually, I might quickly dash on through the crater to go see if there's a daily quest there. The hunter turns farmer as he gathers fresh produce for the feast. We're done. Done. Let's go jump straight on by the crater and then straight to Moonshine Jamboree. Here we go. Retirement plan. Hi. Here's the name. Good. I'll do it. Goodbye. Uh, if you only find Moonshine Jamboree. Only one person. Now there's gonna be more than one person. Hmm. I'll speak to him. Be all alone. Be super hard. Oh, good That's how it has to be. I'm gonna put my tent down right here. No, I don't want to use the tape. Oh, nope. Go. About to start. Ugh. Well, I think we're ready to get this jamboree going. Light the fire, moonshiners, and try not to shoot each other. Oh, wait a second. Sizable salamander venom. 
I will not forget. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Goodbye. Yes. Minor lag, I don't know. Bit more on him. Come on. Come on, tires. And some loving in between. Let's go. It's not enough, Captain. The mother means... Maybe. Right in the belly. One by two. Eighty-five million enemies here. Yay. Well, you don't see angry, sizable right in the hot tub. Right in the hot tub, baby. Shotgun right to the face. I'll keep my life nice and low for a second. Get him again. I have no more um, quantum shots on me. I have to go pick up more. Mm -hmm. Crossing sectors of fire. Bada boom. Collecting at the very end, huh? Whee! 
Where are they going? <laughs> Get the AP up and running. But wave three or four, towards the end, I'll do a big loot situation. Come on, man. Beautiful. So toxic. Mm -hmm. Piles and piles of enemies. It's okay. Sweet. Sweet. I don't want to. Make sure I'm spamming my AP foods in the background. So I can do the bets. Some big guys coming. Some fog crawlers. Okay, I'm gonna collect everything if I could. Ooh. We have to collect the goods. Okay, let me hurry up and turn in the acid. Excuse me, but if you haven't noticed, the stills are being there we attacked. Do. I got, we're, we're at 46 Winner now. Does. You found the tub. I can't say that to many of the moonshiners who come from here. Yep. He's filling it with venom now. Your mother would be proud. Well. Going well, moonshiners. We all have to deposit the stuff. Halfway there lies. I need more. Yeah. I'm trying. We're under attack. At 48 now. Come on, man. Come on! Can't believe it. Second wind. I can believe it. It was like targeting somebody else through the wall. Pause at the stuff. Give me the gold for venom. Nobody cares about depositing venom. Terrible. Terrible.
Yep. Continue on with these daily activities. <laughs> Plus extra acid. Restore the ore if I have any. Back weight. And I do. Alright, let's go back to my camp for a second. And I'll do some smelting. And I have to dump some plans at some train station. Get some red roach meat. Do some smelting and some repairing, maybe. There's quite a bit of my tool there. I'll pull out some ammo. Repairs! In my armor. There you go. And I'll break some stuff down if I could. Nothing. All this extra ammo, I'll pull up more. Three thousand. And the quantum ammo. How about there? Do smelting. Turn the on. All this ore. Yep. Quantity. So many. Clear waste of this rotten produce. Deal. Then. And now let me check it out. 11.59. Cut that fuel in half. And I'll pull this other, this other mods out. I'll give this stuff away. And I accidentally dumped a bunch of junk in here. Right there, glass shards. Other nonsense. Plastic. Whee! Yep, that was an accident. I did not mean to dump that. I wanted to keep the other items, though. The tick blood sack and the proboscis. The stingwing barb. Like so. And there's extra plans. Work with them. Most of them are trash. Work by weight. Hmm. Those. I'll sell certain items, huh? And. Go. Oops. Oh, good to go. These items. Put that in my fridge or something. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Some garbage you have to contend with. I'll just store these extra legendary items. End up with a backlog. And at the end of the day, I'll transport them over to my other character. 
Mhm. Now we're good to go. To a vendor, that is. Right? To a vendor, that is. Right now, once I eat this food. Dingling filet for extra strength. And radstag. it for now. Let's go straight to a vendor at Watoga. And then we have to go down to the rusty pick to go spend some script. I'm maxed out. Okay. And I want to purchase some disease cure. And I could try to operate with the unyielding armor. See if I die. I don't like to die. I swap out my armor. Problem is the weapon weight reduction. I can farm way more weapons with the weapon weight reduction. Go and now we're we'll gonna do some vending. We'll start off with the grenades here. I'm gonna give the vendor some caps by buying the lead and the oil. And the copper up uh, in the vendor here. And there. Can I assist you today? Right over yonder. There. And ready to exchange all the clothing here. I'll get rid of a bunch of different foods that we don't need at the moment for long-term growth. Right there. Fermentable flim flam. Fire cap. The gourd. 121 build rad stag. I think not. It's kind of crazy. Well for innards. 215. Purchase more junk. Maybe. To and over here. Go for innards weighs so much. Something. Right there in the middle. Bam. Almost. Okay. Let me go back over. Across the map right over here. Ain't no teammates. I'm going to hop right over here to this other vendor. Let's listen to this radio. Pirate radio. Also becomes two things. Yeah. And thirst quenching. Oh, Quantum. Okay. It's all about the number two. That's why Nuka-Cola Quantum has twice Hi the there. calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the amazing... Hi I'm going to purchase aluminum. Deal. And gears and spring. Why not? Over here with the food, salt, and let's continue on. What do we have? All those gulper innards and the mud cookie. Pressing forward and hoping to avoid any further Pemmican. Alcohol. Half this purified water. Emilio. No. No. Well, this forest is as dark as a cave. So I'm taking this ring. 
and combining it with some of our and vodka and the ham good stuff a torch exactly a torch good and now there's some spices All right, let's go this way. Up, up, and away. Go put all those items away. As they reach the depths of the forest, it grows eerily quiet. And now we have to go get the red rich meat. Right over here. Boom. Uh, look at all this junk we got. It's crazy. Beautiful. Now I want to give away a bunch of stuff. But I feel like this server is going to be dying soon because there's nobody here. Nobody here. All right, I'm gonna go down to another server. Nobody on this server. Nobody here. Kaboom. Again. All right, let's go join some random team. We look at these people. You are the one. Now I don't feel bad about dropping a bunch of stuff off. I think it's best if I dropped a bunch of stuff off someplace else. Okay, Bender Town. Ready to I'm gonna spend more money. This is the new vendor. So, deal. Bones are. Food. There you go. And let's continue on. With my sails. Purified water. Cut it right in half. Oh boy. Alright, let's go elsewhere. Okay, so I want to go... Ooh, look, there's, there's nuke zones. That's fine. Let's go over here by White Spring. It's a good spot to go drop things off for other people. I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff off, baby. Right now. Show. There's that. Drop off things in the box. Right here. Sort by weight. And most of everything is going to be in that box. Except for the things I don't have. I'll tell you what. things we have to get rid of. I'm going to sell these items. Amazing how many plans, huh?
That's from Workshop Conquest, people. And I do that all the time. Mods. Nice. Okay. And then... Vendor. I'll spend more money with, by buying bulk lead and bulk steel and cherry and the cola. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, the mentats, sure. And now it's my turn. Southern purified water. Right there. At your service. Sold. Swap the build back over. Armington Jones the third. So I'm gonna go down to Camden Park. There's a vendor there. People. That sells aluminum. And there's a daily quest as well. a bit. Drink these items. Do some stuff here. Beep. And next time I will be taking over a power plant. I didn't do it this time. Next time. Rubber and wood. Duke of cherry. Some lead right here in these blocks. Okay. Shotgun shells. Rubber. Yes. Gunpowder. Wait. Done. I pick up this bucket and run around. Whee. Once I pick up this bucket. Here we go. Doing this daily quest here to go drop off this material in these mining carts. Here's another one. Right there. Gonna be a rad roach here. I do need the meat. Believe it or not. If I can go by the um Scout Leader out there by Dolly Sods to go turn in the daily. I'm almost ready to start XP farming. Because I'm wearing unyielding now. It's kind of compensated because my endurance is high. As long as I'm eating foods and everything, it, it works out. It's important. Okay, we're still running around. We're still being timed with that cart uh, drop-off situation. There's a Nuka Cherry. Mentats. Done. Go check this out. 
play some Mintats. Very cool. Got some lead right here. Nuka Cola. Safe. Got three minutes remaining on this drop off. Bobby Pin. Here, up and around. Awesome. Yes. And I believe I have to bulk some aluminum or something for the daily challenges. It's a stealth buoy. Faster. Faster. And a bit more. Here we go. A minute and thirty seconds remaining. Here's the cola. There's a fusion core here sometimes. Okay, let's get this cart situation before we run out of time. We have one minute remaining. Legendary High Priest. There he goes. One more cart, and now we're done with that circuit. I have to go report in. He has some ticks here. I'll carry the tick blood sack, put it in my stash. And I'll keep the extra red roach meat in my stash, in my freezer. Mothman Equinox. Round. Random supplies on the ground. Oh, for missile launcher. Done. Go to the vendor. Hey there, vendor. How's it going there, pal? Alright. Aluminum. Steel. Adhesive. Spring. Blue paint. Red paint. Gunpowder. Alright, and over here. Purified water. Right down to about there. Thank you very much. And all the Salisbury steak and the s'mores. The wine. I'll keep the whiskey. Instant mash. Half the honey. Great mintage. All that Radix. Right away, the Stealth Boy, the Impacts. Alright, and then... Nice. Whee! And then we head to the Equinox before it's over.
Wooden blocks. Alarm clocks. Break down these weapons. And the armor. All this bulk. Don't want to get rid of those. I don't want to. So let's put Super Duper on just for a second. I don't know if. I don't think it does. That Super Duper works on bulking. But it might. So. Aluminum? Hit it. Okay. All done. Serendipity. Done. Okay. With that Mothman Equinox activity. A lot of people doing it, so let's do it now. There's 13 people there. 13 people. They were waiting for the rubber band to catch up. It will destroy the rad stag and drop off the meat. Thank you. Ooh. All right, there's a grand stang over here. We we'll drop all the stuff off. Am I in the actual event? Albino red stag removed. Done. Probably a cultist on some roof somewhere. The ritual site has been prepared. Well done. The summoning shall command. Now we gotta light some players. Of the pyres has been lit. Any second now. Nights of flames as I release the dust. Let's eat more foods while we're just hanging out. Many foods only last for half an hour, so. Nice. Red stag. Ooh. Raw egg. However brief it may be. Breathe, children. Breathe. Charisma. See the world now through his eyes, children. I do have a scorch beast brain on me. And flames and fumes. Right, I think I'll I'll do some XP farming for an hour after this, if I have four lunch boxes and everything. I am on a full team. I can go down to um, West Tech and then do a daily op. And go down to the burrows. Protect the pyres. Ten more seconds. Yay. Okay. I have to add my boost again. Use the boost. Eyes 
Uh. Yep. I'll be leveling up eventually. Oh yeah. Soon, doing some defending over here. Right there. Right there. Today, oh, yeah, old shoulder. It's the cryptid hunting weapon of your does more damage to cryptids, like that Mothman. One minute of defense. Now, I gotta do another... Well, I have to do a Barry Mintats run, I think. In general. If I want to start XP farming. I do like the extreme contrast of the glass cannon concept mixed with power armor. Where I can go back and forth between super tanky and not... 26 more seconds. Mm -hmm. 8 seconds, let's go. You go. The wise one draws near. Spin around right here. Boom. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Bask in his infinite wisdom. Okay, I believe you. And now we move on to another daily quest. Super quickly. Let's go straight to the Dolly Sods Wilderness dude, okay, by way of Fort Atlas. Right now, I'll farm the junk here at Fort Atlas, turn in the technical data, and then hop on down to Dolly Sods to go turn in the Things and Things quest. Yay. Beach. Just a bit of everything. You know what I mean? Beer bottles, McKinsey. The toaster and bowl. The fuse has copper inside. Yay. 
Ooh wee. Get all the goodies. You buy them. You can buy the junk, you know. You can buy the junk. On top of everything else. Good. Is a lot more organized with Knight Shin in charge. Right. Material all the time. Okay, let's hurry up. Hurry up. We have to cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Cut ourselves free from America. Our stockpiles I've... were not affected by the attack. You'll still get your rations. I will still get my rations. Sure. Good to go. Praise. I am a knight errant. Like a warrant officer or something. Special rank where you're free to do whatever you want. <laughs> Good luck here. Well. Glad. A bit more. Then we go upstairs and turn in this technical data. Right over here. Glass bottles everywhere. Hi. It's good that I have your data. Goodbye. I have your technical data of yours. Something tells me it won't be my last. Okay, that's done. Let's go hop straight on by Jolly Sods. And then I'll drop down my survival tent, pull out my bug junk. Nami. Pull out the bug junk. Mm-hmm. We need the proboscis, wing wing barb, float fly gland, only one, oh no, one of each. Okay, good. You're welcome. I got your stuff. You got everything I asked for. Proboscis. I guess you don't pronounce the C. Sort of. The hard C. Proboscis. You know, some salt here. Yeah. Bigger bombs. Jingles the moon monkey. Everything in between. Typewriter. Dual action. Bottles and cans. There is no iguana. It's all people. Alright, that's done. Alrighty then. We'll stop by Clo again. I thought I already did it, but we'll do it again. Maybe. I didn't finish in the previous server. Maybe it's a new one. We'll see. It could be the bugged out version. But there's a robot here that wants me to turn in some flowers or some toys. 
I think I picked up the toys in the previous server, but I'm not sure if I turned them in. Okay. Thing is, we're here. I'm gonna drop on by and work with the vendor. Hey. All the grenades at all times. You ain't got enough caps. You're about to. It's aluminum, adhesive, oil, steel, and eh, pepper. All right, so now I'm gonna buy, or I'm gonna sell, a bunch of everything. Go. Insect repellent. Good. All right, that's fine for now. All right. <clears throat> Go up the hill. Knocking out these blasts. And I'll stop by Davenport at the Overseer's house. For the photo mission. And by the responders to see if they have a daily for me as well. Do some free steel right here. Angers. Hey there, robot. Mm -hmm. Again. All done. I have to go retrieve the toys again. One more toy. I'll do it right now. Right now. I'm trying to clean up this quest log so I can get some greater things completed. I already have two out of three. Where'd how I'm still unlocking plans? Or mod mod plans. I gotta keep the proboth this and the stingwing barb on me, or in the junk box, or in my main stash box, right over here. Okay, here we go. job is... Oh, I guess we're starting over, huh? And one more toy right here. Mission complete. I'm not going to clear out the whole thing until I do the XP thing. And I'm back down to Clo, baby. And then we'll find the missing equipment for the foundation, and we'll get the bounty, dude. I might want to stop by Davenport first. And I'll spy on the raiders this time. I have a nuke today. Hi. Oh, went down so soon. Darn right. Pity. I mean, perfect. It's so good to see you again, Leslie. Uh, now, why don't you go to your room? Get the supply drop. I will. 
quiet. Perhaps a nap would be best. Now, run along. Done. Okay, 90 caps. That's okay. And we're at max script. Ugh. I gotta get... Uh, I have to go spend my script. Part of what I have to do. Get the supply drop first. So now, uh, all these things we gotta do, you know. Yes. Go stop by the Davenport sp spot for a second over here at Welch. Over here at, oh, not Welch, but uh, Sutton. Good old Sutton Avenue. Head on in. And then I'll stop on by the Rusty Pick to go buy some legendary cores or something. Modules. Buy some modules, even though it. Uh, modules are heavy. Is the issue. Alright, I'll loot everything from the inside here, and speak with Davenport in the basement. Yeah. Random steel. Cup and straw, some spices. Stuff. Spices, sugar, spices, salt and pepper. Go upstairs and not walk outside. Ceramic, random gun, desk fan for screws or something. All right. And there's a bedroom. Best thing. Cup and straw. Stuffed animal. Picture frames. Now down to the basement. Alright. Oh no, I don't want to. Okay, goodbye. So I'll put the camera right over here on the side. Mm -hmm. Break down a few things. Braxo. <laughs> Hi there, so Davenport. I'm here to help you. Brave, are you? Yes. Good luck. And the Raiders have repurposed the communication center of the fallen space station at the crater. This provides them with a vital link to their outpost and their comrades in the field, allowing them to monitor events in the region and react swiftly. Such an important piece of technology is worth keeping an eye on. So we'd like you to photograph it. Okay. Just to the east of the crater is a small campsite that could be useful as an observation post or a sniper's nest. <laughs> There's always some... They'll do. Okay, goodbye. And then... Wait. There's somebody else here with me. <laughs> okay, so we have all the stuff. Bought some parade. Uh, the ghoul horde, sure. 
Alright, let's go by this ghoul horde. They might be there. Because straight down south is the equipment to recover for the settlers. Alright, where are you? Ooh, yeah, this thing. Help Vinny figure out what's eating his crew's morale. That's kind of new. I haven't been here in a long time. There's a nice quest or uh, event here that you're able to initiate to escort a caravan through the tunnel. Uh, but there's some other quest here. On top of that. A whole lot of junk here. However, a good kind of junk. Even the pillows. Okay, so search the tunnel for survivors. Search the tunnel for survivors. I'll toggle active. All right, first to uh, speak to Vinny. All right, What's this. It's first the tunnel for survivors. Holstein's code. What is this? Hmm. Hmm. Hey there, Aries. I'm going to head straight south and get this equipment first. Yeah, sure. Yes, er. So let's get the foundation property tracker active. It'll beep. Ten percent. The heck are you? I haven't even made initiate, and there's already a new boss in charge. To activate this cannon thing, I should be the boss. And, and loot this spot. Hey, there it is. How's it going there, bud? And welcome. Go we'll check this spot real quick. Yes, sir. Now pass on through. Don't you know? Found you, pal. We found the osmosis kit. And welcome. Hope you're having a good morning, or whatever time it is for you. We're already many hours into this stream. Um, this is the second server I've been on because the first server died. But I already took over a bunch of workshops and everything, and I've been digging through my daily quests, and then more are popping up. I'm trying to, you know, do my workshop conquest cycle, which we're done with, and then knock out all my dailies. And get resources along the way. And then whenever all that's done, I'll be transitioning over to do the daily op, and then the expedition quest. We have to go on down for this new quest line. A little bit. Let me head back up north. Drinking your coffee at 6.32 a.m. Oh, yeah. 
it's currently uh, 3.32 for me. This stream has about two and a half additional hours before it's over. And hail, Carl. Uh, speak with these people over here for a second. And I'll come back to it in just a moment. Hi. You need some? Or just admire it? How's it going there, buddy? Looking for some work. Looking for work, are you? Well, sure. Just so happens I've got something I'm willing to pay for. The bummers around here haven't been pulling their weight as much as I'd like. But I also don't have the time or temperament to play therapist. You go give them a talking to, and I'll send some gaps your way. Sure. Kieran Kennedy. He's down on the west end of the tunnel. He knows better. So, uh, remind him. I will. I will. Okay, great, whatever. Get him back in shape, you get some caps. Now beat it. Bye-bye. Not right now, though. Hop over here. Right over here to go speak with the raider man. Let's go swing back through my camp to make sure that there's nobody around. Make sure it's prepared. Do a quick drop-off. Then is it? Yep, 3.34. All right. Swing around here. Okay, we're not going to do this. I was going to use my Thirst Zapper. Reload, reload. Watch out for the bear the bear traps nearby. Okay, you're gonna loop around. Keep me safe from the dangers of beasts and men. Beautiful. Let's go do a drop off and repair. Drop off and repair. Not my weapons though. Let me repair the base. Kind of miss throwing tomahawks. I kind of miss throwing those tomahawks. Let's go drop off the extra ammo. Plasma. I'll just tippy tap. I'm not really trying to get these buffs. Just passing through. Just passing through. But I should drop off that um, meat in the freezer. Herbal fruit. Purified water. Freezer. And... Tasty squirrel stew. Goodbye. And the Scorch Beast brain. Maybe. Unless it already went sour. It did. Okay. Alrighty. I'm not going to get those buffs right now. It takes a bit too long. Right exactly now. Go downstairs. And I'll smelt this rotten food. There you go. 
Have a good day. So now I'll hop straight on down to get this guy. Just trying to clean up my daily quest log so I can move on to these greater things. Last server, I did take over the abandoned bog town and I farmed through it several times over. So I'm not going to take over this stuff in this arrangement. Nope, 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 nope. Whew. I swapped from a mixture of bolstering to straight unyielding. There you go. Surprise. Now give me the stuff. Find this human. Okay, you have to cleanse my pockets here. A bit over encumbered. Go up and around here. Pretty please. Yeah. And hi. Go. Part of the swamp. Yes. Here we go. Right here. Here. Nice. Here, pal. Zoom to the moon. Thank you very much. And then right back over yonder. Watch out for the bear traps. Break it down real quick. Hmm. Go right in the back here. Bear traps, watch out! Plop. Whee. You're welcome. Just passing through. You don't mind. And down. Just passing through. Uh -oh. This place is almost like a mini West Tech in terms of the level of the enemies and 
the mutants and everything. Okay. Target acquired. She's still following me. Vending machine prices are outrageous. The only worst deal I've seen is the hand. Don't make fun of me. My camp prices are outrageous. There they tell the truth. All right, again. Keep it on, keep it on. There might be some salt and pepper in this little diner across the way. And there is a secret loot floor. Get over here really quick. Welcome to Adelaide's. Got spices right there. Spices. You could cherry salt. You could cola standard. Dog food. Wine. Purified water. And no pie. Okay, I want to go up, bend over, through this hole. This fertilizer. And. Right there. Open, open the door. I said open the door. And there we go. Writers and everything. The abandoned bog town, secret floor. The hole in the ceiling, you know what I mean? Loose screws, telephones. Telephones, McGillicuddy. I just heard some NPC yawn. Copper in those hot plates, you know what I mean? Whenever I'm rich, I stop by White Spring and I go through all the vendors. Okay, I'll just do a quick scrap kit. Why? Because scrap kits weigh something. All done, and now we go down. And now we go down. And now we go right on down to return the stuff to Ward. <laughs> cool. Oh boy. Balance of the winding path. I could probably hit up the end of that heart of the swamp mission before it's over. Hey, I got it. I had to kill them. It's over. It's all your fault. You know, we have a few dozen extra of these osmosis kits, but that's beside the point. It's the principle that matters. I see we have our missing. All right, that's over now. You know, we have a few. That's cool. Let's go over here to 
<laughs> the rusty pick and spend some of my script. Okay. Spend my script at the rusty pick. Who? Oh. So I'll buy some modules. They weigh a certain amount, you know what I mean? I'll buy 20. I'll buy 20 more. That's a couple days worth of script. Good stuff. Can I put it away, please? Put by weight. Module. Bam. Boom. Done. Cool. That's completed. Now we have to photograph the small campsite way in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere Jones. Go right now. North by north north. I guess I could hop through the crater to make the photograph or to make the travel gospel not exist. Good morning, Justin. I will not yield. Oh boy. Now I have a couple hours remaining in the stream. I regret nothing. Alright, it's photograph time. Ooh, ah. Is that good enough? Is this the small campsite? I don't think it is. Okay. No, it's way north. Let me go clear out this spot first. Pick up a few free Mothman eggs in the procession. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Pull back a bit. We pull back a second. And... Put a team. A final award. Okay, we're gonna go up north to go take a photograph of this small campsite. For Davenport. Right up there on the hill. I drink my canned coffee, eat my candy, my Nuka Cola, purified water, drink that dirty water to lower my life. Goodbye, Lewis. Goodbye. Ever. Mission complete. Done. Hi there, buddy. If you've got the time, I've got a tail. You have a tail? Let me hear what you got. Buddy, you ain't heard nothing like what I'm about to tell you. Mm -hmm. For a while here in Appalachia, rumors spread of a creature. Part man, part goat. Many thought it to be a thief using a disguise to hide his identity. Hell, at the time, that's what I thought. So when I saw the upright figure of a goat bathed in moonlight, I figured the thief was coming my way. Yeah. You weren't, uh, I saw, you saw that night. It wasn't a thief, was it? Oh, no. No, it wasn't. The realization dawned on me as the figure drew closer. A monstrosity towering above any man, with twisted horns and red eyes. As it entered my camp, I scurried off into the night, with the intoxicating scent of old urine following in my wake. Intoxicating. The beasts, that is. Not mine. How I see. Such a vile creation exist? Oh no. You're lucky I don't kill you. You're lucky. Eh. Next time, name your dog. Okay, let's hop on down and take some pictures of their infrastructure. Of their communications network. And so forth.
Report in. It's nice to scrub through all these quests today. I already went through a massive workshop conquest spree on the previous server, and then that server died, and now we're on a new one. And I'm wrapping up my uh, my daily quest. All done, my lady. Can I cross this name off my list? You're done right. You it's done. I said it's done. So you're do some. No. Bye bye. All right, and now we'll take the picture. Take the picture. Boom. Okay, and now I'll swap this out for the thirst zapper. Yes, sir. Never trust a bartender that don't drink. Play some music for a second. <laughs> oh yeah, people. Oh yeah. Getting it funky. Alright, I'll be right back, alright, everybody? Got about two hours left in the stream. Getting it funky. I'll be right back, alright? I'll play my song for you. I will play my song for you. Failure is growth. It sounds a stagnation. Hello. Hello. We have returned. Okay. 
Let's go return back to Davenport with the photographic evidence of your. Are you serious? The Hemlock Coals. Uh, Daily has reset already? Crazy stuff. I was going to get some rad stag. Gonna keep my quest log nice and clean. Yes. I hope you brought your appetite. Here at Hemlock Holes Golf Cup. All right. We want to provide an appetizer to you. I already have the rad stag meat on me. Which is wonderful. We talked to him again. Yes. Rad stag meat. You can also find Yaokwai meat and death lord meat. Why do you make some exotic steaks? Next. Those are some nice looking rad stag steaks. I just love the sound of raw animal flesh sizzling over a hot flame. And it's really too bad I have no sense of smell. And We have to get some potatoes. But first, I'm going to go down here and get the Grafton monster. I need you to get some potatoes. Let me go back in here. Oh, and if you find corn or carrots, I could use some of each. I'm here, you know. I'm going to get a couple things here. As we have to. All these things. Things and stuff. And a few more things. I don't have Pharma Pharma on me right now. That's okay. Rubber. Another hour is up. And the Mothman Equinox is a night. I have time to do these things. Some multitask. We got some salt there, some spices, some pepper. Remember, I transferred over all my salt and pepper to my other character. Some salt. And the Grafton monster. Looking for the Snallygaster. There is none. Let me go stop over here super quick. And I'll stop over here by Cobbleton. Pick up the potatoes and then drop them off at the barbecue. And then... Hey there, mud bug. How's it going, buddy old pal? <laughs> this is the towards the end of a long stream. Every day I'll be shifting over to the right a bit so that eventually I'll be in the daytime. Right now I'm sort of streaming overnight into the morning. We'll pick up these tatos really quick. There's some Mothman action happening right now. go. Bunch of goodies for me. Thank you for the goods. And I don't want to miss the event, but we, we have, you know, a certain amount of time to head out there to the equinox of the Mothman. Duffy. Mm-hmm. 
Hurry up and drop off the goods. Now the question is, do I have enough time to drop this off and take over this workshop? I do. Okay. We hurry up, check the map for other players. There's a player right there. That's okay. I'm going to take over this workshop super duper quickly. I'm going to head to that Mothman event before it's over. There's so many players there. It gets done before you know it. I'll go ahead and take over the abandoned bog town as well. So I'll put down the Perk card punch machine and base build swap over. Uh -huh. With my blueprints, I have this structure right here. All right, I get down these resources. All I really want, and these UFOs. And some lights. Right there. All right. Done. Done. And I'll put down the blood void. right here we get the heck out of here now is it connected yes it is oh go whoo wasn't that exciting <laughs> it's nice it's a nice challenge to quickly knock it out Site have been prepared. And here the we are. Summoning shall commence once each of the, the summoning pyres shall commence once each of the pyres have been ignited. The dust of our wise one into the air. We oh, yes. the flames of our pyres. Ah, yes. The moth dust offers enlightenment, however brief it may be. I'll start off by defending the ooh boy rubber band. The dust and flames and fuel. Here we go. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you the truth. Can't believe it. There's no third person camera. head back up top there it goes the, the third person camera wasn't wasn't popping we have to defend these pyres flip clap ploop This ammo is so expensive. Okay. Let's eat some food while we're doing this whole thing. There we go. Twist action. Angler. Play for the strength. The false ones, yeah. Radex diluted. 
Because I mutated, you know. And we're ready to go. Constant fire, because why not? What's happening? It's clearly a bug. Bada boom. Do some quick drab by looting. And I still have to go down to Atlantic City. Kind of funny. I keep pushing off the main objective. Looking for the enemies who hum. Have to reload properly. Reload, reload. I don't want a rubber band though. Got forty one seconds to defend these pyres. Twenty seconds. Yeah. All done. The man of moth. Watch out. It's him. It's the moth man. All right, let's keep on going. All righty. And now, we bounce back on through. To the overseer's home to go drop off these photos and soon before you know it my quest log will be completed <laughs> and we'll do it again tomorrow or tonight i have your photos buddy hope you're happy The red leader. Okay, back to the basement. Hey. Ah, you've returned. I have your stuff. Goodbye. Uh, I did. See you later. Okay, Took some risks and I want more money. Thank you. 100 caps. You have a good day. Yourself. Friendo. And then... Okay, let's go, uh... Check on this stuff right over here at the corner. I don't want to do the Big Ben Tunnel itself. I just want this off my quest log. I just talked to this guy over here at the other end of the Big Ben Tunnel. I have to go find some buddies and encourage someone to get back to work. But there's some decent loot around these parts. Hey there, get back to work. Something I can help you with? Vinny says you're not pulling your weight. Yeah, he always says that. But, uh, 
Yeah, fine. I guess I've been distracted. But I've got these kids I watch back home, outside Appalachia. The only reason I do this work is to send cats back to them. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to worry that they need more than protection and money. They've had their whole chance of childhood robbed from them. I had my eye on this place called Nuka World, just down the road. Some traveling carnival. The type of thing they'd love to see. I see. The journey here, though. Too dangerous for them. Wouldn't risk it. The road is no place for kids like them. Yep. But I've been thinking. Yeah, you could fix that. Maybe I could bring back a few toys or souvenirs from there. Mm. Think you'd be able to do that for me? Sure. Is it in Atlantic City? Where is it? Where do they live? Sure. I'll grab some souvenirs from Nuka World on tour. I appreciate that. Five should be enough. Yay. Thanks. You have a good day yourself. Let me ransack your place. Roll bits, I'll put that into the barrel. Speak. What? The instance to location. I wasn't ready for that. It's bigger on the inside. You need something else. No. Been a long time. Look at who's back. Oil. Adhesive. Acid. And steel. Together we by pepper. Amazing. Nuclear material. Dot org style. Step aside while I loot dog food. Bunch of plastic. Bunch of bullets used as chess pieces. And coffee cup, excuse me guys. Are you a vendor? Showing up around? Any rumors lately? You know them ghouls? Mm -hmm. Well, I heard the bombs got nothing to do with it. Mm. It's just a side effect of drinking too much Nuka Cola. Whoa. Real men drink beer. Now, what do you have? Goodbye now. Hey there, Justin. How's it going? Rock this joint. We'll be heading on down to the abandoned bog town again, I guess. Excuse me, buddy. Babe and a haircut. Two bits. Awesome. Break it down one time, if you don't mind. I do have scrapper on, you know. Scrapping. Break down all this armor. And we keep on meandering this way. I will find your bodies. The code of you And they want me to search the tunnel. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Let's are out there. I'll do that in just a second. Let's go collect this Nuka World on tour garbage for a moment. I'll cycle on through, and while I'm here, I'll try my hand at the arcade for a second. Do a couple of rotations. Earn some tickets for a moment for long term quantum acquisition. Clip, clap. There it is. There it is. 
I'm doing power attacks. Maybe so often we do it for a while. If you know what I mean. Have you met Bruno, the strong boss? Ah, uh, you can rival his might. Sweet. Almost. Almost, almost, almost. We're almost ready. And that's it. Okay, let's go get these souvenirs. <laughs> Aluminum uh -huh. Feel Excuse me There you go I can fly Now we do one more I'm gonna buy some uh, disease cure from this guy. Hey there, Dr. Walsh. I want your antibiotics and your disease cure. You have a great day, you hear? That's right. Would you like some grenades, dear friend? Oh, not yet. Okay, get some souvenirs. Okay. Eh. On top of all that, the carnival pie. Safe and sound. Okay, there's a, a public event that needs to be taken care of. And it happens to relate to what we're doing right now with the Blue Ridge Caravan. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, I need one more toy. Yep. You have to tippy tap your way on down if you hope to survive this land. Now give me the toy. Mission complete. Yow! And while I'm here, I'm gonna go knock out this other event really quick. This is a an enclave event over here in Welch. I could probably knock this out and then get the tail end of the other public event before it's over. This right here isn't a public event. It's an event. You have to be an enclave member. Ooh. The Kovac Meldoon. Better get your motor around him. Signal detected. Activate additional signal sources to initiate extermination protocols. We're in a hurry now. Ooh, nothing good of freedom to flim now. Get the world in the living purse, fool. Go this way. So fast. Lippity doo da. All array components engaged. Activating targeting protocols. Please stand by. Eh, 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 eh. Terror. Components failure. Immediate support required. Welcome to my world, baby. Component bypass 
as detected. Resuming function. Eh, eh, eh. Uh oh. We're waiting for the next instruction. Right here. What? I'm invisible. Where am I? Well, I'm trying. I'll be looting at the very end here. What makes me over encumbered, you know? I know I'm making the game look good and everything. I don't want to get over encumbered too soon. Hurry up. Resuming remote connection. There we go. Whee! System orientation complete. Signal broadcast active. Target locked. Okay. And now, required. Repeat. it's retreat. Place is about to blow. But I'll multitask while we're here. Place is about to blow. That's what I was doing. I was triangulating the position for the Enclave to do their thing. Okay, let's go over here to the train station. some lead here. We're lucky. Yep. Break down the items. And... Pop over to my vendor build. I said... I said... I'll sell these grenades. Mm-hmm. Well, this... Ooh! Whoops. That was my Under Armour. All this clothing I pick up all the time. Gonna make sure to re-equip re that item. Okay, what do we have? It's worked by nothing. But there's an event happening right now, and I want to make sure to get that thing. Come on. Available here. Okay, don't need this stuff here. Or that. These items. Get the gourd blossom. And uh, er, er. Eat fruit. Don't need any alcohol. Gotta hurry up. And no wine, ham. Okay, we're done here. Junk. I'll buy the aluminum adhesive, copper, and we're done. We'll bounce over here really quick and do the event before it's over. What? And once I'm there, I have to put my survival tent out and drop off all that junk I just picked up. Oh yeah! There's a werewolf! Brad, no pressure, but we're all counting on ya! No pressure. Safe and sound. I'll do some looting while we wait for the activities to resume. Right now. 
Here it comes. Oh boy. Hold. Hold. Looking mighty hungry. Left leg, go. Ooh, I'm so scared. Help me. Abius Corpius. I'm using the right shotgun, baby. Look, he's in slow motion. It's a werewolf. Whoa. What the heck? What in the world? What in the blue blazes is going on? See, I got the credit, baby. Mm -hmm. really saved our behinds. Be sure to come on back once we clean things up. You hear? Slide. Harmonica style. Let's go drop it off, baby. Okay, let's go speak with the man and give him his stuff. And I'll, I'll go ahead and knock out this tunnel activity. Let's just knock it out, please. Let's just do it. I don't think I've ever done this mission where I've delivered these Nuka World toys to this dude here. Relatively new for me. Hi. Find any souvenirs? Five toys as requested. Ah, I see. I've I've been reconsidering. What? But thank you. I appreciate you getting them, but I'm starting to think that the souvenirs will only make them sadder. To see something from a place, a time that, that they can't go to. Yeah, don't overthink it, pal. Guess you're right. Even growing up before the war, I didn't have many chances to be a kid. Anything is better than nothing. Yep. Yeah. You can have that old crank that I'll pick up the pace. Be seeing you. That being said. Alright, now we go through the tunnel. Big Ben Tunnel. I used to farm this tunnel a long time ago. Before it was this Blue Ridge Caravan operation. Might be an aluminum mine, I think. Like for power armor. All right. Just passing on through, pal. Good thing I have this 
on me, buddy. That was vaguely laggy. Vaguely laggy. I'm just passing through, friendo. Supposed to look for survivors in the tunnel. Hmm. Yes. Hey there. Goodies. They love these tunnels. Oh, miners. All right, here we go. Here, we're looking around. I'll be looping back the other way through right now. Okay, we're pushing on down the way. I came from Sweet. Not today, Pan Pal. Check the incomplete bag. Shuffle bags have ammo. And then... Hmm? Right in the face. Here's the big middle section. And we have the buddy that we're looking for. Way over here. And now I am over in Cambrade. I'll drink a quick uh, whiskey. Yeah. I'm gonna top off my foods because time flies by before you even know it, and many of these foods only last last for half an hour. Crazy. Okay. Yeah, you have to get to a workbench pretty soon. I will find you, sir. I will kill you. Okay, this is a um, ore mine, you say there's stuff. But I'm not even going to pick it up because I'm not even in excavator armor, so. Feels wrong. The harvest ore not in armor. Mission complete, yes. Now we're going to work our way back up. I guess something's better than nothing. You get four times as much if you use excavator armor. 
As opposed to one, get four. Based on the laws of math. Big mathematics. Uh, any moment now, I'll get myself to a workbench. Mm hmm. many and there's some loot back here more technical data good job I'll be so happy that I found the data for them this is the back door right over here Yes, Grognac and the Ruby Ruins of Yore. Got the caps. Alright, let's just keep on running through this place. And then we'll be done here. Stop it. Yeah, again. January 11th, 1845. Oh, wrong way. Astro Metal, do you have what it takes? Again. The Mole Miner Gauntlet of Ewer. There is a workbench coming up. Pretty sure chemistry. No, I don't want to sit in the toilet. Get up. Okay, we're gonna go this way. And we're working our way out of here, buddy old pal. And a decent mole miner farm. And brain fungus. Go for it. Please. Working our way on through this tunnel of viewer. The dreaded tunnel of viewer. Right here. There's a chemistry workbench. Oh, 
heavy metal. That's what it's called. Table scraps. Gunpowder and scissors. Oh my. Lamp for some more oil. And we're about done. Amazing tunnel. Yay. Let's go report into the dude. Then I'll stop by Camp Venture to go turn in this technical data. And I'll farm the loot that's there. Because I already went by Fort Atlas earlier for the other technical data turn in. Some daily quests you could do more than once, you know? Back. Have a good day. Thank you. And then... I'll go ahead and knock this out. To prove a point. I already went through and looted everything. Including the secret loot floor. But now I want to take it over really quick. Just to take it over. Because I stumbled upon it, and now I have this stupid quest on my on my log here. I want to get rid of it. You hide in the bushes. Alrighty, extra metals active. Are there people currently there? Nope. Maybe later. And I have to go return these toys by Clo. I'll do that in just a bit. I'll knock out this stuff here, including that Enclave event, once I take over this workshop. And really quick. Base build. So let's do this really quick. Oh, now that. Got the acid, come on. The oil. Good thing they're color coded. And the gold. Silver. And the three concrete. Okay, and then I'll put down my structure here. Here, land this right on up. There. And I'll add a generator on the inside. Right here. And with a light. A light. And a power connector. And more lights. Here and there. And... Really quick. This guy will be faced backward. I guess inwards. Right here, right in the middle. Yes, sir. I'll put down the blood void. But I named it, okay? Right there, and right there, and right in just a second. Once I put down the flying saucer, right yonder, right yonder. I'll then put the blood void right here. And I'll put some random long thing here there's something here that'll work and then I'll put down a couple frost turrets right here and here 
down here. And one right here. And here. Right along the rim. Right in the middle. Side. Another blood buoyed. Max build count. Yep. Fine. And right here. On this ledge right there. And I'm right here on this edge. And that's it. Max count. And new. Right over here. I put down this canopy situation. To connect the power through. Right there. Two in the front, one in the back, like so. And this power is going to stitch up. And that way. Wait. Got a few more. Lights up and around. Alright. I'll stitch this power going through this defensive position up through here down and across <sighs> not done yet up and across my turrets killed the enemies Good. Everything's almost good. Right here. All fine. Good to go. We have our turrets. Alright, done. Get the heck out of here. Now I'll hop straight to deliver this technical data at Camp Venture. And then head on down to Harper's Ferry to knock out the Enclave event and do some farming there for a second. And then head up north a bit further. For the Clo mission again. The we Clo. Again. Hands. Oil here and there. I love the fact you can sell all this stuff if you're not using it. Lovely. I'm gonna save the red roach meat in my fridge or the freezer. Dog food. All right, turpentine of the Tyne variety. Okay, we're almost done here. Turning the data in just a second. There you go. A bunch of goodies over here. Some copper there. And freebie rockets. Okay, now I have to get out of here. And drop it all off. Yay.
Okay, we're getting so much closer. Let's go ahead and knock out this enclave event here. Me with those phrases. Now there's a we'll clear out this area. by corpses a whole lot of everything I'll be back in just a second Calibrate this signal right over here in the window. And get these goodies over here. All this stuff. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Yeah. I'll have to trans uh transfer a bunch of extra legendaries to my other characters. That's a kind of fool. Okay, let me go through here really quick. Look over here, there's a workbench right behind this wall. <coughs> right over here. Right here. Mm hmm. Wow. And while I'm here. Here we go. Hurry up. I still haven't done the only mission I'm supposed to be doing. Woo. Bazinga. <laughs> that works. Okay, and then we'll hop straight back down to investigate Berkeley Springs again. Right now. Yay. Yay. This way. Yep. Hey.
Yes, sir. We're here. Leslie, this instant. Uh. Right now, Leslie, don't dally. If you ignore me, your parents will certainly hear of this. Right now, Leslie, don't dally. If you ignore me, That's why I figure it's like a bug, because I already did it twice. It bugs out sometimes. Duck and chills. All day. Okay, well, we're about ready for the for the mission. Yeah, I did everything. But once I get to um Once I get to White Spring, I'll I'll probably get another mission. I don't wanna claim it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to break down my items over here. And then... Do this Atlantic City thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So now, most incredibly, it's your boy. Let's head on back down to my camp, huh? I think we're about ready to transition on down to the mission. Hey there, Alan. Um, you haven't played for a few years. What's new and so forth is what you're asking. Sorry for not responding right away. Well, there's been seasons and so forth and so on. Blah. Bunch of new weapons added over time. Some new public events added over time. Expeditions exist. Where you can leave the map to go to the pit from Fallout 3 and Atlantic City, which is new. And recently, with this last update, now uh, time has sort of shifted on by. And Atlantic City feels alive. There's like a bunch of NPCs around. And there's a couple additional little side quests related to that. There's been some updates related to. Whether it's steel and uh, just some content updates here and there. A bunch of awesome items added, of course. In terms of functionality, it's been added a while ago, but there's area loot. You know? Uh, dead bodies glow. If you haven't looted them. It's cool. Uh, there's additional weird tooltips now. If you look at items, for example... Like over here under weapons and armor. I don't know how to show you. Maybe at the vendor I could show you. There's additional it's like additional colorful icons here and there. At least for the food, for example. There's little extra tool tips like right here, you see. <sighs> Maybe at at the vendor. It's a, it's a slightly different tooltip. There's a freezer now. That's cool. Right over here, maybe. You see at the bottom where it shows like 25 seconds and 30 minutes down there? That, that's sort of new. A little bit. Yeah. Sort of new. And as for this season, you see, now it's no longer a scoreboard. It's this weird progression system where you unlock new pages based upon broad level jumps. I'm rank 32 now, so I have to wait until I'm rank 38 to un unlock the next page. You know, that whole system. And you get these tickets as you rank up and everything, but it's just like the scoreboard. There's some cool stuff. There's a new weapon available called the Cremator. It's supposed to be good once we get the extra mods and everything. I got this skin from this season as well. In the atomic shop. Well, in addition, I'm pretty sure the game runs smoother now. You know, it's a bit smoother, the frame rate and everything. There's these weather stations you could add to your camp, which is really cool. And they keep pumping out new amazing items. Ah, for the for the atomic shop. 
new and amazing garbage. I don't know when the last you played, but you know they, they've added a handful of new public events, so it feels pretty exciting. And right now, for example, is the Mothman Equinox, which is a special hourly event, almost like the Foshnacht, but now it's like a um, it's like a cult ritual that you have to prepare. Join the wise Mothman's enlightened in performing a summoning ritual. It's almost like the the Mole Miner event where there's mole miners across the map or uh santa scorched like right now there's a bunch of mothmen across the map and they have an extra little goodie bag and it's active for a little while and every hour on the hour you have this event where you have to destroy these shrines and get the red stag meat and drop it in the blood bowl and kill the prophets and defend the pyres Kill the Mothman and this skin I have with this shotgun is from the season. I'm waiting for the rubber band to hit. Maybe. My gosh. Be good now. I think that's that horrible audio bug. Okay, here we go. Gotta kill the prophets. Took a second for it to spool up, you know. And there's legendary power armor now. That's new. And of course you can craft your own um, legendaries. That didn't always exist. They got rid of legacy weapons. That's gone. So they, they fixed that problem. That audio bug still exists. Go! Ignite the flames as I release the dust! Of our wise one. Yes, ignite the flames. Let me eat some food here. The flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, however brief it may be. Brief. Breathe, children. Breathe. Wing filet. There we go. You have to go defend the church. We have to defend the church. Feel you. Let it soak into your throats. Let it show you the truth. Yeah, and the, 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 there's a bunch of NPCs across the map here and there, and it feels pretty, pretty poppin'. Also, there's another update that came uh, a while ago, where the responders came back, you know, and they took over the. Well, it came with the uh, expeditions. Because, you know, now we can leave the map and go to the pit and go to Atlantic City. And with that came... The White Spring is now populated with a bunch of humans acting like they're the new responders. We're the new responders. And they have quests. I was about to head there. But then, you know, every hour in the hour we have this activity, so we have to stay active with it. And now we have to defend the bridge. Oh, uh, wait. Now there's new cryptids. They added, like, a werewolf creature called the Blue Devil, or the Jersey Devil. I don't know. And they added a, um, a different devil that's over there in Atlantic City. He's, like, a different dude. There's these weird plant creatures called the Overgrown. 
and there's a big turtle creature called the Auga, and uh, like a big werewolf guy. And there's a new boss, like a big mole miner dude, a really big mole mine, uh, mole creature in the Nuka World. And I don't know if you know, but there's a Nuka World on tour, but that's been here for a bit now. Have I gotten anything worthwhile? I don't know. I open them on occasion. I keep... Well, I'm getting new plans all the time, by the way. So, I haven't really gone through everything I've gotten, but I, I keep unlocking a bunch of new stuff related to Mothman land. So, I'm sure it came from these packs. I'm getting new stuff all the time, so the answer is yes. There's plans. How much more can you extend your camp? I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed. As far as I can tell. Oh boy. Well, I mean, it's not really an issue. <laughs> Personally. You can have multiple camps and you have shelters. So, if, you know, you can have shelters attached to your camp and have multiple shelters all chained together so you have a ton of room for building, you know. The shelters, you can attach them to your camp, you know. And the footprint's pretty decent for camps. That mixed with workshops and the fact that you can have multiple camps only one active at a time, of course, but you can have multiple camps. You know? And shelters. Shelters. I'm over encumbered. I have to drop this things off. There is no level cap. But there is a need to level up. Quite a bit. You know? There is a need to level up. It's not like it's imaginary. <laughs> you normally stop progressing in terms of unlocking new perk cards at like level 50 or so. However, you know, there's legendary perks that was added to the game at a certain point, and you unlock these starting at level 50, and then level 100, level 150, level 200, 250, and so forth and so on, until you unlock your last lot at some really high level. And then to unlock these things, for example, this right here... Ugh. I'm not going to show you. It, 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 it would cost 150 perk coins to level up one of these cards from rank 3 to rank 4. And the perk coins, you get two perk coins per... per um, perk that you scrap. So, if you have extra perk... I don't like the sound bothering me. If you have extra perks, and you unlock perks as you level up. So every time you unlock, you get a little perk card, okay? Every five levels, you get a, a pack of perk cards that has four perks in it. So there you go. You're five levels, you get four extra, so forth and so on. Your extras, you can break down to become perk coins. So it costs like 75 perk coins or so to get 150 perk coins. So 75 levels to upgrade that thing from three to four. But that's per card and that's per rank. But it costs a ton of levels to level up these things. You know what I mean? When these perk cards were the last time I was on them. Yeah. Let me break this down. So it costs a lot of, like, I still haven't leveled up everything. You know what I mean? And. This system was added late into the game. Not really late, but it was added at a certain point. And by that point, I didn't have a, a ton of levels 
saved up. Because back in the olden days, before you were able to shift your build over, because right now you can do this. Right now I can go down to a train station or a workshop and... shift my build over between one of several builds for free and you have extra build build slots I think you have to buy them you know right here with this perk card perk a punch machine that didn't always exist you can pop out your build between these different loadouts boom 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 quickly the zippity doo da. all my perks change over shazam you know what I mean Back in the olden days, it would cost your extra levels. It would cost extra levels. Wasted every time I would move my build back and forth. Now it doesn't. See? Okay. And every so often I could just do this. You know, get another card. I unlock it. And then I can scrap that to become a perk coin. And after a ton, if you look at my future pro progression, see, all, all of these are maxed out right here. Because that's what I'm using. But... Some of these I'm not using. Like this guy isn't leveled up. That's not leveled up. You know. And to level up this one. It would take a lot. To go from 1 to 2. 2 to 3. 3 to 4. Like. Uh, I don't know how many levels. 150? You know what I mean? It would cost a lot. Okay. So now. Move on. We're toward the end of this stream here. And we don't have much time. We have like 40 minutes. Here at my workshop, I have all these little resource items. In case you're wondering. This is something that they've, they've also added. Over time, you, they've been adding in additional items that give you resources. This butterfly sanctuary. You could have it at your camp or a workshop or this cookie jar or this honey beehive or this Slockham Joe's coffee machine or the tea machine or the Nuka Cola mystery machine that gives you pull up to purchase you know or the candy or the different collectrons over time or this water purifier that's really small that doesn't require power you know or the wood pile or the rad stag or the all these items that you can have on top of the workshop itself which in this case is that concrete and whatever it's all this extra stuff like this tree on top that's cool. So now, we are shifting toward the end of the thing. Let's go back over here and get my roundabout buff rotation in preparation for the end of the stream. I'll be heading on down to White Spring to see what's up with those NPCs. There might be a daily mission there for me, either cooking some food or whatever. This is my camp with a bunch of garbage hanging out. I have to pick up some dirty water, apparently. Make sure it's nice and clear. It is. Alright. Drop off my excess ammo. Drop off my excess everything. Ooh wee. Go check this out. We're at 11.45. We'll sort by weight. And I have to drop off these extra legendary items. Right over here, in my camp. It's full, and that's a problem. There's no new bubble heads, no. Or magazines. But you have this other stuff, look. This gives you intelligence, this gives you luck. You know, here's a slot machine. Here's a real big slot machine. Right there, I'm just getting everything real quick. Go put my stuff away in my freezer. Look, the pinball machine. Uh, I'm gonna drop off the Yagwai meat. Oh, there's no room. Oh boy. Let's go do the pinball. This will provide agility and... Perception. You know. <sighs> I'm going to have to do a transfer later on. Probably next stream. I have a bunch of extra legendary items. 
There it is. Knock out this extra luck. I guess I can give away a bunch of items. Might have to. What happens if I play all day? I end up with a ton of garbage. Now these buffs I'm picking up should last until the end of the stream. Do some endurance. You know about the shelters, right, Alan? Shelters. You could attach shelters to your camp. Like, right back there is a secret door to my shelter. And then you can have the shelters attached to each other. I, I don't even think there's a limit to how many shelters you can have t together. You can have like a side door leading to another shelter. You know? By that point... Yes, I have merchants in my base. Okay. And my merchant is filled up. But the, the problem here is, is my vendor is filled up at 11.99 out of 1200 pounds you know what i mean and um i have a bunch of extra legendaries i've already pulled items out of my vendor i have a bunch of nice vendors outside see this is like the underground facility i could i could add side doors and have it expand to have a larger amazing facility underground yes I normally sell a, a wide variety of exotic plans and cosmetics and an assortment of weapons. But then on top of that, I end up just with extra legendaries. Now, I transfer them between characters quite often. See, I have a vendor here. Secret vendor. Ooh. And I got a vendor here. And I got a shelter here. Sorry, I'm not sheltered. Oh, I have a vendor, vendor, vendor. Okay. Lots of good items. Filled to the brim. But I'll probably remove one second. Now, one thing that they do add is that they add weapons all the time. There, there, there's been a bunch of new weapons added to the game. You know? A ton of new weapons added to the game. Like this one. Wasn't available when the game first came out. There's a ton of new weapons. Like this shotgun I'm using. It has a skin on it, but it's... It's a cold shoulder shotgun. You see how it freezes the enemy? Alright, so let's go pull this stuff out of my vendor. Whoa, I gotta repair. Directive. Acquire all junk. In progress. Yeah, so if you're not gone yet, I'll show you the vent the atomic shop. But they're selling them for money. These shelters. And there's a whole lot of them in there, and they're good. They're so good if I could find them. What the heck are they? Shelters. Uh, uh, utility, maybe? Uh, camp? Yeah. See, pretty cool. Look. Some of them are really big. Really big with really high ceilings and everything. Look at that. With this weird, cool stuff. Vault, server room, shelter. And they can stitch together. This mine theme. Weird underground mine that you could attach underneath your camp. With all this extra room. All this extra room. Okay. Forbidden dig site. This gigantic vaulted ceiling situation. Root cellar. It's a great idea. And I'm using the utility room, which I think is free. A bunch of different 
things. I have a couple of them. All right, we're 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 keeping on. But anyways, I want to. This is a vendor. I have a bunch of vendors. One, two, three, four, and then one downstairs. Okay, so I want to pull the ammo out of my vendor because it's taking up too much weight, and then I'll drop in a few more legendary items. Wait, wait, wait. I'll drop in a few more legendary items. I'll just sell them for default value. Okay, that should be it. And everything else. I'm selling these serums, you see, for thousands each. All these plans. And now we're at max weight. Okay. We're at max weight. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about that. Until tomorrow, when the script vendor resets. I've already been through and I've already broken down my extra items. That's why I have to go to my other character to go transport these items. Between characters. There we go. And so we have this ammo converter, infinite ammo storage, infinite junk storage, and the ammo generator of a different variety. So how am I looking? It's going to be rough. Hmm? I'll give this away to a lucky contender. Okay, and then... I'm about good to go. We're about good to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All my weapons and armor are fully repaired. I just got the buffs a second ago, except for the other buffs. And everything is fine. Let's get my little XP buff right here in my jacuzzi. In my jacuzzi. I'll play some music for a little AP buff. And then we'll be ready to go. With these daily challenges and everything. Oh. I have to kill seven blood eagles. good enough no I really hate standing up like a split second too soon Ugh. I really hate standing up a, a, a split second too soon you have to you have to do these things for 30 seconds they also added a free cam mode in photo mode you can fly around a bit further especially in your own camp you can fly around with the camera mode. I need a second now. There we go. Hail and welcome. Please peruse my wares and spend your money. 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 So how much time is left in this dastardly stream? We have half an hour left in the stream. Can I get anything done in that time frame? I think I can. Yeah, I'll be right back in just a second, alright? Yeah. Just one second and then we'll wrap up this stream. 
We're heading out there to the Atlantic City. Yay! And now we go down. Pop off everything. If I could only do such a thing. Not that. Post Angler. Radstag. There you go. Lunchbox. And we resume. I'll head to the White Spring. I'll see if there is a quest here for me. And then I'll be entering Atlantic City at the last split second of the 12 hour stream. <laughs> Huh. Oh, I roll. We do all this flim before the flam. Got to flim the flam before you flim flam. Oh, yeah. Okay, there could be a quest when Check I get here. The medics if you're feeling under the weather. Okay, there is a daily here. A medical mission. I have to go across the map to get it taken care of. And while I'm out there, I'll do... Um, I'll get some dirty water. If you ever find yourself in a bind, you can always call on us. Welcome back. How you doing? In last night, none of us had any idea what's wrong with him. AVR Medical Center down in Charleston. She has me go to a hospital and find some record. Nice. I'll do it right now in three seconds. Two. One. I'm not going to be doing a full loot, perhaps. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. 
We have very little time here before the stream is over. Make sure to hit the like button if you like the stream or else. I'm gonna be live again tonight, okay? Into the morning. I'll be, st uh, I'll be starting and stopping an hour later, so it'll be at 7 p.m. this time. Ending at 7 a.m. California time, that is. Alright, let's hurry up. And focus on this mission. And then I want to head down to... Oh no. Huh. Atlantic City. We have to go find these medical records. Salt and pepper. Here we got some records. There you go. Check the computer. Now tell me where to find the records. Mm hmm. Now I have to re retrieve the patient records. Mission complete. Now I'm done. Let's check the kitchen really quick for some salt and pepper and spices. Here for a moment. Like a velociraptor. Okay, so now we go back. And now we go back. Mission completed. I'll be dipping into the Atlantic City of Ewer very soon. So, I guess tomorrow I'll be doing a nice transfer between characters with my items. Do another purge. I'm too close to the limit, you know, with the script and everything. And I'll probably maybe pull some items back over. I'm thinking about introducing some grenades into my build again. It's always fun. There's different grenades. I can use Nuka grenades. They're, they're really cool. It kind of fits my overall build concept with what I'm wearing and everything. And flares are pretty cool as well for stealthy purposes because it distracts the enemies. I am. Congratulations. Goodbye. Oops. Hi. Hello, friend. May I ask a small favor if it's not too much trouble? I will assist you. I am missing one of the pieces from my robot chess set. I will find the missing piece from your robot the chess set. Taken. And I will find your missing queen. I suspect the piece may have gone missing somewhere in the response. I will find it. Remember, it is a robot chess set, so the piece... I will find it. I will find it. New faces and fresh wounds. I will find it. If you see anyone struggling, I found it. Be sure to tell them about the white spring. I found it. How goes the search? Right here in my hand. Have a good day. And now, most incredibly, time to go 
to the casino quarter. Are you ready, everybody? The time for stalling is over. I will resume my expedition. Oh my gosh. I think. I'm here for a reason. For a quest. Ah. Uh, is this the casino quarter? Um. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's okay. I'll do this. I, I, I guess I had some expedition I had active in the background. Let me knock this out. Funny, I titled this, the whole thing The show, uh, Showman of Yore. I guess I can try to do this without looting. I feel so dirty. Normally I take my time with this, but I can actually do it quickly. Let's try to do it quickly. So the goal is to... Um, loot some slot machines, activate the anti heat terminal right here. There it is. Done. Then we're going to find the dead gambler and loot some machines. We got more technical data. Hey there, cheating gambler. So I'm supposed to find, um, I'm supposed to disable bugs in the hotel wing. That's what I'm supposed to do. And normally I'll be looting everything. I just don't want to run out of time here. The stream. Go stay on target. Okay. Right across the way. What? Oh, I have teammates in here. Interesting. I have disabled bugs. Gotta find bugs. get some extra loot here. I do have a person here with me. Stay on it. I see it. Do I see it? I don't know if I see it. Hmm. Signal strength. Signal strength. <laughs> right here? Right here? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. Duh. Now I know what to look for. Hmm. Now I know what to look for. Open the door, please. Yay. 
Let me go across the universe, please. Where would the bug be? Looking at the signal strength. Done. Now we're going down to the kitchen to disable the bugs. Yes, the kitchen. Human. The heck. All these auditors. Mayday, mayday. Drop whatever you're doing we have to save Billy right now. Good old Buttercup. You, it is a whole different sensation. I'm um, doing this alone. Alone, I'll take my sweet time, farm everything, but with a team. Wait, where? Oh, I, I went the wrong way? Yeah, I did. I thought I had to go back to the other bar or something. There's a shortcut through the back, I think. Wait. I don't know where to go. Oh, there. There's like a, a, a back door. That's right. The weird basement thing. Here we go. Pentino's nightclub, back door. Places. Trying to get bored. Kill the ads first, huh? Done. You're free, Billy. You're free. Deal's a deal. He's free to go. Mission complete. I will tell you everything. Yep. Return to Sal with the unlucky gambler's winnings. Go. Hey there, Mr. Sticky Fingers. I, I got what you needed. Yep, yep, yep. And I took care of the cheaters. That's right. Goodbye. So that was, um... <clears throat> an expedition that I was half finished with. You saw how many stamps we needed. Ready to get airborne? That's right. Hop 
Pick me away. All done. How many stamps? 15 stamps? Who knows? Whoa! That's too much stuff. 20 stamps. Not bad. Too much stuff. Too much. Well, I guess we're about done. I did kill like two showmen. Okay. Two of them. So what am I going to do with all this? Garbage, huh? It gave me too much. Well, and that about covers it, everybody. Yep, we're about 10 pounds over. I'll drink some alcohol. And I use a um a uh sorry buff tats. There we go. Let's go back down to my my house. We're all done, everybody. It was a good one. I'll be live again tonight. Hey there, Gregory. We're at the end of this long old stream, but I'll be live again tomorrow morning. If you. Catch me right when you wake up. Uh, I'll be live until 7 a.m. I should be starting at 7 p.m. California time. It was a good stream. Took over a bunch of workshops. Did all my daily quests in the world. Uh, you know. And just did a super fast expedition. Just to see how fast it can be. Did lots of farming. And it was great. All in all. Yep. Nice to have you stop on by. I can't start this next mission. Right there. Casino quarter. Gonna meet up with the lady. Travel to the casino quarter. All the world's a stage. That's my mission. But we're done now, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Yep, I'm level... Uh, what, what the heck am I? What am I? I'm currently level... Uh, 2,114. Yep. And... I currently have... Uh-oh. Kill seven more blood eagles. Before I end the stream, I have to kill seven blood eagles. Okay. They're around the map. I have like 7,100 and something hours. We need 7,600 hours to get the... Achievement. You count as a blood eagle. I'll loot afterwards. Maybe. Up and around. Look like land of viewer. So let, let me pop a berry mint hat really quick. For target acquisition. As you can see. Surprise! done. We're 
We're called the Blood Eagles, you see. Don't ask us why. My eyes. <laughs> Was that seven people? I feel like that was seven people. Loading everybody at the same time. Now we have to go find a workbench as we work our way out of here. We work our way on out. Find a workbench as I loot everything. Yep, let me check the achievement. One more. Does the dog count? Excuse me. Yep. Salt and pepper. You gotta love it. Places too. For the future. Yeah. Meat bag. Head to some other Blood Eagle spot. Break it all down one time. I have to make sure to craft another set of Under Armour because I destroyed it a second ago. Not just now, but earlier. Alrighty, then I'll drop off this bloat fly gland. Right about here. I'm just going to stop over here and kill one more blood eagle, and then the stream will be complete. Alright, thank you for watching. And for your generous support. Done. Mission complete. Done. Well, the stream is over, people. Thank you for watching. I'm going to clear out this spot here real quick. Thank you. Hope there's a workbench here. There should be a workbench over here somewhere. Greater torso. Oh boy. Good thing I have a survival tent. In my underarm. Well, thank you all for watching. Now we're done. I'm gonna have another great stream next time. And I might even do the Berry Mintets uh, farm. I was able to transition over to full unyielding. I realize I might as well, seeing as I have so much endurance and I'm eating the right foods and everything. You knew? Okay, now we're done. Yeah. Bam. Boom. Thank you for watching. Follow me on X.